Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hello. Um, this feels very strange, Debbie. Well, look, we've got somebody new. It's really exciting. New but old. New but old, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You usually work on our sister channel, don't you? Yes. New to Jewelry Maker. We're going to convert her to the dark side. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm more than happy with this. <laughs> I really am. And I, I'm really happy that I get you. Oh, thank and you. in the preparation, can I tell you a story? So if you've never met me before, my name's Lindsay, by the way. Um, I used to work on gems yeah. I, about nine years ago. I recognise you from that. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's crazy, isn't nine. it? Was that nine years ago? Well, I started nine years ago oh. at Gems, and then I was there for a, a, quite some time. Um, and then about three years ago, I, I stopped. And then this is my first, yesterday was my first day back in the building. Oh, Can I tell you this? Yeah. So I got Scott's number, mm -hmm. and Scott passed my number on to, to Wayne. And I just said, look, you know, thinking about if there's anything coming back and everything like this. No word of a lie, on, this was on Wednesday. He said, do you want to work on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like just jumping in straight in the deep end, is there? Just straight in the deep end. <laughs> like, just nothing. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I was like, OK. <laughs> so I did sleep OK last night, though. It was Good. all right. Good. Yeah, that Once was Once you get right. in the groove. <laughs> exactly. And we'll show you all the lovely things we've oh, got. We've got so much. We've got so much lined up for you today. So um, as I've said, I'm very honoured to be with you here, Debbie, oh, today. Thank you. Um, they've all been bigging you all up behind the scenes all, as well. That's because so. I paid them. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why. Um, and you've created some beautiful pieces for us today, well, haven't you? Well, thanks very much. But the kits are... Well, Katie, our kit lady, um, said, I've got something for you. It's a hummingbird. Now, I'm obsessed with hummingbirds. I've got one tattooed on my leg. I, all the meaning will go into all of that at 12 o'clock. Oh, wonderful. But look at that hummingbird. It's just gorgeous, and the, isn't it? I've added, obviously, some things to my own stash for the, for the tail feathers and some new sight flowers. But it comes with this natural kunzite that's just, I haven't seen kunzite in a kit, I don't think, ever. No. And it's that, so that's 12 o'clock, but isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. I, lo I love what you've done with it. And this is not, this is very individual. It's really unique. And I love the way that you've kind of put almost like the flight of the bird behind. I yeah. know we'll talk about it a bit later. But, but yes, I, I, you know, I, it, they mean a lot to me. And that I just thought, oh, wow, you know, it's serendipity almost that because Kate didn't know that I had this thing about I've never seen a hummingbird in real life. Have you? No, I've no, never because we don't have them in this country. Um, and I've never been anywhere or maybe when I've been places, I haven't looked for them. But so my bucket list is to see the northern lights and a hummingbird. In Mine's, real life. That's mine. My, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, not, not so much the hummingbird because yeah, that wasn't, but the, yeah, the Northern Lights. Have you seen yeah, them? them. Neary says he's seen them. Oh, wow. My uncle's a pilot and he used to fly through them and he said that they looked like net curtains in the sky. Really? Yeah. Imagine flying through the Northern Lights on a regular basis. Like, oh, look, there's the Northern Lights. Oh, it just becomes casual. <laughs> and there's our like, bucket list. It's like our li lifetime yeah. of what we want to see. And exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the joys of life, eh? Um, also, just so you know, we've got a guest coming in. We've got Dave coming in a little bit later. That's at 10 o'clock, and he's doing the Cotan Mutton Fat. Oh, my goodness. 
brand new like we never never been on air before pieces look at these oh, no. they're just oh i think they've been extra special because I, i'm doing today's show i think that's why i mean we've got gorgeous things on today and these are almost ethereal wow. these gemstones aren't they they're aren't just they? absolutely beautiful but the fact that like i've never seen this you know like you you've said about uh, the hummingbird that uh, the fact that you've never seen I, i've never seen this gemstone before and i've worked on gems for what seven eight years yeah. and i've never seen this before so this is huge it is huge and like to to have it in on here in jewelry maker you know in bead form so that we can work with it that's what i love that jewelry oh. maker gives us the opportunity to work with things that probably in our wildest dreams we never think that we could work with i mean on that it's true isn't it? on that vein nine o'clock oh don't <laughs> oh don't she started already <laughs> You need to see the beauty, natural. Oh, can I just say, the reaction, oh, sorry. oops, well, we got excited. I'm fiddling with them. The reaction of Debbie and I, when like, obviously you've seen them, but we were like, Ooh. they're so lovely, aren't they? I mean, you can just knot those and put a clasp on, but I've tried to, to show you how far they can go, oh. but. Oh, look at the they size of them. Are humongous. Look oh. at them, look at them. Look at this. That they look sensational and the colours and they're natural. And again, I've not seen this gem set. Of course, yes, we know and we recognise pearls, but it's the Ed the natural yeah. Edison pearl. That's huge. Like it, they are huge, literally. They are but, huge. Uh, yeah. It, it, to be fair, yeah, because aren't they something like for me? I'd normally you'd see that in your Sotheby's, your big branded, yeah. you know, all set yeah. into gold. Exactly. And, and you, 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 that's how you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. That, that quality, it's just stunning. Right, and we've got loads. We've got an early bird deal as well. So we've got the sterling silver uh, cap. So we've got bead caps here. Um, can't, you're going to have such a fabulous day of seeing, we've got a real mixture of pieces, haven't we, today? Yeah, we've got loads of different things. And also I've used some sterling silver bead caps in the Hummingbird, which you'll yeah. get project instructions for. So if you need some sterling silver, I've only got like a handful of sterling silver because I always use them. Because you know, if you've got like a lovely sterling silver or a lovely jadeite pendant, yes. then you're going to want to put the matching findings. Like yep. You're not going to want, with them. aren't you? Because yep. that will kind of just, I don't know, they deserve that almost. Well, I think that the thing is that you're staple but yeah i think we so often forget that but for any any piece of jewelry you've got that staple item that is kind of your guarantee and sometimes you kind of take it for granted because you're looking at like yes. the, the main focal point but actually these are the pieces that that divert the attention to that focal point Absolutely. and that's exactly what these are so you know like you're saying these are just perfect right oh can we can we start the auction? So we have got the wall of fame that's going to come up in a few moments, but we're going to give you a little bit of a teaser as to what today is going to be like. So number 15, right, okay, right, this is all new. This is all new to me. I've not been on this channel before. So this is number 15. Am I right in thinking I've got the right, the oh, right one? More pearls. Yes, more pearls, Three more pearls beautiful pearls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this already. <laughs> to be fair, you're so, I'm so much like you. Thinking away. Right, okay, so how much, right? Well, how much do I think one of these could be? Well, it depends e easily, I'd say about th 30 pounds, you'd say, for each individual pearl. So you're getting three. No way. Oh, that's, what? Is that, I didn't want to say sterling silver in case I was wrong. Oh, that's amazing. How fabulous. Right, this is going to be a bit new for me. So no messing about. Tommy's not messing about, is he? He doesn't mess so, about. I mean, look, you've got the, and you know what's ideal? When you get the three as well, this is an absolute bargain. Lovely, lovely bargain for you. But you've got earrings. You've got, um, you've got a pendant here. You've yeah, got a full have. set. You, for me, I look at this and I go, you've got a suite of jewellery. Yes. You're set. And that, that's an absolute, for three. That's amazing. All you need to do is add a couple of sterling silver earring wires and a chain, don't you? That's how simple it is. And that's what, oh, I don't know, what our chains are so, say a tenner. Let's say a tenner. Yes. Uh, but that is probably a bit too much. But let's say that for 1450 then. That's crazy. That's it's wonderful. That that's jewelry maker. I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, learning quite a lot actually whilst we're here <laughs> over the next few hours. Um, lovely to have your company, everybody. Claire in Bristol, you bought two. Cheryl, Julie, lovely to have your company. I think that there's five left. Ah, obviously they're four pound fifty. So that's a bit naughty. That's a bit naughty. 
Yeah, let's do the Wall of Fame. Let's go. <laughs> This is my first ever Wall of Fame. We've had a text come in. Oh, hello. Good morning, gorgeous ladies and fabulous group. Welcome to the Jewelry Maker family, Lindsay. Thank you, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Morning. Oh, but you know everyone. Like, you meet Matt, people. You, yeah, Mandy's one of our regular viewers. Gone. Sold out. Pearls have gone. Pearls have gone. £4.50. First auction. Back. Gone. Do you want me to do the first one so yes, you can please. see what we do? Yeah. Look at this. <gasps> Look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It so gorgeous. this is number 75, Millie B. Morning, Millie. Um, morning, beautiful JM. Here is another collaboration of a ruby heart pendant from Gems, put with Canadian nephritis and not natural ruby rounds, but JM. But I'm in love with the way that they just work together. And on a labradorite brought from you, this is all down to JM and Gems. I have stunning jewelry. Oh, wonderful. I think, did you mean nephrite? Or maybe I've read that wrong. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, I've got that Isn't clasp. It? You see that clasp? I've got that as well. So good luck, that's number 75, Millie B. I love how you're celebrating, every, it's a family. That's, that's yeah. what this is, this is, this is, there's a connection here between you watching and us here. It, there it's is. A, there's a closeness. There really is, and our, our viewers are so loyal. Some of them have been with us for absolute, well, from the beginning, haven't you? Oh, it's wonderful. I was at the Creative Craft Show and I got to meet some of you, and I just, well, you just start chatting like your old friends, and my mm. hubby goes, do you know that person? And I go, no, but yes. Yes, yes, yes. You build up a relationship, yeah. yes. It's like a virtual relationship, yeah, kind of. And then you kind meet. Of, you yeah. just chat on like you've known each other for years. Yeah. <laughs> and they know everything because you tell every, That's everything. That's true. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, oh wow. Okay, this is from Francis um, Panky Witt. I hope I've said your name correctly there. Hello oh, everyone. Iridescent glass beads from my JM stash made this pretty necklace. How gorgeous is this? Look at the, oh I love, and this is what we were saying about that focal point, just draping yes. down. It's just gorgeous. I, lo I, I really, really like the creativity here. That, that's what, it, it, everyone has got that. It's passion, isn't it? It is passion. It's, it's I don't know, we love it. We, we're just addicted. I've got number 77, Jude Ryan. Good morning, JM. Here is my latest make. I have been at my oh. clearance resin again and used bezels and gem chips I bought from JM years ago. It's always good to sort through your stash, isn't it? I love the different effects each gem makes in the resin. Uh, when I was at the um, Creative Craft Show, a lady showed me her resin makes and she'd just sort of done artwork on in layers and they were absolutely amazing. I love playing with um, resin. You've inspired me to go and have a little rummage through my resin drawer yeah. as well. So good luck, Jude. They are amazing. I'm totally inspired. Right, next up we've got um, Viv Thode. I love this, Viv. This is very me, I must say. Didn't I say that you when did we were watching? You know, it's just like, Viv, this is very me. Hi all, here's a selection of hearts and star um, hematite chain necklaces, very quick to make and goes with everything. Best wishes to all. Viv, that's beautiful. I love it, just that simplicity and just the, and enough of the, and the stars at the bottom as well. Just that little touch, I think is really elegant. It's very yeah. elegant, a lot of meaning in those little motifs yeah. as Isn't well. Isn't that? I love that. Definitely. Oh, yeah. this is a bit of chain mail. Oh, mm, okay. If you've not seen chain no, mail before, have a look at this. So chainmail is made of jump rings, little rings, all put together cleverly um, to make, well, like, look at that. It looks a bit like my ring, look at that. It does. Um, this is number 79. Jill, good morning. This week I have another chainmail necklace for the Wall of Fame. This Celtic weave pendant is made using hammered silver plated jump rings and bare copper jump rings from Jewelry Maker. The chain and bail are from my stash. I made the same pendant in silver plated jump rings for the Wall of Fame a few weeks ago, but I think the contrast between the silver and the bare copper enhances the weave. I'd agree with that. Fingers crossed for a win and good luck to everyone entering. I think that's really beautiful and I would agree that I think it adds something to have the contrast in the metal, doesn't it? That's so I pretty. think so. It's that n another colour. I like it, it being Celtic. How, how do you even start something like that? I think that's what blows my mind. I think you're, you are all going to blow my mind quite a lot though, aren't you? Because <laughs> it's the bit, yeah, I love how I asked that question and Debbie just went, Wait, wait and see. <laughs> wait and see. She's there going like this, isn't she? Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, well, so these all go together, don't they? Yeah, these go into the drawer, um, and then the winner, we draw it every week. Is it Wednesday that we do it? I think, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. 
I get all excited when I'm on a Wednesday because I get to do a thing and get, uh, t it's like a tombola. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the winner gets £100 credited to their jewellery maker account and the runner up gets 50 Oh, that's brilliant. It's generous, huh? That's really good. See, this is, yeah, that's, that's all, all of them. them. That's all of them today. Oh, oh messages. Got some messages come in. Right, so Lorraine in um, Hertfordshire. Morning all at JM and nice to see our new presenter. Isn't it? Oh, thanks. Um, I've seen a hummingbird in Jamaica, tiny <gasps> and stunning. I thought it was a bee at foot. Are they that small? Yeah, they're little, and they because of the the movement of their wings, they can, they're amazing. Oh my goodness! Right, okay, wow. Uh, Rachel in North Yorkshire. Good morning, Debs, and welcome Lindsay to the family. Uh, one morning, and you'll be hooked. Just sit back and embrace the madness. True, huh? That, well, that's just me, anyway. <laughs> but I'm fine. I feel very at home here. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm not as well because this was home, but also totally different yeah, 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 for yeah. me it was the same studio I used to work in a lot but slightly different um, and yeah I'm embracing the madness um, Margaret uh, from five hello lovely Debbie and sidekick yeah I'll take that <laughs> oh. I'll totally take that oh have I been promoted this morning <laughs> <laughs> a little decorum's descended on <laughs> JS <laughs> no I'm here really <laughs> Oh, true. true. After the week. There's no Wayne today. Well, we, I don't think so. He could be hiding behind. No, he's not here. Me. Oh, he's <laughs> gone to lie in a he's dark room. He's gone to lie down. No word of a lie. So I've never met this guy before. And I watched him on air. And I just saw him and I just met him. And I went, you're wild. You're absolutely wild. Honestly. He's funny, Wayne. Oh, he's so funny. He does some great deals, doesn't he? Oh, and Gigi. Oh, hello, Gigi. Like, I haven't seen him in years. Um, hi, ladies. Lindsay, it's been, a, it's been a while, but it's lovely to see you again. Oh, so lovely. How lovely. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird walking around the building as well and seeing everyone. It's changed all around. Oh, it's, it's, like, we were in there, and then yeah. we, this is where we started out, like, yes. well, 14 years ago. It was our birthday's coming yes, up. Yes, it was, wasn't so it? So this is like going back in time. Yeah. They put so many walls in this building where they weren't made. Weren't <laughs> right, okay, number 42. Okay, that's exciting. So where do I find this from? So we've had the pearl charms. Now we need the pearl connectors, so I will find those here. Is Bear with me because... Someone? Right. Ah, yes, 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 got it. Um, ah, the triple. Is it the three? Am I correct? Yes. Ah, oh no. You know what we're doing. This is how it works. Are we, do are we doing a way no? <laughs> five pound boom is that what we're doing <laughs> you know what we're doing five pound boom i don't think I've, I've got the same backup as what wayne does <laughs> next door we're moaning about how loud he was when oh. he was shouting it was so funny yesterday um so five pounds and you're getting three this is just wonderful right so so i think again same as what i've said before you can use these as earrings and then a singular drop as well can't you you can really mix oh. them up the fact that you're getting three and then there's three so you get nine pearls on that's this. amazing and if you've got the last one then you can just suspend those from the bottom can't you yes. and that would be really pretty yeah oh, really pretty this is crazy for five pounds i'm going to be kind of wowed by everything because i'm used to obviously being on gems and having then finished more. pieces yes exactly i like that though and so don't you guys like this hi gloria sorry gloria morning sorry. gorgeous girls are oh, deb i'm loving your jewelry makes Look forward to watching Hugs Gloria. Gloria oh, is another nice. one of our absolutely lovely viewers. So supportive. Mwah. Oh. Sue from Edinburgh, welcome, Lindsay. I'm glad you weren't here this past <laughs> week. You'd have run away screaming. <laughs> That's what I saw. I watched it. And they said, do you want to go on air on Saturday? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I guess that kind of pulled me in a bit. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone who got those. Right, we're going to start off with um, number 10. Ah. Okay, right, okay, number 10. Crimp bead covers, we all need crimp bead covers. And do you know what crimp bead covers are really good for? And I probably shouldn't be admitting this. <laughs> but you know when you crimp and you're probably not paying attention and there's a gap and you think, oh, I need to start again. You can always cover yeah, a gap. You can always just put the crimp bead cover in the gap. Come on, someone someone support me here. Someone else has done this. Yes, <laughs> I love this. You're like, I, I, I sometimes do Keeping that. Keeping it real. I cover up. Yes, I like that, <laughs> definitely. Right, so, oh, we're going to get a clock on this one, are we? We've already got people buy, multi-buying on this one. So um, so what you do here, obviously, so you'd get your beads and that this is the finishing point, isn't That's it? the finishing point. So usually um, if you are securing a necklace, you take a crimp bead and you squish it. I yes. don't mind the look of it squished. But, you know, if you're using it on high-end pearls or you want to have that professional yes. finish. And we've got the pearls later. You pop this over the top. 
you mm. gently squeeze it so in essence you've got a lovely bit of sterling silver on the end of your jewelry yes it's just that perfect finish yes is it like a seamless finish with yes. these isn't it yes. right wonderful yes and again it's staple you, you you can't make without products like this can you it's those pieces no. that are staple for you to give that nice finish at the end and i didn't um I didn't knock my pearls for 12 o'clock because I'd run out of these findings yes. and I didn't have any calots or any um, stuff so I did different things anyway just to show something different but that shows how you need these especially if you're working with a lot of our lovely gems that we've bought recently like your jadeites, your pearls you know you want to have nice finish don't you yes, you want it to look like you know you've gone into all this love into making something all that effort all that effort mm. you want something beautiful to finish it off yeah i think sometimes these pieces are the ones that oh okay we're going down we're going lower the clock's right. gone. Got, the, the clock what is the is the clock broken is the clock actually broken it's crashed it's crashed. It's Clock's crashed. gone. Never mind. So then he's dropped the price. Right, okay, here we go. We're going to see lots of you uh, coming through now. Lovely to have your company, everybody, this morning. So we've got your crimp beater. Well, he's dropping the price. I think he's going to do some wild prices. And he did say to me earlier on, he said, because you're here, Lindsay, I'm going to do some some crazy deals. What's this? <gasps> Rachel no. in North Yorkshire. She said, I'm so jealous, Rachel. I fed hummingbirds syrup water in the Dominican Republic. They're so tiny and beautiful. It's the longest time I've been Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, that is oh. my dream. Oh, have you got any pictures? If you've got any pictures of the hummingbirds, Rachel, send me oh, on, send me them on, um, send them here or send them to me on my uh, Facebook because I'd love to see those. Oh, that's amazing. beautiful. You know what though, Rachel? That, that for me is that moment in time. That, that, that memory that, it's a memory and it's that time just stops you know when you're enjoying something so much that you time isn't you, uh, you don't even think about time that's the you? essence of mindful it is isn't it it's yeah. the essence of mindful and it's like what sometimes when you're making especially you're doing something repetitive you're really into it mm. it's mindful mm. I'd rather feed a hummingbird yes that is true that is true right now we've had the crimp covers we've got the next piece that will help you um we need number five to work with them right okay these are the beads then yeah they're the crisp beads that you so squish. that you have to squish so now you've had the covers you now need that oh he's doing puns he's doing puns he is they're gonna fly out he was singing just now i love dj neary it keeps me awake for the whole five <laughs> hours <laughs> <You said this. laughs> right okay so these have been on once before and we've sold 150 of these before. Uh, um, how many do we have remaining? We're down to our final 50 available with 30 seconds. Now everything in this hour, of course, the prices are online, I believe, but the, he is doing some naughty price shops for you. So you've got a clock uh, before your price point is here. So essential to the previous item, you've got the beads that you need to push down and create that kind of yeah so pressure. when you're adding a clasp you would have your beading thread you would take it through the crimp bead add your yes. clasp take it back down the crimp bead oh, of course you do and to hold it <gasps> squish yes, it yes because i just thought it was just simple straight through but of course no there that then creates that that um fixing point yes yes it do does. you know what i mean yeah, i totally know what you mean and the sterling silver there you go what how many did you get 30, 30 sterling silver crimp beads for 9.99 you're talking 15 necklaces there aren't you oh yeah yeah Fif like yeah because yeah, you need one on each side one or, on each or side. bracelets or but i think the thing is that they're sterling so i've got millions of base metal but only very yes. few sterling that's what i run out of yes yes of course i yeah. don't want to put a base metal on some beautiful pearls no I don't want to <laughs> no 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 no. i think that's good principles to have there Teddy. yeah yeah definitely good principles at 9.99 oh um stuart or ted um uh, hi, hi debs Deb. you you hi. read that one it's hi debs you. welcome lindsay looking forward to a lovely relaxing dose of normal jm madness now calling us normal is means it must things must have gone crazy huh? yeah did they go crazy did they? i did see once but i didn't have to sound up because i was working <laughs> i think you did do, yeah, i think you, you did yourself a favor just, there. To see, just to see the bargains <laughs> it was i must admit he is so close but he is so fantastic on air as well we once had a hummingbird hawk moth in our garden now margo i've seen one of those it was one of the most beautiful things i've seen i went on a retreat i can't remember where we went 
and I saw a hummingbird moth and um, aren't they stunning? Sue from Edinburgh, I saw hummingbirds on Vancouver Island. I wasn't expecting to as I thought they were more tropical. Me too. First thought they were large bees, a gorgeous sight. I just can't believe how petite these birds They're are. They're little tiny. My, one of my friends moved to America and she takes pictures, three to five inch, she takes pictures of when she feeds them because they have like, you can have like a feeder. Imagine having a feeder in your garden for hummingbirds like we have oh for robins. Goodness. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, keep those hummingbird stories I'm coming. The, I'm seeing the pictures and they're so... You know what? With your creation here, you've really done them justice. And I'm not just saying that, just you're here. I'm being honest. I think you've done them justice because the colours that you get a hummingbird in from these photographs and then the piece that you've done just works so beautifully. Well, it kind of, I wanted to tell a story. You know, you could either have the tassels as the feathers, but they love flowers, so I wanted to get flowers in there. Oh, but we've yes. also done in the past some beautiful gemstone flowers, like rose quartz, yeah. things like yes. that, that you could use. You could yeah. use sterling silver flowers. You could use no flowers at all, but mm. yeah, I, um, it tells a story, doesn't it? It does, and, and yeah, I saw it, and you, I said um, about the flight. I said how you the, did. Yeah, that was the first thing I thought. Oh my goodness. Right, next up, number 21. Oh, have you seen this? Oh my I've goodness. I've not seen these on JM Fe Oh, what? The, Look at that. And the pendant. So you get, it's a cashew pearl, is it? Um, so you've got, ha ha how many pearls do you get? You get this one. And you get the whole strand. Where's and the strand? I'm going to get the strand. Oh. I'm going to get the strand. Are there one second? Oh, oh my oh, goodness look me! At no this. way! Where did you find these? Oh my goodness! Right, look at this. Just on plain black. Oh. That, that, that. Yes. Look, you could go to, you could go anywhere with that on. Any, honestly. Really, I've not seen these on JM for ages. Really? No, not these. I've got these at home from, from donkeys back. Really, really. <gasps> Oh, they're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. Right. What I really oh. like is that look at the colours, the textures. You know, if you love like individual pieces or anything like that, this is, this is, they are so individual. They're so unique. They're so oh. built beautifully, organically, differently. Oh gosh, look at these. And the different sizes. That works nicely as well, doesn't it? I they? haven't seen these for ages. I bought some back in the day, God, maybe 10 years ago. Um, honestly, you're not going to be able to get these again for this price for sure um that's incredible and they're so stunning look at them look at these and you've got the clasp as well and i guess you know exactly like what you've just said you want that elegant clasp at the end just to finish them off Absolutely. don't you has it got a little peg bail on there and then you can is that half drilled yes so that's for the big um single one so that's that for the thing you can glue that in Yes. And you know those big pieces that you see on a lot of the designer websites where they have like a chain and they have sort of a charm carry on one pearl. Yes. Usually yes. three figures. Just drops down. Yes. Yes. So you could do that um, with that and look how amazing that would be. And then you could, I mean, I'd use those all together like you just held well, up, would I, you? Yeah. Well, straight away, that's what I did. I, straight away, I put it on my neckline and it dropped because you, you've got the smaller oh, yes. ones and then draping down. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love that so much. It makes me emotional. Oh. I was going to say, JM Studio, good morning, lovely. Sheila from Northampton. I haven't seen a hummingbird, but I have seen a hummingbird moth, so have I. Attracted by high temperatures, impossible to photograph. When I first saw a hummingbird moth, I thought, I know that you wouldn't see a hummingbird in this country. What is it? Janet says, good morning, ladies. I'm from Jamaica, and we used to have hummingbirds in our garden. No way. They're beautiful. They're also known as Dr. Bird in Jamaica. Why are they known as Dr. Bird? I've always wanted to go to Jamaica, Janet. How beautiful. Oh, oh um, we're gonna, uh, we've only got two opportunities left on the necklace. Can you imagine this with the hummingbird pendant? Oh, gosh. They've gone. The colours. The colour. Oh, gone. Gone. Madness. Madness, sold out. This is what I mean. This is exciting, isn't it? It, it all happens a little bit fast here. I mean, I can't get out. The, 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 I've only <coughs> ever known gems, so this is just new to me. This and is just when you held those pearls up to your neckline, how they just elevated your face. And you I just, think they do. You look like you could go on the red carpet and just go. Right now? It. Yeah, now. You could just, yeah. <laughs> and I'd go, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd go, where's Debbie? I need her. <laughs> I need her to help me. Oh, dear. oh, that's exciting. Number 27. Sorry, I'm a bit new to this, so I don't know where to find everything. That's okay. It's going to take a little bit. I can't believe that we had Keshi pearls. Like, just oh, look, look at these. Here you are, in the morning. <gasps> 
there were seven chances, they were gone, so he's doing more. He's doing more. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these straight away. Look, again, look at the size of these pearls. That's there's only the five. There's only five. There's only five. Um, we were talking about pearls, weren't we, before? And, you know, because you haven't been here for a while, I was telling you how, and you even knew how rare they were, oh, didn't you? That we just can't goodness. get hold of them. Yes. You know, you've all heard uh, the stories of, of what's going on in the pearl industry. So we're not going to be able to get these pearls, well, even if we can get them again, because they're not exporting them, um, we're not going to be able to get them for, for these prices. It's the demand, because uh, it's a supply and demand issue, isn't it, really? Absolutely. When you think, when you think about it. And also, you know, we, we've had influencers uh, wearing them that have just shot the prices up and obviously there was COVID the whole issue with the farming and look at these colours absolutely Aren't they spectacular? stunning I presume these are natural they look completely natural the fireball pearls because you were talking about fireball pearls as well earlier weren't you I was I love an I, I love all pearls I love an organic yes. pearl I just I mean can you imagine seeing these in a necklace in like a one of those boutique jewelers or yep but for me, for me, it's it's having like just the one as yes, well, and the fact that you've got a whole strand here. I, I don't know how many are actually on here, but um, the whole strand, and for me, just having that one beautiful yes. pearl stands out. So just imagine how many different types of pieces you can create, and then the drop of the earrings as well. There's so much scope when you get. Um, just so many different and, and I guess you'd like to marry one up with one another if you yes. were doing the two drops of earrings or definitely like that. definitely and I just think like I as you said I have a long line necklace with a single uh, baroque pearl on that I wear almost every day oh, it's you know just a long long one and I just love it it's just and I bet people go, go oh I love that pearl they go that's not real is it because the people some people think pearls are just round no they don't get it no the marvel but our pearls the marvel but it's the fact that it's 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 made by nature you know yeah. when i think about it and when you really really think down to pearls the individual pearl created by one like you know mollusk yeah. so we say and just one all that work and you know it takes years yes, to yes. get just a singular yep. singular pearl that, that, that is three years normally of a minimum in terms of the, the size pearls of this size yeah. which is that creation is so beautiful uh, and yeah and it's just like and, uh, the stories behind it like in some cases they sing to the pearls and they look after them they turn them they take all of you know they clean them so they're really nurtured aren't they? yes and it's then you get, and then you open it and see oh, what's in there. Oh, don't! Have you ever seen? Have you seen it in yeah. person? It's not in person. Oh yes, I have in person. Yes, I have. Yes, I got one from a mollusk once, um, and I'm like, I haven't done anything with it because I'm I'm weirdly attached to it. So, oh no. Yeah. So they op they got the mollusk, so they opened it, and they said, oh, we don't know what size pearl you'll get. Yeah, it's a surprise. It's a surprise, it? and then I got a really nice pearl. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's almost like a. <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. No, but it's like on. a surrogate being born. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> and then you're saying we're going to be sane today. <laughs> no, I'm with you. I get it. I'm there. Uh, yeah. You saw a pearl being born. <laughs> <laughs> so I could, yeah, but it's, a, it's something that you just don't know what you're going to get. It's no. an element of surprise. And, you know, well. just, I love pearls. You know I love pearls, but, you know, wow. They're beautiful. Congratulations, everyone. It is time for a double trouble Ooh. JM star by. This is exciting. Here we go. These are massive. Huge, huge. Five mil, okay. right, spacers, sterling silver as well. And I think, I believe, I believe I'm told that these are the largest spacers that we do. I don't own spacers this big in sterling silver. I need them. Well, the thing is, they can go on absolutely anything, can't they? Yeah. You know, the, the neckline. What, 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 what's the benefit of going for a larger space, Debbie? Well, if you've got a larger uh, gemstone, so say you've got like a Baroque right. pearls or you've got yes. um, a 12 millimetre gemstone, like I've got an angelite bracelet and um, peacock angelite, and I could only get the larger, they might be 12 or 14 millimetres. And I thought at the time, well, that's too big for a bracelet, but it's not, I love no. it. And you know, you don't want to take away from the gemstone, but you want to add something between them. Yes. So you pop your spaces in. But if you've got a larger gemstone, sometimes it's nicer to have a larger spacer. Yes, I agree with you there. Yes. It doesn't get lost kind of in the middle. Mm. So it depends on the size of a hole on the gemstone. Yes. If 
if you use a smaller spacer, it can kind of get eaten up by inside the whole of the gemstone. Right, okay, yes. You can make bracelets just from, yes, like just like, oh, there you go then. Look, this was um, a present. Can, can, can I show this? Yeah. This is mine. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what I can show and not, but I literally, when we were just talking about that then, um, my husband bought me this, um, and it is, it's an, a nice, nice design, shall Isn't we it say. Lovely. Um, I absolutely love it, and as soon as we, we were just sitting here talking about it, I was thinking, that's my bracelet there. It's Isn't quite it? simple, but I, I don't take this off. This is my staple piece. Um, in fact, I shouldn't say this, but there was a charm on this, but it came off, so that's not great. Oh. And it was a designer bracelet, so oh. that's not wonderful to say. That shows um, you. But, no, it's not. Am I allowed to say brands on here? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this, this was a Boss bracelet, and I know how much it was as well, and my husband bought it for me, and the charm did fall off. Not great, sorry. Um, but for me, I, I absolutely love it, and I think... I think it makes my piece of jewellery, it enhances it by making it a bit bigger. If they were smaller spaces, then... But you wouldn't get the chain through. Yeah, well, yeah. And do you know what I like about that? That they haven't packed it right to the end, that it moves. No. It's oh. got, and, and I like that because I like when I'm wearing it, I kind of mess with it and play with it That's quite a bit. That's what I mean, like a mindful, people make the, the mindful kind of fidget jewellery. Yes. Um, yeah. I love that. I, I've not, do you know what? That's a simple design, but I've never thought of it no. before. Like putting it on chain, but not, but having space so they move. Yeah. You could so do that with yes, these. You absolutely could. And with the charm as well. So for me, you could create with these a simple bracelet and then one charm and then you're sorted you've oh. got a, a, you know it could be anything like a star it could be a heart or any anything Absolutely. a gemstone of it, just something that is meaningful and there you have it a really nice meaningful bracelet 29.99 what is what oh it's a Okay, so I need to inform you that on the graphics, it's, you know how it's saying double tr trouble? So it's saying a pack of 20. They're lying. Sorry, I'm blind for this. Something. Uh, <laughs> it's not a hummingbird. <laughs> no, they're tiny. We've learned that one. Um, you're getting double that. So you're getting 40 of these at that price point. That's, that's incredible, isn't it, Debbie? So the graphics are wrong. You're getting, so you get, oh my goodness. So you're getting 40. So, you know, if you think, and actually this is a really good thing to show off. This is exactly what I'd like to show is the fact that this is perfect. You can create, so you've got 925, it's not a base metal. You've got 925 solid sterling silver. You've got all of your beads here. And look at what you can pay elsewhere. This is, the, this is, this is huge because you can simply put these onto a chain and put your own, your own. Uh, we've got multi orders coming through, thank you. Um, but you can put your own personality onto it and then you've got a gorgeous bracelet. Absolutely. And when you look at this, like sometimes when you look at gemstones, you know, comparisons, you think, well, okay, that's a bigger gemstone or the clarity is different. But sterling silver is sterling silver. Yes. Exactly, and and you can't you can't get around that. You've got the value in there. You've got the yes. look in there. You've got that beauty, like, and it you can't can't beat it. And this is some of the largest ones that I believe that we do. And you've got that. So uh, Neri's saying this is a good price. Ooh. It's not your price. It's not, is it? Because it's a star buy. Oh, I like a star buy. I like a star buy. It's I like a star buy. We're going again. Forty. Yeah. I do like the drill hole size in these because you'll yeah. be able to get your cord through there. <laughs> you can get. What did he say? <laughs> he says, if you want to start by, I'll give you a start, start by. by. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm hearing that we launched one pack of these on their own, on their own, when? October 2023. Mm -hmm. On launch, we sold 700, 712 for one pack. And now, we're doing two packs. Oh, this is a bit exciting. Oh, people are already multi-buying. Yeah, multi-buyers coming through. That's, are mm. you really? So uh, it's basically, you're doing, you're doing a deal from what you've been doing this week, but today. <laughs> That's basically yeah. what you're doing. You're doing a naughty <laughs> deal from what you've been doing this week, but today. But the bad news is, you know, I said about 700. We don't have that many. We've only got how many? 100. It sounds like a lot. 
but we sold 700 on the launch and that was one individual so we've got two now hence the reason why mary and jerry uh have bought two norma has bought three sophia's bought two marva you've bought two tracy you've bought two well done everybody caroline congratulations that's the way to do it because if you're buying two and then you're getting two how many are you get in you're getting four it, yeah, and also with our one postage and packet yeah you know so you know if you were buying them on separate days and separate shows um you would be paying that extra postage and packing and i always think when you're getting a deal yes you know you, you don't want, want you want a deal yes. don't you so yes. if you've already bought you're planning to buy something else and this is like an add-on yeah absolutely but this, this for me this is you're saying you're you're speaking of it. Oh well, it's just an like as in it's an add-on. But for me, this is this could be your piece of jewelry. This is the oh, heart of the whole piece. Absolutely. Isn't it? And if you think of things um, like the sweetie bracelet, um, well, who did that? Links of London, I think. Oh yeah. But they just put yes. these. They put these onto oh. elastic. The, <gasps> yes. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. And they're just, just the, they're just these because I had to mend my um, sister-in-law's because hers broke. Yes. Can you, can you, oh, oh, honestly, I mean, oh wow, look at everyone's now multi-ordering as well. Uh, it's selling out now. I mean, I've got a double screen. I don't know where to look, Debbie. It's multitasking. <laughs> I'm a female. I don't know how to That's do it. That's for when you can't see that. That's when I can't <laughs> see that. Oh, I can see that one up there. There's Patricia, only a few congratulations. Uh, Felicity, you've bought two. Uh, Christine, you've bought two. John, you've got yours. Gail, you're coming in to buy two. Uh, congratulations, Hilary. I, lo I love how it's his maker on here oh, it's, make it's it. maker you guys get used to it but it's a family it's like it's the family it's maker. maker uh three you've bought as well congratulations we've had a message in from janet as well from county down morning lovely team welcome Lindsay. lovely to meet you sending welcome hugs to you Aww. looking fabulous ladies from Janet. Aren't our viewers lovely? Oh, it's so lovely. I love this interaction. Do you feel welcome? Yeah, I do actually. Good. I'm still a little bit nervous though. Oh no, you're amazing. <laughs> oh dear. Are the spaces the same size as the one? Yours in are smaller. Yes, they are. Slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Oh. Oh yes. So you'd need yes, you'd need less, wouldn't you? Really, if you think about it. If yours, are, I love how you can detect that from so far away. Like you're like, no, I can see. She can see sizes. So if you think about that, that's brilliant. That's brilliant, Debbie. Um, <laughs> I know my beads. <laughs> Don't stop me, I know my I kid. just think that, I know we keep going on about the drill hole, but you know, it's so annoying when you do something and you cannot get through the drill hole. Yes. Um, and that's the benefit of having these. But there's a lot of sterling silver there. I know, because I do, um, I work with silver and metal and yes, from scratch. Of um, so I always think about the silver. And I know I bang on about um, the amount of silver. And there's a lot of silver there, but there's a load of silver there's there. There's so much silver there. And they're larger than what I'm sa saying that, you know, yeah. I've got on my, my bracelet. And the fact that, You'd need less, and then you're getting double the amount. No wonder everyone's multi-ordering. And I love that that Tiffany um, explanation there, that one, because that, for me, just says it all. You just think for the price tag that you're paying there, yeah. and what then you can pay for, say, a Tiffany one. And you, you know more than anybody, well, everyone does, just to think that's 250 mm. pounds for mm. that bracelet. Mm. I guess you see it in a different light on jewelry maker, don't we do. you? And you know, that's beautiful. I love Tiffany's, you know, that, that's beautiful and you've got their logo on there. But to be able to, I, I said something once, it's kind of stuck that here we can make things we can't afford to buy. That's true. That's true. You know, you can, it's crazy when you think about it. You'd, you'd have to pay, you could get, is it 12, about 12 packs of these for what you'd pay for one of those. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Yes. And then you can, yeah, and then and then you can bespoke it. That's the beauty of making jewellery. Yes. Make it exactly as wide as you want. You put as many as you want on. You put whatever motif on if you're going to add a charm. This is the benefit of making jewellery. You make something completely individual to you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love it. And I, and I think if you were gifting this to someone, this is a, actually, you know what, the more you talk about it, the more you kind of understand it. Um, uh, for me, it's say you said um, you're a nanny. Yeah. If someone's got a little one on their way and you maybe don't know the sex of the baby and you want to make them their first item of you know piece yeah. of jewellery, you don't need many of these. And also, like you said, they don't have to go all the way around. They could just go just closer to the the locket or, or whatever yeah. you're going to put on there. And there you've got the most beautiful that 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 there for that price tag could be a first bracelet for someone to, that, that's, that's how a lovely meaningful idea. is that yeah, it's a and lovely you're not idea. paying mega money for not it not at all not at all
Oh, um, Sue says, no need to be nervous, Lindsay. You are a natural fit for RJM. Oh, 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 thanks. <laughs> that was my first early bird deal. Oh, you did it? Uh, yeah, I've done it. Oh, I am still nervous though. I think it's just coming back and being with someone as well mm -hmm. and just thinking. Yeah, because you yeah. work on your own in ge at GEMS, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you're more on your own at GEMS. And then you, we had the outlet and uh, before as well and you were on your own. You didn't really have guests. And then I went in and guested on Homewares. Um, and so I was the guest. So now this is, it's just it's changed. It's just <laughs> changed. But it is actually, I must say, and that's why I came back really because I've missed it. Yeah. Because I do presenting all the time, but it's it's like I do interviewing of people. Right. But this is this is so different. It's such a lovely vibe to be here. Oh. Like, and I'm I'm really excited because I, I'm learning as I go. Yeah. You know, I, I walked in. I'm like, how do you even begin to make some of these pieces, <laughs> Debbie? You'll go like, home and make a bracelet. After yeah, this. I will be going home. You'll I'll be, be like, getting oh, this. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Not that easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh dear. Easier than you think. Well, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll you. convert her. We'll convert her. You will, you will. Um, can we talk about some of your creations just sure. to, um, that are coming up a little bit later on, if that's okay? Because she's created this beautiful hummingbird and you've got to see it. What, what, what time are we going to be? This is the last Yeah, that's Yeah, this is in the 12 o'clock hour. Uh, this is the 12 o'clock. So we've got the, um, the hummingbird and it comes with the kunzite, uh, natural kunzite strand, which is absolutely stunning. And then we've got some lovely upsells as well of the uh, crackle quartz, I think it is, um, sort of tourmaline coloured yes, um, just yeah. to add that pop of colour in if you want to but of course it comes you'll see the connector but you can put whatever you want onto those tail feathers so you might have something in mind that's the beauty of being a jewellery maker isn't it but mm. you know for me as well the 9am pearls I mean oh, yes they're Come unreal. On with they're the 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I always joke about panic buying pearls because when I heard of all everything that was going on, and then more things kept adding to it while we couldn't have pearls. And oh. Charlie wasn't coming back. I was like, ah! No. It panic buy the pearls, but and then I get them in a kit, and I'm like, oh, I'm oh in heaven. My, yes. When she gave them to me in the office, because oh. she gave them to me in the office, these ones, and I kissed them, and she burst out laughing. Did you? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love it. But they are absolutely insane. They are beautiful, oh. beautiful pearls. And the creations that you've made are stunning. I usually like with with pearls of this kind of caliber if you like I would usually kind of not in and you get a class with them so I would usually not in between and add the class but I want you to show you how far they can go as well yeah you, you, know? you said you didn't want to do the knot oh, to, to do go. something different because I think that you can definitely we all know how to knot or most of us know how to knot so just give some different ideas but you can just it comes with some beautiful cord and you can just knot and pop on your clasp when you've got a stunning piece of jewelry or you know maybe you've got a few strands and you want to do something a little bit different up and to you the, we've only got a few auctions, I think, before. Yeah, this one. nine a.m. This is, this is at nine o'clock. Yeah, there's just there's, it's an early bird deal for you. Can I say we never had that that pearl when I was on gems? You didn't? No, no, they weren't. We, we just didn't have access to them. We just they, they, I, I, I've never ever seen an Edison pearl. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So there they are in a bracelet, and I that's the that. clasp that you get. I just I try to go a bit more modern this time. I I tend to go really classic with the pearls, but sticking the darker gemstone in between. A bit of monochrome. Yeah, just kind of giving them a bit of an Audrey Hepburn breakfast at Tiffany's vibe. Mm -hmm. Not that. That's I love how happened. you did that then. <laughs> the vibe, a you know. Vibe. You know. I, I like that monochrome look. Do I you? Do. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I can tell. It yeah. suits you. Well, it's just. It's simple and it's classic Elegant. and you don't have to think about it, do you? And, you know, that ring there, for me, would go perfect with this, you know? Yeah. Uh, I just think the colours are stunning. So this is going to be happening at nine o'clock. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Right. What? What's that, sorry? Oh, okay. So that's going to be at nine o'clock. Um, have we got any more auctions um, beforehand? Yeah. Oh. So we've, it, this is our early birds. This is our special. Dude. See, this is all new to me. So this is your early bird special, but we've got something obviously now. Next yeah. up, okay? Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so next up, it's all new to me, so I'm learning <laughs> uh, as we go, as you can probably tell, you're thinking, oh my God. No one's thinking that. So, um, so we've got a project coming up. 
Is that right? Yeah, so this is going to be um, the, in the 9 a.m. hour. Okay. So we have two projects. We have a project, sorry, I, I, I assume that you know, but the initial. No, sorry. I know, I so know. So we have a 9 a.m. project where we write the instructions. It's a fairly <gasps> new thing that we do. Okay. So we write the instructions. I've written the instructions for the ring that I had to make one for me as well. Um, so we uh, have, I'm going to be showing you how to make that ring and we also I've written the instructions so when your kit is dispatched you have access to the written instructions so this is wow. the project okay. for in the 9 a.m. hour yes. and the hummingbird is the project in the 12 right. p.m. Okay. hour and then we have products all in between and then sometimes we have a really extra special deal like now <laughs> oh <laughs> I like it I like it so we're going to see you making these yes products. and I'll show you a, a bit of it of, yes. of the making and then so people can watch back and then they can um, have a look and see uh, on the project instructions as well Wow. So we do two of those. We do one in the nine and one in the twelve, and then we have all lots of different products in between. And then our early bird is usually something really special, which we were talking about this earlier. We've, is it the bead caps? It's the bead caps. So I've used okay. the bead caps actually in the twelve o'clock project, um, sterling silver ones, um, and you get those in this deal. Uh, oh, they! And I think as well with bead caps. I, I don't know about you guys, but I've got loads of off. base metal. That's because nails. I can't. I, I can't know. get the lid off. Go there. Have you done it? She's done We're it! Um, I've got loads of base metal and not so many sterling. And when I get the sterling, they go. But I think a bead cap can just lift your design. You can 100%. have a, a, a plain strand of pearls and you just add some bead caps to every couple yeah. or to an earring or a drop and it just completely changes the look. I think it finishes it off. I think it gives that elegant finish, not harsh, just softens softens the transition from one stone or softens that transition oh, from the fitting. Said. Wow. Well, well. That's why you're the presenter. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what's going on half the time. So it's the transition. That's what I meant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just, does exactly know. that. You're it right. Does, it yeah, does. It, it softens does. that transition. And um, with this beautiful design, now have you arrived for a deal? You've come to JM for a deal, of course. Um, can I just say before we just see this, how gorgeous is the filigree design? I love the filigree. Though? Love the filigree. Look at that. Absolutely, and as you said, these are perfect to add to your pearls. And they sit they, obviously, you've got that curvature that will just perfectly sit around the pearl and on yeah. the drop. And you do on the top and the bottom, yeah. Don't you? It's not just on one, so right, okay. So, how many are we getting here? We're getting 30 pieces. Um, so you've got okay, that makes sense. So, you've got 10 pieces. So, there's three designs here, and then you've got uh, 10 pieces in each design. So, technically, if that was me, <laughs> wow, if you're doing earrings, you'd be like, right, top and bottom, those you've got a set of earrings, yeah. there. and you're getting your pearls in the next set. Oh my gosh, this works perfectly. And so, you've got different designs. So, let me just give you an idea of all the three designs as well. So, they're all floral, but they've got oh. that different kind of feel to them, aren't they? You're speaking my language. I oh. love floral. Floral's a bit of. I mean, I would have added bead caps to some of the earrings from the 9 a.m., but I'd run out. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had eight and I put them in the necklace. And I didn't think oh, to ask yes. the office to send them because, you know, you don't as a designer. Sometimes you just come up and you think that needs something. That needs it. That yeah. needs something to put a full stop here or yes. you know and bead caps can do that but I do love a floral bead cap so look at those it just adds to the elegance of them doesn't yeah, it absolutely. just the whole finish right okay so we started off at 29.99 that's a pound each isn't it that's very very good and again solid, solid sterling silver and that's a big deal you know, if you are putting, and, and we'll say it, I'm sure you've said it many a time, but I think if you're going to invest in beautiful pieces of jewellery, different gemstones, anything like that, you're going to put your money into them, and then you go for something a little bit more higher end, yeah. you want your precious metals to Definitely. surround them, don't Definitely. You? you know, you're buying um, a beautiful strand of Edison pearls, and you want to add a finding into them, <laughs> then... Normal it wants to be precious metal these are lovely because quite often you'll see the bead caps and i haven't seen these sort of patterns if you like before you've but never I, seen these before no not these patterns they're like flo they're floral they're perfect to go with a hummingbird kit because obviously if you if you're telling a story um you know you want to add that flower in um to Oh. oh, okay. I know the lady who owns this company. Oh, oh. <laughs> do you want me to say it? You, you say, it? say it. I'm then. not saying it. Do you want me to say it? I know her very well. Oh, do we say it? Yeah, go on then. Do you want to? 
Okay, so just putting it out there, just putting it out there. Debbie's friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's pound each. That's what that, and but I, I can, you know, you I, personally, I'd, I'd see that and I wouldn't even think twice to give That's that finish. That's not a bad. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah this is my website. Deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You she know, knows her very that, well. That's a very good deal. A that's pound a really of sterling good silver. Deal. Great quality findings. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Don't. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> An early bird deal? Is this what's happening? We're going even lower on the price, and I'm just letting you know. He's nowhere near done. So that's where we're at. He's nowhere near done. You get obviously the box. And I know it sounds a bit silly, but having the box as well, you've got organization at home. That's not silly, especially no. sterling silver. You don't want the yeah. damp to get to it. You don't want it to tarnish. If you put one of the little sil silica gel packets Ooh, yeah. that come with anything into that box with those, then they will stay good for a long time. And yeah. obviously with your sterling silver, you want to look after it. Look how ornate these ones are. They're lovely. Little flowered bugs. Aren't they? I love them. No, aren't they? So you've got so you've got three different styles here. So what I quite like about that is the fact that you have got choice, haven't you? Yeah. Because yeah. you know, if you are doing a piece of jewellery and you want it of one style and you're going down like a theme or a root of one, this is quite ornate. You've got that kind of antiquitous, is that the right word? Yes. Yeah. Um feel to it and then you've got more of a more solid design he's even i think he's going lower in price everyone he is going lower in price then you've got a five pound per design oh and he's not are finished. you kidding me he's not finished right okay he's not even finishing so so you need to get on the phone lines basically or you need to be getting these into your baskets because he is going even lower he's not finished and i'm there talking about the design and we're getting excited <laughs> about price there's just so much going on i can't multitask i'm female and i struggle to but you've got like the beautiful design so you've got a more filigree or nate feel then you've got a more solid design but with the oxidization you've like got that, that. Yes, yeah i love that you know so if you made that you'd have to stamp it out with a disc cutter you'd have to dome it then you'd have to oxidize it and make a hole I mean, all of that. And why would you do that when you can buy them for twelve ninety nine? Oh my goodness, I <laughs> oh, love shut it. Up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he said we're not. Sorry, I just got rid. You sounded like Wayno then. Did I got a bit excited. She got excited. Too, I get too excited. She got excited. I'm sorry about that. So they, are we allowed to say it? He wants to be over allocated. <laughs> He's getting very greedy. He wants to be. <laughs> He wants to be over allocated before he clicks the button and drops the price. And I mean, twelve ninety nine to me is absolutely fabulous. Yeah. He says, <laughs> he says <laughs> "Can I say that?" Yeah. He said, "If you don't like the price, <laughs> right, then don't check out." But he just wants to see you on the phone lines, so he's not going to drop the price tag until you get on the phone lines or you or you put this into your basket there's no way that they're, they're not going to uh, like the prices no, there. these are going to sell out as a guarantee i'm just going to let you know these are going to be very very yeah. very popular the fact that you've got we well, you need it, 20 more it, people on the phone tons. lines or come on pop it in your bus i mean like neary was just saying the price of silver is not going down is it no it's not it absolutely isn't can we just appreciate how beautiful this one alone is I as like well i like that one that's my favorite is that your favorite yeah. one i can't decide what i'm being indecisive this morning i love look at that but it looks like real a real flower that's the that's the thing and you'd have to pierce that out with your saw first into a flower shape you then have to put it in your dapping block and dap it then that's also got um it's got detail on there we need 10 more people 10 more people 10 more people you'd have to make a hole and then you'd have to use your gravers or something to make um or your stamps to make those little marks why would you why would you do all of that i mean it's lovely but when you've got all of this and done. you can if you're making to so you're charging for your time yep there you go done this price, sorry, I told Neil. He's going low. He is going lower. He is going lower. So this is the time to grab them because they will be a sellout. He's getting very excited. He's doing his there. DJ Neary dance. He now. is doing his DJ Neary. He's getting very, very excited by all of you coming in on the phone lines as well. So you're getting all of these 30 pieces. Stay with us because we've got the pearls coming up. So you can use these on with the pearls a little bit later. There's a message coming from Sue. Great. <laughs> Well, that's a good point, Sue, actually, isn't it? She says, great price, thanks. Just a question. Do you hate 925 silver? You're giving it away, lol. I like that. I like that, Sue. Yeah, silver is silver. And Neri just said that, you know, this is the same silver Tiffany uses, same silver yeah. Chanel uses, Gucci uses, whoever. It's silver, silver. 
You know, there's not A grade, B grade, all the. No, there silver, isn't. silver. It's a good point to make, actually. So when we go back on to, you know, when we're talking about, you know, that bracelet from the last auction, and you think it's still ser sterling silver, two hundred and fifty pounds you're paying, and then you just think. Nine ninety nine. That is absolutely That's fantastic. Very naughty. That is amazing. Is this it is thirty that you get? Thirty. This is what. This is incredible. So it's thirty. It's three designs, and then you've got ten in. It. That's actually. Yeah, he's right saying that, isn't he? How low they are. <laughs> they are like, <laughs> they are whole set. Well, I say that I think of us as like we're in our little jewelry maker bubble. Yes. But actually, these are sort of. It's like we're trade because you know we cut out all those middlemen. Yeah. We know how the business works. Um, and it's like a trade, to me it's a trade price and also the trust. Yes. I know that when they say it's sterling silver it is. I know yeah. when they say that it's A grade this, that or the other, it is. Mm. It's the trust. It's the same with your gemstone. You know, I was listening to a video yesterday because we were talking about jade a little bit later on and it's having that trust in knowing that you're where it's come from. Yeah. Because you could spend, I mean just look, the, it's having that knowledge in knowing that who I'm going to buy that from and I love that point I've never heard that before silver is silver wherever you get it from it doesn't matter what brand you're getting it from or not and then the fact that you can do all of these all of 30 individual how many pieces of jewelry can you create with these though well loads because you don't always have to use two sometimes I'll use one on the bottom yes, yes. Um, sometimes I'll just use one on the top so it's a bit like um, a, a flower you know when you look at a flower and you turn it that yes, way yes, yes, so yes. the bottom of a flower yes. um, I've put two on there but and they're sterling silver they're the only sterling silver bead caps that I own and they're in that necklace oh, oh, I need I to get it. these if there's any left yes I think left. I think you do so many of you multi-ordering as well thank you so much um his name's not Neely no thank got mine thank you Neely he said my name's not Neely DJ Neely that's his new DJ name DJ Neely well I thought you were called <laughs> she nearly got it right oh dear there's too many puns come up uh, congratulations everybody that was a mega mega auction um it, it's tom isn't it it's tom near neary we call him neary nunu most of the time neary or neary. dj neary i call dj him. dj ne well i said sorry is your name near no anyway that's my surname i was like it's tom <laughs> okay okay <laughs> um, okay so congratulations oh we've got some messages which part's plastic? It's the box. So the box is a plastic box, um, but you get that with, uh, that's just crazy. You get that with all of these, and it's nice organization for you as well. So many of you multi-ordering there. So yeah, it, he plastic. said it's a plastic price. Yeah, it's you, a plastic yeah, price. Really. You know what though? I know, it, I know we're saying silly things, but you'd pay something like two or three no, ninety nine in a shop for a decent little box, yes. wouldn't you? That yeah, yeah, and you know to keep your yeah. Oh, it was auto correct. Janet says, "Oops, auto correct." Sorry, Neary. We knew that. We, we knew it. But we like to take the mickey out of him. I've only met him yesterday and I'm already taking the mickey out. <laughs> welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Right, okay, next up. Yeah, you are not, you're not going anywhere, right? Okay, you need to go and put the kettle on, right? Get you're not seat. going anywhere for the next hour because we have got a mega deal for you. We have got a gemstone that I never, what, what I was on gems, what, seven years or something like that, never saw this piece, this location of a gemstone. We've got a beautiful strand of it and we've got some great projects coming up. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all doing well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is going to be this Sunday, the 24th of March, where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the amazing crew. And I want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we've got one of my favourite agates that we've been showcasing on the show recently, Fire Agate. And I know spring is finally here, but I still think we need that extra little bit of colour and we've definitely got that on Sunday. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's at nine o'clock. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, well, I've been truly spoiled. Do you remember back in October last year, I introduced to you four incredible abalone animals. We had an elephant, we had an owl, we had a butterfly and a fish. Well, this Sunday, I've got the second instalment on the range and I think we're getting better and better. So I'm going to show you the four creatures we're bringing to air. We've got the dragonfly, look at the colours in those wings, beautiful. We've got the dragonfly, this is cute. We've got 
this incredible seahorse. <laughs> He's really good fun, isn't he? Then we've got a few turtle lovers out there. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. The workmanship is incredible. We've got the turtle. And I know we shouldn't have favourites, but here's my favourite. The incredible angelfish. Absolutely spectacular, aren't they? So that's this Sunday. Fire Agate at 9. Incredible abalone animals at 12. Plus all the fun and laughter. Hope you can join us. That's 8 o'clock, Sunday, 24th of March. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. everybody and welcome welcome back um debbie the, the, my first hour <laughs> on jewelry maker has been thoroughly enjoyable i, I know was it what I'm you like, expected I'm tired already. <laughs> no, no i'm not tired already um <laughs> quick was it down. what i was expected um i'm just learning quite a lot from you and 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 how you put your pieces together mm. so i think it's it's really nice to to see that like, i used to work on gems and this is a totally even though it is still creating jewelry it's almost like that's the finished art yeah. article but i'm kind of going back to the basics yeah. here and, and and kind of i'm there and working from the ground up to see your inventions and creations and i'm i'm ready to learn oh yeah and it's nice having your insight on you know what you've seen on gems and and i know a lot of our customers you know they will shop on both of the channels yes. you know like finished pieces but it it's lovely to be able to see it, it take your artistry and just make whatever you want from yeah. it so you could give like our viewers all the same kit and they'll all come up with something yes. different i love that yeah but everyone's come from a different route everyone's kind of got a different past haven't they yeah so it's all those influences i once asked i i interviewed this guy once he was an american guy and i said tell me about yourself and no word will i chatted for about half an hour just about <laughs> and it was more about like i was trying to aim it towards the industry that we work in but he was saying, you know, I'd like to think that I'm a almost like a puzzle of all the pieces of, of, of emotions that I've gone through and all of this, like very, very deep. 
but it's to see it, we've all been influenced as we go along this thing that we call life by different things that's very true and it's nice to have different perspectives on things Definitely. and you're saying you know you can give everybody exactly the same kit who is watching yeah. the show and everyone because of life's influences and uh, what they like and what they don't like some will be thinking about selling it or gifting it some will be yes, yes. thinking of just making for themselves some will just you know keep that for a, a legacy or a special uh, present or you know yeah. so everyone's got different reasons why they're doing it um, but we all come together as a family because we all love to create yes and that's I think the beauty of our Gemporia craft it gives me little tingles me in my too. belly because <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite special really isn't, isn't it? it yeah 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 and you know we get to work with um we get to work with things like this which it's on pre-order by the way um honestly the, can, can we okay we're going to get the graphics in so you can see all of this i'm i worked at gems for like seven years and i had never ever in that whole time on you can see it i can see it uh, yes God, we're like this <laughs> oh my god i've never seen edison pearls like this is huge. They, they didn't have them. We weren't. They were not accessible no, to they us. They, 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 you you couldn't get your hands on. That's the journey of pearls and, and the way gemstones work. It's not something that oh yeah, endless. We can create it. You know, it's nothing like this. This is these, these have taken time to be created, and that's what I just love. And the fact I've done some research on these, and the fact that these are natural mm. Edison pearls. This is mega. It says everything, doesn't it? Doesn't it? The fact it's Mother Nature at her finest. Oh, and and right. Okay, can I just do one thing? Let's just focus in. Can we just choose like one pearl? You you guys choose whichever pearl you want to choose. You know, when you look at a pearl like this, the, the Edison pearl. There's a little bit of history there here, and I'll I'll go into it. So, um, so it's a nucleated pearl. But let's just look. Say just say this one. Let's find this one then. This one. We're going for this one. All right. L the fact that you're getting a whole strand is huge. But I mean, we've already got we've already got people buying these already straight away. With that, I know I think that's trust as well. It is trust with our pearls. Our viewers know that we do pearls. Yes. I mean, we we, we do pearls. We do pearls. You can, some people do pearls. We do pearls. <laughs> we do we do pearls, and we do pearls exceptionally well. Um, so I know they're sold already. Right, I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Right, these, so it's, isn't the, the story about the Edison Pearl is it's nucleated. So, of course, you've got um, fresh water uh, um, and your, oh, I've forgotten South the now. Sea. South Sea, yes, pearls. Um, but the fact that they're nucleated and what happens is over years and years and years, and, and I think it's like a minimum of three years, that nacre, those layers, that, that work that has gone into, it's mother nature. So every single pearl that you're seeing has a reason has it like has a moment of creation yes. like that's what i think is so special is any pearl all of that time that has gone in look at this and the natural colors this is stunning it's it's stunning and you know when i said i saw a pearl born you know and I, everyone's laughing at me but it is like that because i was watching a documentary like if there's any pearl documentaries i'm there i'm like oh it's a pearl documentary or on youtube any anything to do with pearls mm. um and so these some of the pearls that they were showing had been in that mollusk for five years yes Yes, yes. So you think five years for each, uh, three, say three then, three to five years yep. for each one of those lovely, gorgeous, natural pearls, and you're getting a whole strand. This is, that blows kind of, my mind. It blows your mind because you get this whole strand, and yet the appreciation just for one of these singular <laughs> pearls is just insane. And what I love as well is these different wonderful colours that you're getting is the fact that they're natural, and we've gone for a really beautiful colour palette, so you have got those duets if you want to marry them up together Definitely. or you, you can you can mix and match can't you you can mix and match i mean i'm i made a couple of pairs of earrings and i f i didn't have any trouble finding pairs of pearls that would you know go together um i mean you know we've had well, for years now we've had charlie Barron coming in um and bringing us pearls i know he's not here now is he and he's saying that for the foreseeable future he cannot come in because he cannot get hold of pearls 
and you know he's had to diversify into like other other gemstones. I found that out this morning. I didn't. I didn't really. I knew he'd gone, and I didn't. I, I'd seen on like social media mm. and everything, and that's the reason. Yeah, and like the Hong, Hong Kong gem show, there weren't any pearls. There were like stands that they'd paid thousands of pounds for <gasps> that they just weren't there because and trade didn't. fairs aren't cheap to pay for initially. And they just they weren't there, and you know we all got the email from our buyer saying that you know she just couldn't get the pearls anymore, and she could definitely couldn't get the pearls for what we had been uh, um, selling them for, mm. and th then we start to see these like high-end pearls yeah. that really they don't want to even export anymore no you know, they're holding on they're to holding them. on to them and, and so t to be able to make with pearls of this caliber to me it's yeah. a privilege and I do love them hence why I kissed them when I got them oh. I love them I don't know you, did you kiss the pearls or the people that gave you the, the pearls well Both. you know I think Kate might have been a bit you know but she wouldn't be surprised yeah. I, I hugged her <laughs> <laughs> you hugged it. Was she over enamoured by yeah. the love that she went? She I've got, got your kit, and I went. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh, I love it. I love it when I get pearls. I, 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 I think it's that appreciation for the value of these. Is that appreciation for where they've come from, mm -hmm. the creations that they are? I think you've got to understand the jewellery industry to understand. Like, actually, no, I'm going to take that back. I don't think you have to know the jewellery industry to understand the value of pearls. Pearls have been long synonymous with like nobility and everything like True. that. We know that. We know that your celebrities wear pearls and everything like that. So I just think being part of this, what we are, mm. I think you can really appreciate the value of these. Definitely. Uh, yeah, and we, you know, because of, of the, the way our business works, we are privy to s information before some of the rest of the industry gets yes. it, aren't yes. we? And because we've bought in bulk, we've got things in our vault that we couldn't get again for that price. Mm. So that, that's kind of the beauty. That's a lovely message. There was a lovely message that just popped up there. Well, I, I saw it, but I didn't read it. Sorry. It's coming. Sorry. It's en route. It's en route. Um, it's so lovely seeing, there we go, it's so lovely seeing you back, Lindsay, you used to be my favourite on Gems. Aww. Oh, Deb, that's so lovely. Will you always be on JM, JM now, or Gems as well? Honestly, so we'll do a bit of both. I'm hoping I come back. No, oh, I want but, you to come oh, back. Literally, I don't know if you tuned in earlier, but um, I text Scott and messaged Wayne literally this week, and he said, do you fancy doing a show on Saturday? And I went, yeah. <laughs> And that's it. And I haven't been on air in three years. Like you wouldn't know. Yeah, it. yeah. I do presenting all the time, but not not, not studio this. presenting oh, right, and yeah, everything. Yeah. So I've missed it. Yeah. So oh, thanks. That's very kind, Deb. So um, let's do some pearls, shall we? Oh my gosh! Wow. I love the way we just say that. Let's just do some. Let's bit. I know it's kind of casual, isn't it? Let's just let's do some pearls. So um, can we show some examples of some some pearls? Is that all right? Just to to, to give you that kind of understanding that. So this one here is price on application, and these are, I mean, but it doesn't surprise us, does it? You know. Oh, okay, so on there it says, um, finance this item from as little as £937.50 per month. Oh, good grief. Per month. I mean, whether, whether before you even work that out, so in a year, if my math serves me correctly, we're talking over just over £100,000. It's like a mortgage, isn't it? Yeah, if that's a twelve month. If that was, if that was just over that, it's like, uh, well, how much did I say? Hundred, ten thousand. No, no. How much was it? Oh yeah, ten thousand. Sorry, my maths does not serve me well. Then does it? No, it doesn't. And the earrings, eight thousand pounds. Aren't they gorgeous? The thing is, though, I think you you can't when you see prices like this, they're not untouchable kind of thing. Like to people out there when they're, they're going into a shop, that's the normal prices, that, oh. that is what is paid for. Oh. Yeah, oh, can you make one of those? <laughs> I can definitely whip you up one of those for 22 and a half grand. Defo, what is it? I love this, can I just tell you what Tom's just said? He's just gone, uh, Debs, can you just make me one of these then and just whip it up and we'll sell it for 22 and a half thousand pounds? She's like, yeah, that's fine. Well, you know, don't you, that's stringing, isn't it? I mean, it, there's, Oh, but you know, if you look at the colour, I'm looking at the colours on these, and we've got those colours here, haven't we, on yours? We've got these. Look at these. Right, let's just hold these up. Oh, look at that, with your outfit, it just looks amazing. But my, my outfit is just a black top, and this is, I, I said this to Debbie just before we went on air, I literally said, like, it's, I wear plain, and then I'll jazz my outfit up with, with my, my stones and my jewellery. Yeah. So a plain black top, it's a plain black top, but my gosh, does this, 
lift it. It it, make, it yeah. just makes it elegant. It makes it classy. Like you can't go look. Look at me now. Look if you go if you do like me normal a wide boring just a plain black top. But then you look at the elegance as soon as you wear pearls. They're just it, they are just beautiful stones. They are. And going back to Mother Nature, they're, they're incredible. Uh, have we had loads of um. People, we've had some success stories though on the channel of people buying oh, yeah. pearls, yeah, yeah, haven't yeah. they? Our viewers have sent in, we did a whole, uh, I think it was I was with Carol and we did a whole hour of people and it was our viewers, not us, sending in valuations that they'd had for pearls that they'd bought from us. Um, oh yes, there's one here. Um, I bought a coil of pearls for JM for about £129 sold a necklace on commission for 850 pounds wow and that still would have been good when you think about what you see them for in boutique jewel it's usually over a thousand pounds like you know mm -hmm. depending on the pearl and we did a, a whole show where there were just different valuations yeah. on people i remember a lady saying she'd bought one in a kit it was something like 12.99 or 13.99 and i think she said it was something like 350 pounds 250 pounds you know we had loads of these stories and these are from our viewers you know they're just genuine genuine stories where people are buying from here making their creations and then going out and getting them appraised and valued yes and sometimes if people are making to sell or if they want to insure because we always say that it's not indicative of worth or value what we sell them for. So if you, yeah. like if you, unfortunately your house got broken into or you lost them or something, then you're not gonna be able to replace them for what you bought them for. So people no. tend to go and get them valued so that they can get them insured. Oh, yep, Do you see yep. what I mean? Yes, I see um, what you mean, yeah. So, okay. Are we gonna, are we? Okay, okay so a minute ago, um, Debbie messaging, I purchased strands of 6.99 pearls from you years ago. Mm -hmm. I made a three strand pearl and spinel necklace five years ago and valued at 199. Yeah, that's what I mean. 350 pounds from six, nine, like six pounds, 99 pence. That's it. Like my mind can't. Even, that's what I'm kind of trying to digest. I probably feel like, like I'm on another planet here, but <laughs> I'm trying to digest these figures and 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 how blessed we are with the fact that we do have access to these. Absolutely, that. Absolutely, because our viewers know. Mm. You know, and I think, one, like I said, one thing we do well, and we've always done well, is pearls. Yeah. And we used to take it for granted, like that you could get them for six ninety nine or, or whatever, and they, they have doubled. But when you have a look and that you see that somebody's valuation mm. has doubled nearly, yeah. you know, you, you just think, well, there but it we're is. Not, we're not just talking about doubling here on some of these no, as well. No, no, that's, no. That's, that's, that's the level. So this is Georgia, one of our buyers. I'll read this aloud to you. Um, so, morning, the pearl market has boomed in the last three months and cost prices have doubled. As a result of this, from October to November, our pearl cost prices are going to be higher. Right, okay. So, they're going to be higher and we are going to need to increase the prices that we sell them for. So, I'm going to need your help with educating the customer and pushing the message, that's what it's all about, education as well, of what's going on in the market. Jake has said that Gemporia have paused, that echoes what you've just yeah. said, Debbie. Um, have paused buying on fresh water pearls due to the price increases but i have continued to place order in lower quantities so that they are still available for our customers so how many have we got of these we've only oh that's it so Tom's just said, like normally, well, not normally, previously, we'd have had about 150 of these and we've only got 50 of these. That's not a lot. That, yeah, you know, when you... Yeah, you, you, if you are making to sell, and I, I've said this before, but, you know, if you undervalue what you're selling, if you, if you price too low, people won't believe they're real. They won't... Yeah. They won't... Um, give you as a maker and your makes the respect that they that they need mm. so you know if you look at something like this i'm not surprised there's only 50 in fact i thought there'd be less than 50 because of how we can get hold of yeah. and also the size yeah. they're natural it's the it's the size we haven't they're even covered enormous. really the, the specifics of these they're you know they're not small are they they are these are large pearls natural are we going to put the price in yeah, so 
we saw a necklace there, right, for three three thousand pounds, price on application. Here we go, this one. Let's show this one as an example. And the lavender. Like, it, aren't they gorgeous? Mm. Right. So you're talking about three thousand pounds. Okay. Yes. This is a this is a finished item, all finished, made up. Probably, I, I don't know what brand they're from. Um, these are lavenders. Three thousand pounds. People are paying. Right. Then, where do you think we are going to start an auction like this? I mean, just look at the size of these. <laughs> man. I keep getting excited every single time I see them, Debbie. <laughs> Oh, we're getting some more. So, collector in Greater Manchester, I bought some large Baroque fire pearls. You were talking about the fire, fire pearls. Yeah. Um, fire pearls a few years ago, uh, 69 pounds from Jewelry Maker. I put an 18 catwork gold clasp on and the value. Replacement value. I know, 1,200. So, should we start 69 there? 69 pounds, 1,200. That's the thing with pearls. That's why, you know, you've yeah. got to get them while you can because we're not going to be able to buy them for what we've been buying them for if we can get them at all. I love the fact that you just said we we are part of this, what we're part of, and I think you can't underestimate the value of every single pearl that we get. And no. you said that like before we came on air. You're basically saying like we are so kind of privilege to yeah. have access to these of women. That's we can. how I genuinely feel about it. Should we start should we start at three thousand? Should we start at one thousand two hundred? No. Where are we gonna start? Five nine nine. We're starting at five nine nine. You know you're getting a strand. You know you're getting a strand. And what? Sorry, was it 1,200 that that collector just said? 1,200, right? Just put an 18 karat gold clasp on 1,200. You got four way split pay, so you get that's interest free. You get to pay over four months with no extra payment. If you get them home and you don't like them, you can send them back. I think it will hurt their feelings, but you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll be sending them back then, will you? No, I really don't I'm, think you I will. I don't think so. Edison <laughs> pearls grown. They're just such stunning gemstones. What are you getting excited about? How much, sorry? 930. You know what? I, I think I, I did my maths wrong on there. I thousand and them up. I was talking about far too high. 937 pounds per month for this necklace that's what it's saying price on application that's per month we're not even we, we've started we've started at almost half that yeah and if you look at the colors you've got those lilac tones in there which you know you get anything with a purple pearl and the value increases it's the it's 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 and the fact that the thing is they are natural and I think I think that's what I need to keep honing on about is the fact that these are not dyed there's nothing here these are natural pearls so you've got your value in the pearl Definitely. in one singular pearl Definitely. let alone the fact that you can create all of these beautiful creations I, like I've you historically do. made things and knotted and made a full necklace but I wanted to show you like I picked those two from. Um, the strand and I had some of the garnet head pins which we brought a while ago so some of you might have those in your stash. Oh they're lovely. Um, just popped a garnet bead on top so that's a two minute make job with sterling silver. Um, how much would you sell those for? I mean if you saw those in a boutique jewellers, sterling silver with garnet, with your um, genuine natural uh, Edison pearls. I'm, I'm, you're probably talking about. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they went in there for two hundred ninety-nine pounds. I was, uh, you know what? I was. I was thinking. I was. Uh, I was on the nose around about when you were saying that. Then I was thinking. Yeah, you can see your two. Your two six nine. Yeah, your two seven think, yeah, nine. Am I about right? Would yeah, you say? I would say so. You know, in a, in a jeweler's, and you know, when it's it's they're just so timeless. They are timeless. Pearls never go out of fashion, do they? You've got you've got a minute clock now. We're going on to the minute clock, and then are you going to do the price? Are you going to do? Oh, right. crumbs. Okay. The next price isn't even your price. No. But you do get other things in this kit. But ah, not that, yes. You know. No, no, no. You're absolutely right. So you're getting. Um, so the, it's it's a whole kit. So when you're seeing what's on the screen, we haven't even <laughs> just excited just, about the pearl. We've just spoken we? about the well, yeah, but I can get that. I, can, I understand that. Um, so you've got obviously the pearls. Then you've got these beautiful pouches, as you said about gifting as well. This kind of just comes with it. You're paying for the pearls. The, the, at the end of the day, you're paying for the pearls. But this comes as to make your life easier, shall we say? You've got all of your packaging. 
That's nice if you were gifting. Yeah. Also, if you're making a smaller items, like I have like a ring. I mean, I made the ring from scratch, um, the sterling silver ring, and that's just D-shaped wire and then half a jump ring soldered on. You know, you could pop that mm. in the pouch, couldn't you, if you were gifting options? Yes. Even if you're looking, it's in your dressing table, in your, in your jewellery box. You want to protect them. Yeah. These are valuable items. <laughs> Did you expect that? No, I didn't. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you expect that? <laughs> no, I, I. Yeah, but I know what we go to. Well, well, there I you love go. it when new people come and they don't. They, okay. I oh. just, I just love it. <laughs> I love this. You know, the thing is, though, I'm not even, I'm not even looking at the price because I'm so I excited know. about the fact that we are bringing Edison pearls. I have never brought Edison pearls to screen before. People you are multi buying, and you know, if everyone multi buys, then what, how many have we got? Did we say we, we've got 50, 50. fifty? Well, we don't have that fifty now. Um, not anymore because they're selling. But um, yes, if you keep multi buying in the way that you are multi buying, then yes. Um, these will disappear. Can I just say though, when you go to a jeweler's, if you saw a per, if you saw this, right, if you saw this in a shop, you would be talking thousands. Yeah, thousands. Yeah. Forget it. I know we're showing you the pictures of like literal, you know, pieces, but my my thoughts instantly. This is if you were to see it in a store. You just pop on, um, if you're going to knot that, it does come with some um, it silk. It also comes with your clasp. So Which if you were going to knot that, you could, you've got everything that you need, um, apart from maybe, uh, depending whether you like to use your calots, mm -hmm. but we brought um, some of the crimp covers or whether you like to use your uh, French wire. Um, so you've basically got everything in the kit to knot that necklace up and pop on the clasp. Mm -hmm. But you know, like Elle, who's one of our presenters, you probably yes, know, I know Elle. You know yes, Elle. Yes, yes. So Elle always says that, you know if you've got um uh, and we don't do gold clasps at the moment but if you've got mm. say um a gold clasp from somewhere one of our competitors and popped it on there mm. i'd love to see what the value of that oh, would I'll, be. I'll do it do it because we're going again he's going again he's going lower so this is your chance to get involved and get these into your collection Personally, I've never ever, we never had access to Edison Pearl three years ago on Gems. The fact that we've been able to have access to them and the fact that now Charlie's not here, so then our pearl buying has slowed down. Yeah. We've got less quantity and then we've been able to bring pearls of this size in a whole kit. You can create this. I think it's almost like a challenge though, isn't it? To say, create this into a necklace. Do what you've just said L do and go and get it valued. That, that's exciting. Exactly that. And you could always take two pearls off Mm -hmm. to fit your earrings yes. um, and then pop on an extender chain yes. so that you've got earrings and that sweet if you want to go the full the, the full, full look. look yes are we <laughs> we're going lower we are going lower <laughs> and a four-way split pay with zero interest I mean you, you could you could have if you're doing a four four way split pay yeah right so so you can get them home for what what does that work out at? fifty pound a month isn't it is it it's about yeah, fifty yeah, pounds yeah. fifty pounds a month I didn't know you did four four ways so you got you can for fifty pounds that's that's it how many pearls right okay let's work this out let's double up um two four six eight. Uh, 10, 12, sorry, 14, 16, 18. Is it like awful watching me do this? 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Oh my goodness, 28, 30, 32. Oh no, which one's about 34? 36, 37. Let me. So you'll get you approximately that. Approxi oh, I was it depends going to on say the size. The size. That's what I was going to say. You're talking. That's a lot of pearls. You're talking near 37. Is that how much this works out? It's about, is that really? It's like 18 right. pairs of earrings. It is, isn't it? Yeah. That's about five pounds, that's about five pounds <laughs> a pearl. That's crazy. And you're not done? Oh, he's not, are you going to, okay. Okay. <laughs> he wants to see 10 more people on the phone lines and he'll go again, he says he's dancing. So this is a he very is good dancing. sign, he's DJing. <laughs> he's doing a twirl. Well, is. Is that's why you call him DJ. <laughs> yeah, because he looks that's like a DJ. That's why you call him DJ. I love this. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh my gosh. Right. That's why. I mean, look at everyone coming in now as well. Everybody's coming in because that, I, I've never regretted a strand of pearls that I've bought from here. I like that. Never regretted it. I asked that's my husband 
uh, for the high luster Akoyas for Christmas mm. because I knew there wasn't a cat in hell's chance that I could ever afford to own Akoya pearls going forward. Yes, yes. Five more people, Five he, more wants people. he wants on the phone line. I love what you've just said there and I think you'll feel the same way. That, that's like, I've never regretted pearls that I bought from him. I know. That, 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 that is everything. It's never been one of those, oh, I really liked it while I was sitting there or, or and I got it and what did I buy those for? Never, never, never. No. And the fact that you said, you said, put this on and uh, I don't know who said it to you and you were like, well, I can't afford this. If, if you were to it buy it. It was my son. It was your son, wasn't <gasps> it? Oh, it's gone even low. Like, what? Is it? Like, this is so exciting. Four Honestly. pounds eighty a pearl. And also, oh, that's crazy. maybe you've got a friend who makes jewelry or someone who yes. wants some pearl jewelry. And you could go halves on the strand and have half each. So you could craft with half and maybe make them something. That's, that's another way idea. to look at it. Or if you're thinking of gifts, oh. if you've got a, spe a wedding, a special birthday, a, oh. you know, thinking ahead, I think ahead to, to who I want to make for, for Christmas, because obviously it takes time. Yes, of course. Um, but when you think of how beautiful this would be, just knotted, but also how you would just, I mean, to put it into perspective, I made a bracelet two pairs of earrings, a sterling silver ring, um, a spinel <laughs> ring, and I've still got this many pearls left. That's, that's huge. That, that, actually, let's really hone in on that. The fact that you've made that whole suite of jewellery and you've still got all of those pearls left, so you could, you could make so much more. And you know, they, they like, I've only got one strand because there's more for you then. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to see what I can do with one strand so that I can have some left to demo with. Yes. So that I don't have to take from, from the studio samples. There's an extra one for you. And yeah. I just feel like the pearl earrings on this. Now these sterling silver, I think I saw them in clearance, these sterling silver um, ear findings. I think they're really elegant and I think mm. they're really designer. That's a two minute make job. Now if you've got the bead caps, if I'd have had bead caps, I probably would have popped one on the bottom. Yes, yes. So that price that you're looking at on the screen now, you would pay in a jewellers for those earrings. Can I just say, if on gems, if I saw that and a finish with those two and that finished piece at 179, I, I would just be like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love it when he apologises to me before he does I it. I love how he he's I know you've put a load of work in, but I want to do something really, really amazing. Okay. Well, I think this is a show to remember already. It is. But okay. <gasps> okay. He said the next price. If he does the next price, and because it's Lindsay's first show, this is a price that will go down in history. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Are you, are you doing this? <laughs> okay, this is okay. a price that has never been seen before. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that. He says this is not, this is not normal. Doing an impression. There's nothing well, normal can about I please this. Please do an impression of Tom. This is Tom. He's there going like this because he's spinning because he's getting so excited. And he's going, this is not <laughs> normal. This is not normal. No, I'm getting dizzy. I don't know how you're not like on Can the floor. Can you see why I call him DJ Neary now? Absolutely He's like, all he needs is the big headphones. Oh my god. Where's the god. big headphones? He's doing oh. the deals. I can't believe what this is going to. This is absolutely, we've only got 50, remember? Oh. Okay, oh, the suspense. Oh, honestly, the suspense. Can I just say, before before you even drop the price, before you get all excited and drop your price, can we just show that necklace, uh, that bracelet that you've just seen with the clasp as well? Because the clasp is part of a feature. The clasp comes with yep. this suite. As, as, in essence, you know, you are paying for the pearl. The value is all in these wonderful pearls, but this is what comes as part of the whole suite. So you get... Um, so you, uh, you'll get the clasp included with it and you've got the stones on there. So you've got that elegant finish. So you've got, you basically you've got a full creation here as what you've done. I know you've put, is it garnet or black? It's the spinel. Black spinel. Spinel's in there to create that, that set. But oh my God, is that how much it works? Is that what you're going to do it for? <laughs> are you ready for this? <laughs> I think you are. People multiply and they've seen it on the web. One, oh, yes. four, nine. I mean, to be honest, it's disrespectful to these little pearls. That the, what are they, four pounds each? <laughs> can you They're hear not going to be happy. You're going to be happy. The pearls aren't going to be happy, I can tell you. Four pounds and two p a pearl. 
the clasp, the it all kind of comes. Else is yeah, free. yeah. It kind of you're paying for the pearls. That's what we like to say. These kind of come in as as free as a project kind of thing with it. So it's the pearls that. I just, I'm absolutely baffled. I, 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 <laughs> I, I love it. I absolutely love what you guys do here. And I think that this, I think if you were, if you, <laughs> Sue and Edinburgh, they're going to have to start calling you Mad Tom. I think they do already. I think they do call him Mad Tom. He, I, I don't know, but I, I, this is why I love the fact that people are going to be able to, I mean, you know, 149 pounds for split pace. So that, that makes it already easier to spread out. Well, it is for me when I see that, I think, okay, yeah. well, you know, I, I can find that. 50 pounds and for the next, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, what's happening? We haven't seen that. Okay. The phone lines have gone crazy. You can still do it. Um, but there's only 12 left and there are many, 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 many more of those in baskets. So if you want them, please don't wait because you'll miss out yeah. and they're lovely. You'll kiss them when you open them. Yeah, like Debbie did. She she, she kissed them when she got them. <laughs> I love it when he goes, I know you worked really hard, Deb, but I'm going to do something ridiculous. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> well, like I, like I care good. if our, our, our viewers get a really good deal. I mean, that's... Yeah. I shop here as well as work here. Well, exactly. Oh, I love that. It's true, though. It, it's true. We do, you know. It was, it'd was. it be like, you know, your wages go on your mortgage and everything like that. And then, oh, and then Jemporia. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And you can. And also, I mean, this is just not really anything, but if you were interested, yeah. <laughs> you get um, the instructions. You would usually pay for your written tutorials. So, you know, you've got an hour tuition there. You can see I'm wearing it. I had to make myself one. Now, if you wanted to pearl knot, there are a lot of pearl knotting tutorials on the Jewelry Maker website. So, and on our YouTube channels, I've demoed and done projects that I've written out for pearl knotting. So if you go onto our YouTube channel, you'll see those. And I thought, let's do something different. I know you haven't had um, demos for a week because you've been having lovely bargains, but I thought I'll try and do something that I haven't done before um, by demoing this. But if you have a look at some of the precious metals jewelry that I've made as well so if we can have a look at the sterling silver ring so I, I was going to demo that and then I thought you know what not everybody has a torch not everybody has all of the um, silver smithing right, yeah. equipment yeah. Um, that is just d-shaped wire which I've soldered um, and formed onto a ring shank in my desired size and then I have soldered on um, half a jump ring and then I've just wrap looped uh, sterling silver uh, head pin and popped on my pearl. Now I think even people who've just started to work with metal can do that. Yeah. It's like making a stack of ring but just adding a pearl to it. And that ring there, imagine what you would see that for with an Edison pearl and that's only oh. one. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm what's in awe of your talent. Oh, thank and what you. you can yeah well, it's, it's lovely i'm i'm kind of in the infancy of seeing it all so like you guys are probably very you'll be talented because you'll know and have the experience but i love this this is this is creation and creating things and do i need to go this way yeah there this go. is oh thank you this is pretty cool i like this i'm excited so, i'm with you what i'm going to be showing you how to do and what i've written out all the instructions for you is how to make this ring so i've gone for this one rather than the silversmithing because i thought it was something different something that everybody can do you don't need a lot of tools you don't need you know you can just um, make this so what I've got here are bugle beads and they're the bigger ones they're the six millimeter ones and I've got some um, spinel and I've got one um, of the pearls just one so I'm going to show you how to make this ring now if you wanted to you could use sterling silver even gold components that are like this tube beads and spacer beads and make this precious metal. I love how you how it elevates though. I it, hold, it holds it up and I think three of these in a necklace might be nice or yeah. one on a chain or one in the center of a bracelet. Ooh, yeah, like a, you could create that as the statement. So you've not only got your pearl, but it's like the the, the nucleus of the, like a flower design kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah I that's do nice. like a flower. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I know these are sort of high value, but if you look at places, um, some of the designers that I like, they use enamel with like 24 karat gold. They use different materials to yeah. kind of gauge it up a bit. So what you're going to need, and I list everything in the um, instructions, just let me try and get into I'm thoroughly enjoying this already. <laughs> um, you're going to need um, a beading thread. So a wildfire or a fire line thread. Um, and 
I would say to go for a larger gauge, so a higher, so a 10 pound or an eight pound, just because this adds a bit more structure to your ring. Now, if you have only got a six pound fire line or um, below, you can always do multiple passes around these beads to add, add that structure. So don't worry about that too much. Now I've got a size 10 beading needle and my wildfire thread and I've 10 pound I think this one is and I've popped a stopper bead on the end so this is a bead that is any bead that's not from your project that you will take off it just stops your beads falling off so what I'm going to be ha using and I took ages picking each pearl for each individual design that I did because they're all different and they're all just so beautiful so you'll have a really good look at them when you get them home yeah. and then we've got some it really doesn't matter on the size of these um, beads if you had a larger bead you just have sort of a wider um, shape whereas if you had a thinner bead you have a smaller shape so it doesn't really matter on the size that you use here so I think these look to be four millimeter and then I've got these bugle beads now if you didn't want to use bugle beads with something as posh as an Edison pearl <laughs> you yeah. could use as I said before some um, precious metal tubes yeah. or you could use precious metal spacer beads and just use five instead of one of these and just think of the five spaces as one and I've put all that in the instructions. So to start off with I'm going to pop on a um, bugle bead, one of my rounds and a bugle bead. So this is what I have on my needle okay and I'm going to drop that down to my stopper bead. Now it takes um, a little bit of manipulation. Uh, you need to know what shape you're going for. So we're actually going for that sort of V shape. So what I'm gonna do is go back up the first bugle that I put on. So it's the one nearest the stopper bead. And just bear with me because I'm sat back to my usual position. So I'm going back up the first one that I put on and give that a pearl. You don't wanna get your tail involved. <laughs> keep that tail out of the way he's got it's none of his business and then it will kind of sit like that so if you pull your bugles together or push them together um, so that they're sitting vertical and I do explain that in the instructions and then you're going to go back through the four millimeter round so I'm just going to call it a round because it doesn't have to be four millimeters and I'll put that down on my mat so that you can see the thread path that I've used okay so we have gone back up along and we're going to go back down again through the second bugle bead and this will bring these two together and you might need to do a little bit of manipulation like you do with little beads so they are sitting together and that is your first little sort of petal I suppose it's called a first little petal so we're coming out of the bottom of the bugle so we're going to add a bugle and a round and we're going to we're coming out of the bottom of the bugle bead so we're going to go back into the top of the bead that we just came out of it's much more complicated to say than it is to do so I'm going to get that tail out of the way I'm going to pull that down and it's very satisfying because you pull it then and it starts to make that fan shape, okay? Now, because we're coming out of the bottom, and the way that I've put this in the instructions as well, sometimes you put the bugle on first, sometimes you put the round on first, but the way that I remembered it as I was doing it is if you come out of the bottom, it's a bugle. If you come out of the top, it's a round, okay? So I need to go back up the bugle that I've just put on so that now I'm coming out of the top. And if I you guess just, once you get into a rhythm of this, it's quite relaxing because it's quite I'm, repetitive. I'm, I'm literally, I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like this. You are I'm peering over, very don't you? Sleepy. Yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> but when it, you can see it forming. You can see it forming, that's mm. why I love it. It starts just as little beads and then it ends up something else. So I'm coming out of the top so that I know I need to put on a round and then a bugle. Okay, so this is what I have, a round and a bugle. And I'm coming out of the top of that bugle bead and I'm going to come round and I'm going to go up through the bottom there so I'm going in a big circle as it were and then if your bead doesn't want to go where you tell yeah. you you yeah. be the boss you tell them all the angles isn't there it? you go Tension. so that you've now got that bead sitting where you want so I need to continue my thread path through and this is just what we've done before 
through the round and down the bugle. So now that I know, I'm coming out of the bottom. I'm just gonna get that tail out of the way. So bottom is a bugle. So I know I've got to put a bugle on and around, do exactly the same again. So it's just those two steps that we do to keep going until, and I've made one so you don't have to watch me do all of it. And this will <laughs> start to fan around and you can mm -hmm. keep popping your pile because they'll all be different into the center till you have something that is going to go all the way round. Now, I can't really tell you a number because all the pearls are different. And on um, the one mm. that I made um, that's on the stand, that took um, one less than the one that's on my finger because it just depends on the size of your pearl. So if you place... They're not small pearls at all. They're, they're not small at all. Um, mm. I, I put my uh, piece in because uh, we have a, like a promotions group where so the people can have the pictures to, to put in their emails and things. Mm. And one of our guest designers, I think it was Carol, she went, that's my kind of ring, Some, a jewellery you can see from space. <laughs> Yes, girl. And that made me laugh because yes. I was like, go big or go home. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what you're going to do. So you can here. see from space. There we go. So you've got this flower, but of course, this could be a motif for a necklace. It would be nice on a, on a, a bracelet. I'd like it as a necklace. Yeah, I think actually. just one on a chain yeah. might be pretty. So you can see there that I'm nearly there, and I can see that I probably just need one more for my um, circle to be complete. Yeah. So I thought you might need to see how we complete it. So I'm coming out of the top, so I know that that means I need a round first, and then a bugle. I can feel my tummy rumbling, and it's not even late in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had breakfast? Yeah, yeah but like four o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah. I had a piece of toast. So then, what I'm going to do is go down the next. I don't need to put one on because I'm now going to join the circle. Yeah. So I'm going to go down the next bugle in the row. So that was is actually the first one that I ever put on. Okay, so can you see that I'm going down that bugle and then giving that a pull. So that will sit into place. But as you can see, it's not connected on the bottom. So mm -hmm. I need to go back up. And you might want to do some multiple passes of this. And then I need to go across again. Do, um, do a lot of the presenters, Debbie, make their own pieces? Or is it more the fact that they're just learning from yourselves? Do you ever find that they come in and go, I've made this? Yeah. Yeah. De the, yeah, they definitely do. Hold on, what have I done mm. here? Oh, oh sorry. It? No, 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 it's fine. It's not you. It's, it's, I've got an extra bugle there somewhere. Okay. Just. It's what? kind of addictive, this, though, isn't it? <laughs> I'm yeah. getting to my meditative state. Um, so let me take that out. There we go. So if you do get into these pickles, which we do sometimes, take yeah. the needle off and just see where you've gone wrong. So what I've done is I've added an extra, I've added an extra bugle in. So we'll there we go. We'll take that out. Now I'm going to do now what I avoid doing on on live television, um, like the plague, and that's thread a needle. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that. Oh look at that. I've done it the first time. She's done it, she's done it. <laughs> so there we go. Sorry, I did a, an extra bugle. So what I'm going to do is go down there. So if ever you get in a pickle or you add an extra bead or you add, sometimes you pick up Debbie, two I've by been mistake. I've <laughs> Would been you a, pickle. a pickle? I've been a pickle from the beginning. You can just take... I'd be pickled. <laughs> <laughs> you just take your needle out um, and then you just start again. So there we go. I'm going back up. And... So now, yes. there we go, I've got my Look at circle. This. So what I would usually do is go round um, a few more times to uh, make that little, that structure a bit more, um, a bit more sturdy. So I want to come out of the bottom. So I'm going to continue down and just following my thread path till I come out of the bottom of a bugle bead. And it does not matter which one I come out of. So I'm coming down and out. There we go, so so I'm like that. So now I can pop my pearl in, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through one of the holes of the pearl, and then what I want to do is see where I'm coming out of and go into the bugle bead that's directly opposite yeah. the one I'm coming out of. And if there's two, then you, it does, it's not exact, just go to the, to the sort of nearest one. To make it central, to, to keep make it, it. To keep it in the central. So give that a pull. Now you can either have it flat or you can 
increase the tension and I quite liked it so that it kind of set up like a moving flower but that, that'll be up to you that's the beauty of making jewelry now what you would want to do then is go through your thread path so that you can come back through that pearl a few times and this just reinforces um, the structure of this and makes it a bit more secure but for the sake of a demo um, we're forgive not me do sorry that. you know when you said you go back through your thread path so you would go across oh so you'd following go back what down. you did before yes, yes i see what that's yes. a really good question yeah so going so my thread so i can't just go straight down no, i've you got can't, to follow because you don't want to see the thread so yes. if you follow the thread path that you've done before mm -hmm. um, you will end up and you can you know there's no way of wrong way of doing this you can go whichever mm. direction you want as long as you can't see the thread so yeah. now i'm ready that i could go through that go again yes. but what i'm going to show you is how i put the band on so you want to ideally be coming out of the pearl when you add your band so i just want to find where my pearl um hole is it's there and i'm going to go around so i ideally want my pearl my band to be coming out of the pearl because that is the strongest part of this design rather than one of the bugles because yes. it can pull the bugle out of shape and I just need to get my needle in there so bear with me there it is. I love the fact that you you get almost 37 pearls in this and the fact that you're displaying this one piece of jewellery. I'm gonna have to get my head in sorry. I can't no see you, you do that. I love the fact that um, in this is the fact that there's okay. 37 Fun. pearls in this in this whole strand and that yet yeah, you've got one creation and it's just one you're only using you've one. one um from gloria hi i knew nothing about jewelry making due to ill health and able to watch jm every day i've learned to do so much design as you but honestly gloria they they do rock they and do there is making jewelry and there's making jewelry and gloria is an amazing jewelry maker gloria is incredible like she's very very good do you think like <laughs> the fact that you've got so many people in this on this planet but it's just everyone is so everyone's kind of got their strengths it's like meant to be oh like, definitely and, yeah. and you know i think you find your creativity um helps people a lot of people got into it in lockdown a lot of people yeah. get sometimes they go to make their wedding jewelry and then they're yes. hooked you know things like that yes. um but that's lovely because gloria is very very clever you're very clever gloria <laughs> gloria sitting there like this oh. I'm just clever. So I'm coming out of the pearl. Sorry, but we sit back like this and we demo. And obviously, if we looked right over the top, our head would be in. So sorry for that, that little delay. So my thread is coming out of my pearl. And then all you need to do is you can use the same gemstones or you can use whatever you want. Maybe at this point, you'd want to use some spacer beads and a precious metal to have against your finger. That's completely up to you. Now, what you need to do is just put on as many as you need for your size. And How the do best, you work out that? The best way to do this, okay. it's all right, it's a good question, is to keep going around your finger. Or if you're making to sell and you need a definite size, mm. take your ring sizing ring mandrel and put that in and go over the ring right. mandrel. Yeah. Okay, so let's we'll just put on a, on a few here just for sakes of demonstration. I mean, I'm an NO on this finger and there are two, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. So I've put 18 on there for roughly an, an O size, I would say. But I'm just gonna put a couple on here so that you can see what we are doing. And then what you're going to do is go through your pearl again. Now, if you're finding any difficulties with putting your um, needle through, go down a size of needle, don't force through that little pearl. So what this does is it adds your um, ring shank to your ring. Now you need to go through that again a few times just so that you're reinforcing that and you would just follow your thread path up along and down and back through, up along and down. And then when you're finished, you would want to just go through your beads and tie some half hitch knots. So I'll show you how to do a half hitch knot. So we just go through your beads. I've got my um, tail thread there out of the way. And a half hitch knot is where you capture the thread underneath so I've gone underneath the thread there make a loop like that and go through the loop oh yes 
make sure the thread sits down between the beads so you can't see it. And you'd want to ideally do that a few times, just going through your thread path. And then you will end up with dun, 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 a little dun. ring, or maybe you know you wanted to attach a jump ring on the top and put that on a chain, or three of those together. Um, as I said, if you want to go down the silver route, then you can make a basic uh, D-shaped wire ring and just solder on a jump ring, and that is a precious metal and Edison pearl ring, darling. That is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Uh, from Janet, this is another beautiful piece and perfect for someone who can't wear metal. Oh, yes, of course. That's a really good point. And, and not yeah. everybody... Oh. oh, thank you, Gloria. If I think in my life that I've inspired one person, that makes my day. Um, but Gloria, you inspire me too, my lovely. So thank you so much. Oh, aren't they lovely? Isn't it? Honestly, this is just the loveliest <laughs> day. Like, honestly, it really is. Okay. There's, oh, oh okay so um there's only five chances remaining of this beautiful ne necklace there's uh, 42 people have it in the baskets as well okay so this will sell out so if you've just tuned in um we're going to a break just shortly but if you are kind of tempting or if you're on the fence and you're not quite sure and you're just thinking about it you do need to put this into your basket and check it out because you might i don't want you to get to a point where it's sold out and you think oh i actually i really wanted that there's so much scope here beautiful beautiful edison pearls i never could i never ever when i worked on gems got the chance to have own see edison pearls you've got the chance now at an absolute bargain of a deal right um, next hour, we have got your beautiful mutton fat jade. Sadly, uh, Dave isn't very well. However, oh. um, I know, I know, but he sent us a message um, because he wants to tell you all of this information. So we're going to tell you all of that in the next hour. We've got some beautiful, beautiful pieces um, for you. Beautiful. It's going to be an amazing hour with some spectacular deals. We'll see you shortly. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all doing well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is going to be this Sunday, the 24th of March, where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the amazing crew. And I want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we've got one of my favourite agates that we've been showcasing on the show recently, Fire Agate. And I know spring is finally here, but I still think we need that extra little bit of colour. And we've definitely got that on Sunday. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's at nine o'clock. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, well, I've been truly spoiled. Do you remember back in October last year, I introduced to you four incredible abalone animals. We had an elephant, we had an owl, we had a butterfly and a fish. Well, this Sunday, I've got the second instalment on the range and I think we're getting better and better. So I'm going to show you the four creatures we're bringing to air. We've got the dragonfly, Look at the colours in those wings, beautiful. We've got the dragonfly. This is cute. We've got this incredible seahorse. <laughs> it's really good fun, isn't he? Then we've got a few turtle lovers out there. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. The workmanship is incredible. We've got the turtle. And I know we shouldn't have favourites, but here's my favourite. The incredible angelfish. Absolutely spectacular, aren't they? So that's this Sunday. Fire Agate at 9, incredible abalone animals at 12, plus all the fun and laughter. Hope you can join us. That's 8 o'clock, Sunday, 24th of March. <laughs> Now
never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, it's so good, I, uh, my name's Lindsay, if you've never met me before. Um, I used to work on GEMS, About started about nine years or so ago, then I've had about three years off. Um, and I'm joined by the lovely Debbie. <laughs> it, Hello. It's been a great morning. I've had a lovely morning. It's lovely to have your company. Oh, thank you, it's lovely to have your company. <laughs> I don't think I could have done this to be fair without you, Debbie. Oh, I bet you could. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's great to be back. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. The, we've got a real exciting hour for you. Sadly, um, David, or Dave, as I know him, um, is he's poorly at the moment. Oh, I'll get better soon, Dave. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him. I texted him yesterday and I said get better soon, but obviously he's no. Yeah. If you're not well, you're not well, you no. need your rest. So, um, but we've got a mega hour and he sent in a big message to us that I don't even know if it's been announced or anything, but he's, <coughs> has he sent it to you right now, like a few moments ago, about an hour ago, okay. because he said, I just want everybody to know this. So um, we're gonna talk you through all of this in just a few moments time. Um, but we have got your, oh God, um, the, mutton, the mutton fat, um, we've got your coat and mutton fat. We've got some beautiful pieces for you. Uh, Debbie, you're swooning over these, aren't you? I love you? the size. The size, they look like little moons to me. They are, they're huge. Yes, yes. I like the moon. I just, I don't know, there's something magical about uh, mutton fat. I hate the name. I know. Mutton fat. I, mean, I know. Maybe because I'm, don't eat meat, but I, d I don't like the name. It's not very romantic, it's is it? It's not very romantic. They should romantic. be called like Magical Moon Jade or something. Yeah, mutton moon fat. something, yeah, no, no, mutton. You know, my daughter, she's six and she's at school, and if the word fat comes up, um, she goes, no, 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 you can't. And I'm like, darling, are we, uh, they're not allowed, they don't like the word fat. 
They, they just don't like to say that word at school now. But when mm. you talk about like fat animal, like a fat, yeah. um, she doesn't get the connection. And, Isn't it and funny? Yeah, it's really it's strange. So and and so she says you can't say the f word, mummy. And I'm thinking, and oh, no, I know, no. darling, but yeah, that's it's fat to her. So yeah, you see, yeah. you're not allowed to call those those mums. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. not romantic enough. Should we call them moon? <laughs> um, I love that. So we've we've literally got this beautiful hour for you. Oh. Oh, okay, then that's fine. So we, um, we've got, we didn't want to cut the demonstration short from the last hour, so we did want to um, play this, but there's quite a few of you that have already got this in your basket. Um, I don't, is it, do you load them at the beginning of the hour? Forgive me, Tom, or is it, is it earlier have they been loaded from? Because you've, so they were on pre-order from nine, and so many of you have got these in your baskets anyway. Now, this is Dave's own collection, I believe. Um, this is your Zodiacs. So, um, can I tilt that? I'm, I'm worried that they're going to slide off, Debbie. Oh, shall I? Just shall I? Shall I? Ooh. Oh, no, <laughs> see, see, my worries came true. <laughs> they look so secure as well. I know, they did, didn't they? Well, okay, so I'm not going to go too much of a tilt, but I'll show you them individually in just a few moments. But this comes in a set, and it's it's basically the Zodiacs oh. of Jade, but it's his own personal collection. Um, I don't know, have you got that VT? To, no, you can't find it. That's fine. Basically, um, David's created his own Zodiac collection. And basically, essentially what he says in the VT is the fact that um, to have a collection, it's not a case of having... If people over time would have had a collection, you might have one of, say, the rat and then one of, uh, you know, another animal. And, and this for him was that kind of bringing to, to, to market, to industry, a full collection of the whole Zodiacs. It's not a case of you've got one because what would happen over time is maybe you'd give them to family members mm -hmm. and, and then the whole collection gets lost. So yeah. he wanted to bring a full collection, a full suite, not sell them individually. <sighs> Do you oh, see what right. I mean? You get so, all of them. Yes, yeah. So you get them all. So it's twelve pieces. Do you get the gift box as well? You oh, get it in here. That is lovely. Ah, uh, okay. So we right. So they come in the box. You might have seen them before. I don't know, but they're the, literally the last few. But they come in this box. It's his own personal collection. But you don't. We're not selling them as one individually. You get the whole suite in the box. So they've only ever been on once before. And what channel was that on, 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 on here? So they've only ever been on once before, about two weeks ago. And this, this, this is the next time they're on. So um, just look at these creations though. So when it comes to Jade, they're masters, aren't they? They're master carvers. So, uh, just from sitting here listening to Dave every time he's been on, and I, I just look at the, the wet look of that. You know, oh. when he says it's supposed to look wet I mean and look how they do that I mean I've spoken about this before because it blows my mind how they carve that it's the curvatures it's it's, it's you know you, you, when you look at something and you you facet something you're looking for that hard edge aren't you you're looking yeah. for that finish that yeah. hard edge so you get that luster whereas actually the luster is kind of melted like water here yes you see what I mean it's, that's exactly it it's yes. so it, isn't it like a multi-generational that they pass these carving yes. skills down yes I love that, that and, and that kind of echoes the reason I believe that why Dave brought this is because it's multi-generational because you pass them down through the family of course you guys know all about Jade and the value of Jade and how it's so highly respected but the fact that you're getting a whole suite of each of the Chinese zodiacs um, because it isn't it, the Chinese zodiacs it kind of um, is the attributes of that animal per year mm -hmm. that's what it is so you've got this is an idea to say so we're in what 2024 now <laughs> yeah well, I actually don't know the year that we're in which, yeah, 2024. Um, uh, no, no, no. Oh, what dragon. Animal, uh, is it the dragon? Are we in the year of the dragon? Oh, so um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know whether you were calling me a dragon there. I don't know. I know. It was just when you said, I don't know the year in. I thought, I, I have that problem. As well. <laughs> I think it's 2023. I do that. And I think my sister, my, my sister, I don't know, I'm on another planet. My daughter is five, not six. I'm, yeah, convinced yeah. I'm glad it's not you. just me. No, I, I keep them young. Keep them young. <laughs> Um, but oh, oh, look, Nicola, <coughs> right, this is lovely. Nicola from Worcestershire has written, I have these, they're amazing. I never regret buying them. I, and I, I totally, totally get this. And the fact that you can, so you're getting these 
on their own, but you can make them up yourself. Okay. Um, because you've got the drill hole in the top, so you can make a necklace, mm -hmm. um, a pendant for yourself. With with uh, personally, you'd go. I would like gold chain this, and yeah. but you can put whatever you want. If Absolutely. you want leather or a thread through it, then. Or you could put on a strand if you wanted to be really, yes. really, oh, yes. really decadent. <laughs> yes. Have a strand and have this, and you're done. And then you can keep them in the box and wear whichever one. Well, I just think the more in the cool. box, they look beautiful. Um, Michael, I've got mine and they are stunning. I've used a dressmaker's pin through the hole at the top to pin each one in place. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, what a, a lovely thing to have on display. I mean, what a oh. talking point when people Jay. come in and say, oh, what's that? Yes. Actually, when you put it that way, that's true. So, um, we're at 999 when you work it out bearing in mind this is J it's about 83 pounds per carving per carving oh no. that is absolutely amazing Caroline in Greater Manchester I have this set stunning I've collected at Jadeites for 52 years and thanks to Dave I've finally got the Zodiacs I've tried for 30 years to, uh, that's, wow wow is that because, Caroline, you couldn't get hold of one or that you saw them and they were completely out of your price range? That's interesting, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Because you would think that something like this would be thousands. Well, I, I think that kind of echoes what Dave said in the VT, is the fact that like you don't get a suite, like you don't get a set oh. if you want one. So you've basically waited, Caroline, 30 years, right? And you've been collecting for, what, 52 years and you're able to get the whole suite. That means so much. Yeah, doesn't it? And that's from somebody who has has this. So yeah. that's, a, that's a viewer saying that, not us saying that. Are we going lower? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm ready. Oh, you're ready for the price. We're getting the price on screen. This is so exciting. Of course, we, we have last, how much is this? Caroline, are you happy with this? Are you happy with this? You've waited 30 years to own one and it's 25 pounds, a carving, all coming in. This beautiful, I mean, this alone, when you see, it, it's, if I were to walk into a jeweler's and see it, and I know sometimes pre presentation is, it stands for a lot, yeah, doesn't it? it certainly does. And the fact that you're getting the box and you can have the carving in it, what's really nice is within the box, I'm not going into too, too much detail because this is kind of, free to it you know the, what you're paying for is ultimately this is the fact that you've got all of the individual cushions for the displays as well so you've got e e everything perfect for your collection i would walk into a jeweler's and see this like this and just go gosh i can't afford that price on application. yeah too shy to go and ask them to open that box yes <laughs> absolutely absolutely i'd be like Ooh goodness me uh, lots of you have already got this in your basket so this is very exciting do make sure you you check out we've only got how many left Three left, three available of these remaining. This is this is da uh, uh, Dave's collection of the Zodiac, the, char the beautiful jadeite. Now this is type A, I don't even think we've covered the quality of the jadeite here. It's type A jadeite, so you've got all of that value um, because of the quality, because of the kind of, you know how like a diamond you've got your gradings yeah. with your jadeite you're talking about some of the finest finest jadeite that we can even get our hands on and the fact that we've collected the full suite of zodiacs congratulations to everyone who is buying these uh, this morning it's so lovely to have your company okay des congratulations we've got makers on the line as well uh, hazel <coughs> you've got yours jackie maker oh i like how, where everyone's from you've got different locations haven't you yeah and and also when you, when you see people from across the globe i love that when so do i and i think oh that one's gone to america oh that one's gone here it's quite exactly. exciting yeah. isn't it yeah. isn't it i want to see the way that where the last two go to um who's going to take those last two of these uh, how many 18 people oh wow Fighting for the last couple. Fighting for the last couple. Congratulations. Just basically, once you've checked it out, then you've got it, and then you've secured it yourselves. The whole Zodiac there. We're going to leave that with you because we'll be oversubscribed. Do make sure you check those out there. Congratulations. And I think there's a lot of meaning behind these as well. The fact that you've got each year. So each year, you know, yeah, definitely. it's going to be significant to the year that you're in as you go through. Especially so. for the collectors as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Congratulations to everybody who's got their hands on those. Welcome, welcome back. Um, we have got a fabulous hour for you. Um, of course, you've just seen a sellout deal there. We have also got 
the mutton fat jade. We're very excited by these over here. Um, but we've also got that element of colours from your coat from your cotan jade. We've got beads. Um, I like the fact that we've got different colours. So do I. I think I think we're kind of hitting everyone's kind of choice, you know, what your preferences are. And what's nice as well, you can work with you could like shade some, couldn't you? Yeah, um, you can ombre the strands. Ombre, which is, that's the one. That's the one. Um, yeah, you can ombre them. Sometimes we have a strand, and actually I just put it out there, but sometimes we have a strand that's ombre with jade. Yeah. Can you imagine how oh. they even, especially with Kotan? I've got a strand of Kotan that's ombre, but um, it's just beautiful. So I just literally um, knotted it. I oh, just kept it, yeah, because I thought if they've gone to all that trouble to first of all source those natural colours, mm. then to, you know, make them into beads, then to, to get all the colours and ombre them, I'm not messing with that, it's perfection mm. to me. Yeah. So I just put them on like as that. was. So with with your jade, uh, a lot of you will be so fully educated anyway on jade, but um, to source jade, a lot of it is found um, in rivers and, and you'll have a lot, what you'll find is people will sit and wait for a long period of time to find beautiful jade and to find those beautiful colours mm. of this fantastic gemstone. Now in China, it's, it's regarded as higher value than gold. It is huge and a lot of what they've done in China is buy up the jade um, to then work with supply and demand. You know how that works, supply, demand, when you're demand outweighs your supply then what happens that skyrockets and this is something that dave has just recently just literally sent an hour or so ago because he was meant to be on the show mm. um so he just wants you to know this about um the mutton fat jade so hi guys it's like he's talking it you is, know, it? It? Like, hi dave <laughs> hey dave how you doing um and i thought uh, uh black and white picture of dave there um i'd like to stress the point to you that mutton fat jade is impossible for us to acquire moving forward just let's just run with that at the moment is the fact that that's huge because genuine gemstones and let's just go back to basics with gemstones I've had a bit of time off and stuff but for me it's not it's not something that you can just keep making and making and making like a gemstone and I think because we're surrounded by it a lot of the time you yeah, kind of take that it for bubble granted. again yeah 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 you take it for granted don't you but for me, it's not, it's when Dave is saying like it's Im is impossible for us to inquire moving forward is the fact that they can't get their hands on it. That's it. If there's a time limit on stones. There's stones that we've seen that we've disappeared and you're like, that's long gone now. We're not going to get hold of that. That can happen here with this gemstone. So he'd like to stress the point that mutton fat jade is impossible for us to acquire moving forward. The market is acutely aware that the mines are running out. And this most prized color has always been the most valued of all of the jades. Whilst in Hong Kong, it became apparent that the prices for this material in the market have doubled wow. since the September show. We all know prices are going up in, in the whole world with everything, yeah. Oh, don't we? Yeah. yeah, all of us are feeling that. But the fact that, you know, it's doubled since the September show and they will continue to do so. Again, it's that back to that supply and demand. For any collector looking to acquire true mutton fat, um, how do you say that? Hetitian, Hetitian jade. Um, this may well, say that again? Hetitian uh, jade. Um, this may well present the last affordable opportunity. So we, did, we, we, when I used to work at GEMS, we didn't have this stone. We couldn't, we didn't, I've never seen it before. This is br this is brand new to me. So the fact that it, it's this kind of this pocket of time, you know, two years maybe, I don't know. I don't know when they first launched this, but it's, you've got that pocket of time when you've got it mm. and then that's it. And that's what we've got here today. Are we going to start with these? We're gonna start the biggest one. Oh, good thing. So you say all that and then you bring something like this. I know, yeah, but we're naughty here, aren't we? Which is enormous. It's beautiful. Is it a bracelet? Um, yes. You can have... <gasps> can yeah. I try it on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I love that. It's like a... Can I try it on? Look at... Oh, come on. Come on. I love it. I love it so much. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they? Now, I... You look at these and you think that's too big One's for a bracelet. It so isn't, is it? No. I mean, how no. designer is that? Just that. Just wear that. I love the coolness. So do I. I, I love that feel. Oh, it won't come off ever again. No, it's stuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Debbie, it's stuck. Go on. Ah, uh, okay. All right then. Okay, so 
Okay, we've only got nine of these. Oh, okay, we've got eight now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the numbers are going down as I'm speaking. So basically, it is last of stock. So it's a case of what we've got now is 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 that's all we've got. So last last of stock. They just feel and they're incredible. I know. Oh. It's, but that's the thing is with a genuine gemstone is your body heats up and the stone absorbs it. Isn't you know, we talk amazing. about Lynchinx and all of the crystal energies yes. and everything. But you know, your whole they are fab. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, yeah, this is a valuable gemstone. As they say in the price of this gemstone, your beautiful Cotan mutton fat. I just want to add something, okay, it's 999. When you are buying gemstones from uh, Gemporia, from JM, I think it's that trust of, yeah. there are a lot, and you'll know this anyway, there are a lot of fakes out in Especially industry. Especially jade. That's probably the, 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 the most. And dyed. Yes. Yeah, that's probably, I'd say Jade is probably the one that's replicated the most. I agree. And the fact that you're getting it from a trusted supplier, we've got, we've got all of, all, everything that back it up, that we know, genuine, beautiful. So when you're talking about a stone, so valuable, laboratory test, everything, we've had everything done for you, so go and get it valued because you're going to have this at an amazing, amazing deal. You really will. It's, I just love they're gorgeous, aren't they? They are so sizable. So, right, we're not stopping here. This is your. This is the launch price. Is this the launch price now? So you're at a launch price. We're not stopping here. It's last of stock. So if you missed any of the shows, then do grab these whilst you can. What's it? What's this saying? <laughs> uh, Gloria says, "Oh my goodness." Uh, they're keepers, just like you, lovely ladies. Oh. Debbie, I knew you'd go for the bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do they know you that well? Well, they the thing is, well. like, sometimes it's in shot, and I forget I'm on telly because you do, don't yeah, you? Well, you? Well, I do. Yeah. And then I just grab it out of shot, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, because I just need to touch it. Oh, oh, absolute touch away. Aren't they? Touch away. They're so tactile. Oh, they? They, they, they are. You just what you want to wear them. And look oh, at that I love. on you and your I outfit. Do. It's in monochrome, isn't and it? And I like the weight behind them. So do I, and they're so cool to the. Top. Oh, aren't they just? Is that what you got? Oh, good luck. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Oh, honestly, honestly, this is your last of <laughs> stock. Oh, my. <laughs> That's so good. Have we got split pay as well? Oh, yeah, we do. Yes. Absolutely. Five way split pay. Five way. Five way. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so you've got five way split pay. You've got two more chances. The rest have sold out. So there's two available if you want to get your hands on these. Of course, Dave's not here. We're sorry, Dave, for this price point, but um, we've done it and we're doing it. It's <laughs> happening. So if you want these, I think we may be over allocated on these as well. So good luck whilst you're checking out. And just to reiterate, in terms of price and value, get these valued, get these appraised. Yes. Because as Dave said, this is what's happening. This is at cost, the price has doubled. So imagine where it could be, you know, when you're getting these valued. And you know, as we were there. saying earlier, just for insurance purposes, don't you think? Because yep. you couldn't replace oh, it for this, could no. you? I mean, that, you just couldn't replace it probably at all. I don't think they'd believe you. No, they wouldn't believe They wouldn't believe you. Sold out. Sold out. Tom's doing a dance. <laughs> DJ Tom's like, don't forget to get your authenticity certificate. Yes. Sold out. Gone. Congratulations. Bye. Bye. Okay, we've got one more slightly. So we're talking this one. Yeah, this is the okay. large one. Okay, there's your large one. I was going to say, this is mm. the one. Um, so we've got one more. Don't know how many we've got of these until they come up. But this is the slightly smaller. So, of course, we were talking about... Um, and the larger size, this is the slightly smaller size. So this is your approximate, the 16 mil. Is that I right? I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, they're, they're just, they're mega. They're honestly stunning. And you just think about, well, you might, you might, to be fair, like. Wear them together. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Put them on together, come on. Talk about jewelry you can see from space. Oh yes, I like that. Can you imagine this three statements? Three of those, and just a, a, a plain colour blocked outfit, oh. no other jewelry, maybe just some small earrings. What a statement! I mean, there's something about these, isn't there? Isn't there? I'm not calling them mutton fat. I refuse. <laughs> no, I just think that, that yeah, I, I know what you're saying. It's that that name, but it's it's just. 
the va- I, I, I've, I know that we could not get this years ago and the fact that we've had that, I just see this, I genuinely see this gemstone and I'm sure J- Dave would agree with me, is a, a moment in time. Yes. Do you see what yes. I mean? It's that moment in time, if, you know, if you can get your hands on it and right now, if you can get it, you can afford it, you can do your split pay on it. It's that moment in time because in years to come, will we be sitting here going, oh, do you remember when we had that? Oh, yeah, just like we did with, we used to have Tanzanite on every show. Yep. Literally, and now we hardly ever have it. I mean, this, we know that it's it's far rarer. Yes, well, exactly. Far rarer. And, you know, no, you're not. That's the point. Like, going forward a couple of years, are we going to see any of this? And then when you get, I think what's interesting as well, congratulations to everyone who's already got theirs and um, checked out. But um, I think in years to come, do you think then the appraisal, when you do, say, get it appraised now, and then in, like, five years or ten years' time, you then get that, do you think then it could... It def- Dave always says, hold on to it. If yes. you're going to do, if you if you want to sell it or whatever, just hold on to it. Just hold on to it for a couple of years. Yeah, that's what Dave always says. And like he, I find well, usually when he's here and I'm sat here, I learn so much from him because he yeah. really knows his stuff. Oh, he does he? know his stuff. He's, he's well travelled with all of this now, mm. though. That that's the thing. It's he's he's out there and he's you know when you're going to these trade fairs and you're seeing what's exactly happening, you're at the core of the market. Yeah. So you almost know that information before it actually get. Can I just say that the price has gone down? Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what are we like? This is so <laughs> nice because you're just chatting, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's just, it's, it's a really nice, there you go. There's your price point. <laughs> and it's on split pay. This is brilliant. If you honestly, honestly, if you want to get a hold of this gemstone, I never had it years ago when we were on gems. And to be able to get your beautiful mutton fat jade, it's that moment in time when you can get it. Get it home. Look at the size of each of these rounds as well. Just a statement on its own of this wonderful gemstone. And, you know, in China, the market's bought up. That Basically what's yeah. happened is they've bought up as much jade as possible to hold on to it because they know, and the value of jade out there is just so, it's not just regarded in terms of its like physical, like it, it, there's so much more, isn't there? It's to revered jade? almost, isn't mm. it? There was a lady, uh, one of our viewers, and she messaged in when Dave was on one day and she was saying she went to Tucson mm. and she was wearing one of our um, pendants, one of our carvings, and I can't remember what she paid for it. But, and then one chance left. People c- were offering her like thousands of pounds for it as she was walking around. So in the end, it made her so uncomfortable she took it off. No way. Yeah, and that's something she'd bought here for maybe two nine nine. I'm not exactly sure, but something like that for like whatever she'd paid. Mm. It was nothing like thousands. And then all these people were coming up to her saying, "I'll give you four thousand pounds for that next." Well, week. I'd be like, um, you'd be kind of thinking. But then, yeah. But then you'd be like, no, 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 it's so desired. I, I might not be able to buy it again. For yeah. That. And you, you know, if you're emotionally attached to something. Yeah, yeah, but she said she took it off in the end because she just felt uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Mm. Isn't that interesting, crazy. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. How, how wonderful is the world of genuine gemstones, though, when you think about it? Go on, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. this one. Okay, because these have sold, right? Um, we're going to bring you one more of the white. I love so the we've drums. only got one. We've only got one of these. Look, I love the drums. I don't I know why. Them. It's something about the shape. It just seems yes. Well, they, they fit so um, sleek. They're so sleek. They're yes, like they are. They're, they're, they're fitted so so well. You know what I was saying about that facet. The way that it sits just next to it is I don't know how to kind of describe it. They. They yeah. kind of blend slightly. They do. They, I don't know what it is. So that, and almost, when I think about original malas and, and prayer beads and sort of um, jewellery that is comforting to people, mm. that they use for prayer and mindfulness, this is the shape I think of, and I don't know why. Mm. I just do. I find this a really soft, comforting um, shape. I just think it's beautiful. And of course, you can put your coloured cord through, but if you wanted to, it to just be really, you can put the white cord through. Yeah, I quite like the colour. That yeah. colour's lovely. I, I, I think um, the way you've just described it, it's almost like, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but given it, it's like a hug. It you know, is. When, it's no, a, right. when, it, when you've got a round, then it sits next to each other. But with it, go on, he's giving me, it's like a hug. How many have we got? Right. So we're gonna do this as a star buy. We had 20, we've only got 13. So we're going to do this for the last the last white, right? And we're gonna do it now as a star buy. <laughs> oh, 
we're going to do a star buy for you. We're excited. You are watching Dave Trot. Well, Dave Trot on JM. Where is he? Dave. Where is he? Dave. Dave's poorly. We'll pretend we're Dave. Yeah. I can't pretend I'm Dave because he did a cartwheel in the studio once. Did he really? Yeah, a proper cartwheel. Very impressive. It's my first day after a few years, but <laughs> I don't mind trying a cartwheel, Debbie. Okay, well, I would try one. We wouldn't ask that of you on no, your first maybe day. Maybe not my first day, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never could do a cartwheel. Rubbish at cartwheels. My, my daughter does it so much. Oh, yeah. So I'm a bit like... I feel like I need to do it. Yeah, it's yeah. like she's forced me. She's like, Mommy, you do it, you do it. And when you've got someone doing that all the time, so I have, but they're not elegant. They're not oh, elegant they at are. all. No, my daughters are, but mine are <laughs> like, like an elephant just going, I yeah. know, no, genuinely. I'll do one later and you go, <laughs> she's like an elephant, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Oh dear, right, okay. Um, so here we've got this wonderful auction of your beautiful Cotan Jade. And it is a revered gemstone. It's a very, very popular gemstone. As uh, uh, Dave says, you know, the value of this stone is changing. That's what's happening. And it's extremely beautiful. It is highly revered, especially, especially in China. That's mm. the thing is the fact that, you know, they've got so much influence on the jewelry industry and they've got so much value in this gemstone, not just in person, but spiritually as well. Um, and to find this location is incredible. It really, really is. I can't even work out. You, you probably would be able to say better than me. Approximately how many stones would you say are there? Uh, show me ten. I always say that. Show me uh, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So go ten, twenty, thirty, forty, about a hundred I would have Gosh. said. Gosh. I know. And so, you know, <laughs> you can make your malas, you can make different, you can make a necklace, a bracelet and earrings with that strand. Uh, yes. Like if you rosary link something, Ooh, yes. you use less gemstones. Yes, yes, you would I would be well, using actually. my precious metal if I was going to rosary link that. Mm. Yeah. I like notching between the uh, mutton fat though, because I like to have the colour. Yes, I see what you, know, you mean. So if you have your silk in a bright red or a bright pink, mm. mind you, that limits sort of what you can wear it with. I mean, you can have some lovely um, brown shades of silk yes. and like vibrant yeah. colours. So you can add colour that way. Or, you know, I did um, put rubies in between. Oh, one yes, one. yeah, that's rubies. nice. Microfaceted gemstones are lovely. Or, you know, you can do so much, can't you? Yeah, oh, there's so much scope. And the fact that you've got so many. I don't You're going to match the first bracelet. Okay, mm. we're going to do it. We we are going to put a clock in, and we are going to go lower on your price point. You're going to love what we're going to do here. Yes, yes, definitely. So a hundred individual drums, uh, yeah, and you can do drops. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, approximately. Sorry, we did an approximate. <laughs> just in case someone's like, I'm Debbie expecting. Debbie said. No, yeah, Debbie <laughs> said. I'm expecting a hundred. And if you get more, great. If you get slightly yeah, you less, do. it's fine. Um, but you can create drops of earrings yeah. with these as well. Yeah, drops of earrings. Um, also, you know, if you've got a lovely carving that you really love. Hmm. You could pop your carving on the, in the middle at the bottom there. Yeah. So that you've got oh, this beautiful ooh. neckline of, of your jade and then leading down to the carving. And that would probably leave you some gemstones to make earrings or to put in a bracelet. Yeah. That would make a real stunning piece of jewelry. So like you're it? creating that focal point down the neckline yeah. as well when you're yeah. doing that, aren't you? Yeah. So that the eyes are drawn and this is kind of like the arrows down with a beautiful gemstone that is your jade and your cotan jade so it's got all of that value with it included as well so the cotan jade is it the one they find in the river and that they used to do by moonlight so that they thought they could see it yes. click i love the story behind that i know do, i mean we've got I, I mean there are some i don't know if we can show any of these uh, of those on there but um yes that's what i think that's kind of what i touched on <laughs> i touched up your face I touched <laughs> She's talking to him. <laughs> just leave it there. I love it when we have people in that aren't used to the prices. It's brilliant. I know. And, then, and sometimes Lindsay, the other Lindsay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she will get she'll go, oh, on, on gems that would be yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but I only know gems prices. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. all I, I really know. So for me, I'm like, are you, are you, 
Are you serious? <laughs> like, really? But this is the thing, this is the beauty and this is the creation of the, this jewellery maker is the fact that you have got creatives. It's, it, you're, you're getting the value of the gemstones, but you've got creatives with it. And then yeah. the world is your oyster. Um, yeah. I know we're not talking about pearls and stuff now, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, the world's your oyster in terms of what you can transform this into. Most definitely. That's and, what's yeah. really exciting. Congratulations, everybody. So we've got 160 carats of your white cotan, uh, five by six mils. They are absolutely stunning. Maker from Greater London, Patricia in Shropshire, Wendy, uh, maker in Devon. You've bought two, congratulations, maker in Swansea. Uh, Janice from the West Midlands, Geraldine. I love hearing everyone's locations. Kent as well. London, you're buying this. They are beautiful, beautiful gems. Is there a way, can we, can, Tom, can we show um, the image of uh, what Debbie just said about the, the, when you find and source these gemstones in the moonlight. I'm sure, is there on that PowerPoint that we had? There, there we go. There we go. This is the thing. That's so, it. That's the one. So um, this is what would happen. You'd, you'd, they'd go out at, 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 on the evening when it's um, well, basically jade pickers in the uh, Karakash River near Heishan. Um, mm. In Kotan, basically. Um, in Western China. Oh, no, don't. Xinjiang. Xinjiang yep, province, so. um, or autumn moonlit nights were thought to be the best time to find jade, as it was believed that the jade would reflect the oh, moonlight. I love that. Isn't that spectacular? And that this is what I was kind of trying to say: is the fact that that you all, you, someone could be there all night, all night. Think about this now with what you've just purchased, right? They could be there all night long to find something magical, and it might only be. So how long to get a strand like that? That's what blows my mind. Yeah. And you know, that surprised me like that illustration I would think is 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 quite realistic as far as I I'm thinking of a little stream that is ankle deep, but they're like waist deep in water. So that can't be easy to find, no. can it? Not at all. And even if you're kind of you found a larger piece but you're breaking it down, but you don't find the big pieces it like it it just doesn't come that often. Like it's so valuable as a gemstone yeah, anyway. So so rare. The fact, exactly. Exactly, and you're getting this whole necklace. We've only got, how many have we got? We've only got two remaining of those. Um, so we're, we're gonna have to move on. Congratulations on getting those, well done, well done. Okay, um, we do have a variety of colors, but that is the only white we have remaining, just so you know. So um, do check that one out. Okay, um, forgive me, what's the next one? This one, the smallest, because there's, the, yeah, yeah, there's some, there's other germs as well. Um, this is what you were talking about, <gasps> not that Ombre. one. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that as well, didn't you? I didn't know. I didn't see that. No, I didn't. Right? I only saw the top. Oh, okay. From what you've just said about how they find find them, and I love that story. How do they then find them to ombre? I mean. How long does it take to just get the dark ones and then the lighter ones and then the, that must take literally, I mean, years. Hours, years, yeah, years. And to find it and then find and colour, like I think it's one thing then to colour match. You've got to, fi you've got to find a fair, you've got to find some though. There's a lot you, of to gemstone be, there. Yeah, it? exactly. That's what I mean. You're getting from, you know, it's like I say when you're getting a, a, a strand like this, it's a parcel. Yes. It's a parcel. Yeah, it is, yeah. You're owning your own parcel, yeah. and then w w when you're on jewelry maker, it's kind of then what you do with it. Um, uh, yeah, it's what you then do with it that is the creativity. Look at this colour. Mm, beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I, I, I do. Uh, there is something about jade. There really, really is. So, so this one's classed as baby blue. Is that correct? So a baby blue Cotan jade, uh, jade drums. Um, you've got five by six. So you've got obviously the drum shape. So Obviously, um, when you've got a round, it's fully round, but the drum kind of sits neater mm. from one to the next uh, stone as well. And it's um, 55 centimetres, this strand is, in length. But it's that, that softness of colour. So you're, you're, you're kind of, they're calling it the baby blue, is that correct? Um, but it's ca kind of like a soft, it's, yeah, it's got this kind of blue. There's, what I think when I see this is you've got that beauty of jade, but there's that... Uh, under essence of colour of the blue within the stone. Yeah, definitely. It's moments, moments of the blue that, that come through. And it's, it's interesting because it comes out of the river and yet you have got this beautiful, gentle, soft gemstone 
but you've also got it then cut into a gentle, soft cut, mm -hmm. said the hippie. But <laughs> they know I'm like this. I but, like it. But to me, I look at that and I'm just really calm. I'm just, it, yeah. it draws me and it just, and also greens, you know, it's, you've got the greens and the blues and they're very, you, you think of that as very gentle mm. colours and it just, to me, it's soft and Green's gentle. Green's nature to me. Me too. It, it, it's nature. Me too. Mm. You're going to do something naughty. He's going to do he's something naughty again. for you. He is, he is <laughs> at it again. For me, I see this whoo, as a full parcel at this price, but a full parcel, a beautiful, beautiful, valuable. I mean, just just if you were going to go, have we got any examples of what people would pay for? So I don't know if you've got a similar example. I'm not entirely sure um, of what people would pay. Ah, OK, here we go. Can we just show this, please? Um, they look the same. The, uh, that looks the, exactly the same, doesn't literally, it? Literally, just looking at this. So that was for the okay. So that was the white. It's all preference on your colour as well. But let's just reiterate here: jade necklace, hand carved, white mutton fat, nephrite. So um, also, let's just go back to this nephrite. I don't know if you know this or not, but obviously that's the older jade, and that's deemed a lot more valuable as well. Just just to add to that certified untreated the price for a mutton fat jade starts at $995 and tops out at three that's £325,000 with an average of £93,000 and the value is not in the Dollars. clasp I mean there's a gold clasp there but the value is not in the clasp that clasp is small the value is in the yeah. jade blows your mind there's only three chances can I just say that blows my mind to see see how similar, similar. that is to what we've just Me seen. Too. <laughs> that is so similar. I mean, I've got the monitor right here, but I'm like, that's the same. That I mean, that is. You wouldn't know that if you had that and then that and put a clasp on it. That to me, in my eyes. Yeah. The shape, everything. Yeah. You, I, I mean, how do you even? Bargain. I mean, bargain. Congratulations. <laughs> bargain. Congratulations. Go on, I've got one more strand of drums. Okay, right, on the rounds. Are they, they've sold out? What? No, they're the, they, she just bought them out, the multicolored ones. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because oh, I have my eye on. <gasps> Look at those. Look at them. Okay, so we're going to do these, right, after this next auction, we're going to do these as a star bar. Oh, I like this. And this is the largest quantity of the show. Do you want to know what our largest quantity of this show is? <laughs> Drum roll, please. 14. <laughs> so all we've got is 14. Literally, it's just, can you get your hands on these? We are going to star by these. There's only 14 of them. And I think that's spectacular to have all of the colors. And I'll explain that why. Okay. Like, like, there's so much behind that. But first, but first, right. I, um, I think you like these. I we've only got six of these. That's all we've got of these. So these are my absolute favourite. You're getting the mutton fat, and then you've got this graduation all the way down to the beautiful like spinach greens in the middle. Like you said, this is nature. This is this a is little bit of class. <laughs> this is a little bit of class, I can tell you. Honestly, oh, look, look at this. But what I love, so what I was going to say, and, we, and we're going to do it with the star buys, and I love the fact that, because you do get that mutton fat at the top. So you've got, so you've got the whole ombre of colour. These will sell out. These are going to sell out. You've got that whole ombre of colour. So you've got choice. And for yeah. me, that's so important because you can place them together. Yes. Or you can split them. You can choose your yeah. favourite colour as your earrings. Actually, how nice would these be to ombre earring drops as yes. well as the necklace? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can, can you imagine would... that? Oh. I want that piece of jewellery. Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. Remember that, Nani? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. Churchill. <laughs> We're only, we're going to we're that only, white. Yes, that's the same as that photograph we've just seen. That white. Can we there. please Look. show that? Look at this. The thing is, uh, how how how? Where does that ninety three thousand? Like where <laughs> does that ninety? Like wh I mean, I don't have ninety three thousand. That's someone's house. That, that is a house. So I don't have that. So where does that come into it? Yet you can get it here. 
in our bubble that we live in here at this price point and what jade's saying is he can't then get that he can't then buy it back because no. he's saying that he's not going to be able to and we'll, we'll show that in a minute but it this is crazy it's wonderful and it's what he was saying like and actually i was wondering this myself but he was saying that people have said oh hold on to it you know what are you selling it for that for but it's not the business model. It's not sustainable no, it's not. to do that because then only a few people will be able to afford it and that's not what we're about. Because I was yeah. wondering that. I was like, well, where, why are they, you know, these prices? But it, it just makes sense. And look, those ones in the middle. Just look at I these. Know. Look at the depths of the green. This is, this is brilliant, I've got to say. This is, uh, this is amazing. I don't think I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for this? I can't even. What song is that? Is it, do you know which one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready for this. I hope you're singing it at home. It's fab. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing. No, no. This, the phone lines have lit up. Has it sold out already? Oh, bye-bye. Yeah. You're going to love that. Oh, you know, that's you will love that. stalking the postman moment, isn't it? You know, when he gets to the door and you've already opened it and gone, hello, <laughs> have you got any parcels for me? And he's like, oh, not you again. Yeah. <laughs> I used to always say that on James. Do you? When you've ordered something and you're just like, come on, come on, have you got my parcel? Have you got it? Have you got it? Like, it's that exciting. I know my DPD drivers by first name. I've said this. Oh, yeah. And one of them it literally has been coming to me for years. And I had to tell him that I work here because I thought he'd think you know I come to you about three times four times a week yeah and I went you know no, I, I work there and he went oh no I deliver to people on a regular basis yeah don't work because you know the, the deals that you can get with oh, us it's wonderful. you can't get anywhere else it's so good just <laughs> oh it's so good is it star by time I think you're going to love this look if you just missed out on what we've just shown you and a lot of you have don't worry because we've got something very similar coming up and we're going to do it as a star by time. Are you excited? Yes. I am. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, can, can you call me DJ something now? Yeah, you can be DJ. Lins, Lins, DJ Lins. DJ Lins. I sometimes get called Vickers because oh, I work yeah. in quite a male industry. A lot of them are just like, all right, Vickers, all right, Vickers, and stuff like that. But oh. I kind of like it being called yeah, by my surname. Yeah. Yeah. DJ Vickers. DJ Vickers, yeah. Anyway. Sorry, I had a moment there of excitement. Was, it's beautiful, this strand, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, it's just, worthy of a song. <laughs> it is worthy of a song. It's worthy of its own moment. And you are going to, honestly. So, all right, the reason I wanted to say that you're going to love this is, and, and kind of echoing what we said before, you're getting all of the colours. And because you're getting the colours, that, for me, opens up opportunity. Yes. Doesn't it? I mean, who can afford? Some people can are lucky enough to be able to afford, you know, as we've brought them, the collectors, the connoisseurs, they have bought these gemstones in all the different colours. But, yes. you know, a lot of us couldn't afford that. That wouldn't be in our budget. But this way, with a strand like this, you oh. can get maybe all of the colours that you've been hankering after in one strand. And it's a star buy. And it's a star <laughs> buy. The, uh, I Bonus. mean, it's, it's over there. I think I've, I've, I've interwoven it through excitement. What have I done here? Here we go, we're fine. So I think the fact that you've got Cotan Jade is, is huge. It's, and I've said it before, it, we don't know what the future holds for this gemstone because as Dave said, he doesn't believe that we're going to, it, I think he wrote near impossible yes, in, his, in, in his message to be able to get hold of this. To be able to get Cotan Jade in such a variety of co colours, I think you've got you you've got choice and you can pick what you want. Mm -hmm. Whereas, of course, when you get a strand, you've got a, you, you've got a different line of working with. But here, you can have variation. You can have variety. You can break it up. You can add different settings. You can you can. Do, it's nearly it's it's nearly sold out already. I, I'm not, I'm not surprised. But you have got so much, and and you can choose your favourites, and you can. Yeah. 
you can mix and match. This is really special. Really special. And I think if you were thinking about doing maybe slider bracelets, like we sell um, mm. slider bracelets here, where you sort of add the central components. Yes. So you could have all of the colours, couldn't you? Well, like of course for stacking. You, could, you yeah. could have all of the, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours there. You could have in your stacker, in your slider bracelets, if you were just going to add the, that moment of colour at the front. Um, you could just restrand as is and keep those ombre tones. Uh, you're right, you have loads of design possibilities. I like the great, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm drawn to those. Yeah, yeah, you. same. What like, would that be classed as? Like a bluey, blue, yeah. I don't know, grey. I love I, that colour. I do. Both of us just saw them. Oh, oh we had a message going. <laughs> Miss Janet, just imagine that strand knotted and worn on a bright summer's day. The glow would be beautiful. Sold. <laughs> Done. We're done. I, I, I don't need to imagine <laughs> that. That, that would be We're there. beautiful. We're there. Uh, Caroline, ladies, I saw my first piece of jadeite when I was seven, <gasps> wanted to buy, but my dad stopped me as it wasn't quality, and it was £2,000 in the 1970s. Goodness me. Just imagine, though, like what that one piece would be valued at now. Oh, Gloria, I own this. It's a gorgeous strand. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Gloria? I mean, oh. the different colours are just... I don't know. You see one, you think that's a favourite. Then you see something yeah, else. This is what I mean. Like we were just sat, we would literally just sat there, and we've got all of these colours here. Um, and then we both were drawn to these. <laughs> They're like the moon. You know, you yeah. get that kind of. No, is it an iridescence? It is. Something in the moon. It's that, magic. Yeah, it's that, that glow, <laughs> that other dimension. Yeah. And then you get that within the colours here. So you've got those kind of almost like silvery tones with the blues in the stone. Yeah, agree. Yeah. 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 Say that again, sorry. Go on. <laughs> Do you want to know what? What? This is going to be, it's a star buy. All right, it's a star bold, buy. Bold, bold statement. It is a bold, bold statement. statement. It's going to be the lowest price tag of the we coat like to hand that. today. We can see a lot of you here. Can I just say, just before we even go on to like talking prices, Look at these colours. We've only kind of, we keep like rediscovering <laughs> this whole piece of jewellery. Look at these colours. They've got like a lime. Zesty. Zesty mm, tone. Juicy. Yeah, so you've got like some summer like pastel shading to it. Then you've got the different cut, like the, 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 it's seasonal. This is lovely. This is beautiful. Oh, I love it. I really do. 150 carats of all it's like you've got like pockets of parcels you know we were saying about one one um strand is like a whole parcel on its own but mm. here you've got like almost like you cherry pick the pockets of parcels that you want and you're like right i'll have some of those and i'll have some of those beautiful jade the value that you're seeing like the fact that we're seeing people write in and saying in the 1970s two thousand pounds yeah, and sometimes I see things that are classed as jade online. And sometimes when you get to the tiny small print, it says, you know, dyed. Fair enough. There's definitely a place for mm. dyed gemstones. Yeah. Um, but if you're a collector and you get spoilt here because we mm -hmm. have so many that aren't treated. Um, and you can kind of tell by the colour. Like I've looked at it and yeah. thought, that doesn't look like jade. No. Because, I don't know, like this ethereal. That's the word. That's the word. Like I say, it like um, it's like it's got a cloud inside it sometimes. Mm, yeah. It's that quality that you don't see. It, it, the kind of it's not alive when it's dyed. It's kind of got this dead quality. Does that yeah. make sense? No, no, no. As soon like, as you I, said ethereal, I was like, that's the, that's the way. It's it's like it's got this kind of life inside that's of it. That's it. And then and and it, it's got that glow. I I, to, I totally ethereal is the perfect word. And for that's it. what makes our jade jade in my mind. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Is this, is, is that not the price? No, because he said, it's, we're going lower. We're going lower. He said it's going to be less than a previous auction. Do, do, Can we do that? Do, Are we already that? We're there, we're there. Do, there do, we go. Do, 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 do. That's not we need the price. legs. We need the legs. Just, you know we have to be very legs. flexible. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're, I'm thinking, you know that one. You oh, that one, yeah, yeah. There's a party going on. It's gorgeous. Yes, please, if this isn't your price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, baby. I like it, like it, like it. <coughs> We're going, we are not taking a small amount of price off this. How many did you say? How many did you say there were? Forgive me. Okay, right, okay, we've got less than 10 now. That's all there is, yeah. Congratulations, everybody, yes, that is, that's mega. <gasps> what for, 
I thought it was going to do one nine nine. Yeah, I do. I did. That's a big. That's a big chunk of money off. Can you? That that's that. Oh. <laughs> Look at the split pay. I know. So it's thirty seven pounds four split pays, zero percent interest. Sold. <laughs> Sold. Can we do it, Wayno, like this? I, I only know him as Wayne, so I don't think I can actually call him Wayno yet. Do you know what I mean? I'm not there. Over this past week, it's literally sold ten pound like this, and all this like it was hilarious. He's so funny, isn't he? Oh, he's so funny. I said to, I, I don't know if you've been watching since earlier, but I literally met him for the first time yesterday and went. You're wild. You're literally <laughs> wild. Like this deal. It's wild. That's what. And I love that. That's what it's all about. Just the fact that you can just genuine gemstones and you've got an, uh, it, we, it's trusted it's certified we've gone through all of that hard work to certify everything for you and you've got it here yeah. so you've got that faith in jewelry maker in knowing that i am getting a genuine gemstone do they get um certification uh, yeah they do. do they can um they can have one sent to them or like you can get one that you can print but you can have one that's sort of laminated that's sent to you how much is the author um authenticity certificate Neri new new it's pennies isn't it is that it's something oh, like 20p like, or something like yeah. that it's, it's changed inside but it's well worth having that because that's, that's what i'm thinking with something like this it tells you all about you know so you've got that authenticity yeah. certificate to prove that what you're holding is you know and in fact um, when dave was on last time <clears throat> a lady oh, wow. he was telling us about a lady who said she bought loads of jade and she didn't trust no. that it was real and because of the prices so she paid to have each one tested yeah. independently mm -hmm. and then she sent this really Really lovely message to Dave saying you know I apologize I doubted you but every single one came back as what you said it was oh, and so in the end you probably paid for that um, oh, really? they paid for the valuation because you know obviously that's that's extra uh, yeah. validation that it is what it says it is um, so Jen probably ended up paying for that valuation for her and now you know Dave can say she's happy for him to say but yeah um, that, that, that somebody actually thought no, no no this can't be right yeah 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 you know that, I'm I gonna get there I'm gonna prove them that they're not that it's not what it says it I like is. that. I like that. I because do. she was bullshit enough to do that. I, I always respect someone who's so got do that I. confidence. I respect someone that says no as mm. well. Mm. Um, and, and I like that because she's like, no, 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 prove to me. Because if you don't, then you can, you know, get something that's not real yeah. out there. And, and, and this is something that I was reading up yesterday is Jade is the, the one gemstone that is most faked yeah. like kind of thing uh, that it is the number one that is kind of replicated so people are buying and they don't know and it's that trust thing and that's what I was I was listening to a YouTube video about a gentleman saying how how much that is done and how people are buying and they're, they're, they're not kind of putting their money into the proper product out there yeah. that's real and he said so the one thing I would do is make sure he said he kind of said these are my five things to consider with Jay um, and one was to make sure you're buying it from someone reputable where you do get your 30 back money back guarantee 30 day money back guarantee or whatever it is so yeah, there's a return policy exactly that so then you have faith in what you're getting and i thought actually that that's that's huge that is it is huge and like sometimes we've had pictures of the boulder that the strand came from i mean what you can look at the boulder that your strand came yeah. from you know so we can say exactly where it came from yeah. you know we, you if you want the information i mean not everyone's been with us for years and, and knows that you can trust us and that yeah. lady must have been the same yeah and i don't blame her for doing that not at you all. know and saying that and then the fact that it's, she's been proven that for her how much faith she has got in this brand now she's like no like she's converted <laughs> she's a convert she's come to the dark side <laughs> <laughs> or the ombre multicolor side that's the one that's what it is congratulations everyone uh, which, which side are we going to now the candy side not the dark side. oh yeah oh, which one which one that cola cola oh color. yes yeah yeah got it got it got it there's something really amazing about this color this kind of i just think it's autumnal isn't it like it makes my mouth water <laughs> <laughs> i'd wear the tissues <laughs> she needs the tissues do you know that was something so juicy in a gemstone a juicy 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 well, this, gemstone this, um i'll explain it what, what are you saying sorry tom these do you want do you want, okay these are coming up can i just i'll just lift this so that it, it, so jade classically congratulations by the way everyone from that last auction um 
this is the classic jade so if you don't know jade or you're in your infancy of learning it this is like the classic yeah, color what people isn't think it? of as yes that is a bit gorgeous Aren't I mean, they? look at the color there but the, the sizes as well Ooh. you've got oh i love these these are going to come up so we have we've not got long before we go into auction these um but we have got an auction beforehand just to give you a little teaser so which one are you going to go for like the small the medium or, or or the larger kind of you don't I'm feeling that if you put the smaller with gold, um, can Ooh. you imagine a bracelet? And, 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 and a bit yeah. like, you know, my bracelet here, you could just, even if you just had like the gold chain going yes, through that exactly. thread, yeah, that would be nice. Wouldn't that be like very high end, very simple, very elegant? <sighs> We're designing. <laughs> Well, that's See, look, you're you designing. You've been here five. You said you've been designing. I know. I'm getting all excited. <laughs> I'm getting all excited. I've got butterflies in my tummy of excitement. <laughs> it's when you were making that ring. I, I, they didn't show me in vision. Obviously, you were looking at the ring. But if you had have done, I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, you were. You, didn't, didn't you, you were. I could feel you looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah. Anyway. Right, okay, time. Sorry. We're going to do another auction. <laughs> so, we're just getting excited. Right. Okay. So. So. In these stones, this is what I like to say. You know how like some gemstones that you, you talk about the diaphaneity of the stone and how you, how clean the stone is. What I like is there is is there is something going on inside this stone. Yes. There's a dimension there to is. the stone that is really intriguing. It is, and especially it, with this colour. Yes. Kind of draws you in a little bit, mm. doesn't it? It's that autumnal colour. I think this would look nice with gold as so well. So do I. Again, you've got that kind of wet look to it. Mm. Everything that you look for in jade. I knew nothing about jade before it came to JM. And like now, you know, I sit here and I don't leave the studio when Dave's here. I don't go and have a rest. I sit here and listen to Dave because mm. I find him fascinating. I'll sit and do some work and listen to Dave. And um, what you learn from being here as well about gemstones, you know, you have, I think a lot of, of people, our viewers are not just makers, but they are collectors and mm. they know, you know, they educate people in the general, yeah. that from what they've You've learned. You've educated me this year. From, from here and just, you know, things like, since where could you go and see all these different colours of jade and let alone be able to buy them, but just see them, like just go and look at them. Where, where could you go? I don't know actually when you think Maybe about a museum it. or but no, yeah. probably not in this country i don't know there, probably, there must be somewhere but you know to get to sit here and, and be able to see but let alone We're privileged, own, aren't we? we are really i think we are i think we are and sometimes i think you can take it a little bit for granted because you're seeing it all the time all the time yeah. and yet really when you when you think about it and you put that into perspective where do you go to get to see these stones a jeweler is fine but you don't see no a jeweler has to go for kind of they have a business plan don't they they have to use what they can so a lot of you'll see a lot of diamonds yep. and stuff like that because it's they they they're kind of how can it their, their target market is different isn't it yeah and um, yeah whereas here you've got you don't see i tell you what you don't see stones like this in jewelers do you i think you'd uh, have to look very hard and then yeah. you'd have to it would be considerable wouldn't it you'd probably yeah. have to be in hatton garden or mm -hmm. you know and especially colors like this which are just so different so unusual I, I it's that autumn i keep going to that autumnal feel mm. within these because you, you can mix these and you'll know more about this than me but even if you've got a colored gemstone but you mix it like as in a different stone you can mix it with a different color like a garnet yes. or a, a ruby or if you want a different look pop some pearls put those amongst Ooh. pearls <gasps> Ooh. to lift it you know what i've said this so many times so i've just seen you've dropped the price i'm so sorry <laughs> we're not even talking about the price you're not done Okay, so mm. one four nine. We one one four nine. Okay, coat and jade. D really, really? Can I tell everyone that? Okay. No, I did. Uh, did it? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know whether I'm allowed to. Say. So basically, Tom who's in charge of all of the prices, has just said... Um, DJ Neary. D <laughs> DJ Neary. Um, has just <laughs> said he's going to do double figures on this piece. So you're going to have a fabulous deal. Um, I, I, think, I think you're going to love what we're about to do. I've got to say, putting this in jewellery, though, I, we talk a lot about monochrome, you know, the black and yes. white, but I've always had this kind of affinity with, like, neutral nude colours working yes. together. And this having this warmth and then with pearls this would look 
like beautiful and so unusual yeah like a natural Natu yeah and so you're keeping it like you said wow. in, in a neutral it'll go with anything yes but it's not your usual kind of black and white what you think it's not as harsh no it isn't you know it's soft. It's, it's soft you know like I, I find like i i wear a lot of new i know okay i'm wearing a black top today but i love that kind of nude look as well mm. those neutral tones i think you can't go wrong when you wear that and then it's something like this with say the odd like a strand and then just a pearl on the end would be stunning. I don't want yeah. Look at her designing. Oh, I'm not oh, a designer. Already. I oh, couldn't design. Already. Getting all excited. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't it be That's gorgeous? Yeah, wouldn't it? Just we'll see it on the wall of fame. Someone <laughs> created it. Next It'll week. be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lindsay, uh, Lindsay sent it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. I know who that is. <laughs> Pulling out of a Tom Bowler. Yeah. Lindsay, you've got 100 pound credited. You got that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be brilliant i'm happy with that i really am um congratulations uh maker in greater london maker in swansea deborah Ma uh, uh, deborah mary sorry from cumbria ha hazel uh from hampshire uh geraldine in county tyrone where's county tyrone is it it's island isn't it, it? Yeah. yeah i was just thinking about whereabouts it is um Can so I south is it south not sure yeah not sure, said the person whose dad was Irish. <laughs> Don't worry, my mum's my mom was half Irish, so uh, yeah, yeah. But it's a big place, it's a big place. It is a big place, oh, it is. Uh, Mary from Cambridge, Sue from Somerset Makers as well, from all over. Uh, congratulations on this. You've got a stunning, beautiful, like it's not even... A, like it's a there's a lot here as well you yeah, know it's when a big you, strand isn't it it's a it's a big mm. big strand beautiful colors uh, that look at the split pay i think people have just tuned in and just gone what Boof. <laughs> there's only one available look at the split pay i would split pay yeah I, it, i would just feel like that was easier i kind of wouldn't miss it as much no yeah i could justify it yeah i think myself. that's what it is and then you're just thinking like it's over a period of time like it's fine and when you like get paid or different when that 20 pounds will come out and it, it you've not yeah it's like it's the bigger picture way to, yeah because you're not paying interest on it so it's a no-brainer really yeah it's good isn't it i like that that's we my know, excuse i'm sticking never, to it yeah, yeah. <laughs> stick to it I, i've never seen <coughs> um, excuse me the, the four the four excuse me We've only ever done, when I used to be on Gems, it was only ever three, so now they've increased it to the, the four. Yeah, they do four and five sometimes. Do they? I think just so to help people to, you know, if they want it, to get it into their collection. Well, you've got valuable pieces of jewellery, and when you go like, oh, okay, that's like 200, 300 pounds, it's quite a lot, isn't it, yeah. in terms of when you go, okay, today, yeah. but then when it, it does make it a bit easier. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But 19.99 is very good for a split pay. <laughs> They used to not have split, when it first came in, you weren't allowed to have like split pays under a certain amount, but now we see it more and more. So um, I think it must work for people yeah. and for the company. It works, so. but I'd, I'd, I'd be doing it. Congratulations. Um, right, what's up next, what's next though? Are we doing, it's green. <laughs> what time is it? It's green time. What time is it? It's green time. It's green time. It's green time. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. They do, they do. <laughs> he said these look like imperial to me. They, yeah. Oh, they do. It is that imperial Four. bling, green colour, isn't it? Mm. So we've got. We're going to start with the larger strand. Uh, yes, and then we've got two more, so it gets smaller in size in, t in terms of the auctions. So we're going to start off with ten, then we're going to go down to eight, and then we're going to go down to six now. So look at these. We, how many quantities do we have? It's not large quantities. Oh, mm. nine. Nine. Wow. So classically, um, when you classically when you see jade, you'll know. But if someone said jade, instantly my thought is this colour. Yeah. This is this is the. If you're talking about some of the most expensive jade you know where you're talking about mega auctions this is the, the this is that instant kind of like imperial color of that purity of that 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 green and we were just saying that 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 glow the differences as well because you've got some nice shadings within here mm. which is quite good if you are breaking this up into oh gosh look at those mm. this sings this strand doesn't it it kind of sings wow, i am jade look at me, me. Look at that colour on the on the oh, recording, wow. isn't it amazing? Look at these. I just look at 
some of um, the, the the luster in some of these stones are just they're, they're stunning this is the biggest so that so basically we're talking about 20 to, um, what's, let me just double check the carrots so 20 carrots this is the largest the largest of the ones we're going to bring totally natural green cotan um, jade 38 centimeters in like like this is this is huge can we please show that message that Dave sent in because I know he's not here he was meant to be here for the show but he's not very well but this is the first message so he emailed this and this is like the latest news on this and he just basically said hi guys I'd like to stress um, the point to you that mutton fat jade is impossible for us to require moving forward the market is acutely aware that the mines are running out and this most prized color has um, always been the most valued of all the jades so what we're just trying to say is the fact that it's the location as well this is cotan so we're talking about the same location as you'd get your mutton fat from to be able to get jade like the fact that it's going to be near on impossible for us to get this moving forward that's huge that's big news isn't that, it that is big news um I think because we've seen we've been lucky enough to see a lot of it you think oh I'm just always going to be able to get it but historically that isn't the case um, we've seen it things that I bought 10 years ago when oh, I worked here 10 lovely. years ago I can't get now we don't do you know many mm. things so this color especially I don't think I own any uh, jade this color I don't know so clean color. as well some mm. listeners these would make a gorgeous pair of earrings yeah wouldn't they mm. like even like a stud uh, yeah, I mean. a stud would be beautiful with just two of these, or um, I'm thinking red, you know, like the classic kind of, Ooh. maybe a tassel. Yeah. One of these on the top of a, t a red tassel. Oh, yeah. Really kind well, of that's nice. Mm. That's stand out, isn't it? I love this. Uh, yeah, well, so this is the largest, this is the largest of them all. And so we're talking about that imperial jade colour from these stones. And it's the largest strand we've got. Okay, to, yes. Oh, I was, that's what I saw, and then I just did a double. Okay, it's 250 carats. I did think, how can that that's, be 20 carats? Yeah, that, that's, when I saw it, and then I just went, right, I'm just gonna read what's on the graphics. <laughs> um, yeah, tw 250 carats, though I think we both did the same thing at the same time, and I just read it because I thought the graphics, I'm just going with what the graphics are saying. So, um, 250 carats um, that you're getting, and it's the largest of the three. So if you like your bigger looks, if you would rather go for a larger stone, then this is the perfect one for you to go for. Um, oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's setting a precedent now, isn't he? So mm. whatever he goes to now, he has to go lower. <laughs> he has to go lower on the other two because they're smaller. Yeah. You have to, Neri. That's it. That's We've the got, law. That's the law. <laughs> that's the law. The law has been put in place now. <laughs> He's very excited about these deals this morning. He yeah. is. So we've got beautiful Cotan jade. This is the type of jade that David will, or Dave uh, would be bringing to air with you. I don't know what any of the launch prices were. He is going to go lower. There's 20 seconds remaining. We've only been able to get small quantities. Congratulations, everybody who, who's bought all red in the hour. This is the only piece that we've had which has got that imperial green color to it. Um, all the others have been different. They've, uh, you've got different variations, but this is the green. We are going lower for you today on my first day back in three years <laughs> of being here. That's crazy. Wow. You're going to need a lie down. For the green. I am going to need a lie down. I'm going to need a lie And I've got a night out oh, tonight. Comes. I know. I don't get nights out very often. Just not go with, with children. It. Yeah. I've got a night out tonight as well. Look at that price. I'm going for a nice meal with two of the uh, presenters who used to work here as well, which is really weird, like the timing of all of that. Because we don't see each other very much. Um, a girl called Kaylee, you might have watched her, and Chloe. They used to be presenters here. I don't know if you'd know. I bet I'd know their faces. Yeah, you would. You would. Kaylee R Rafiq is her, na is her name. Oh, goodness me. Chloe's got, they've all got married and stuff and stuff since and had babies and all sorts since being here. Yeah. And I'm now going to tell them how good Neri is as a producer. 
Whether she wants to or not. (laughs) (laughs) I'll go from a meal and go, he's an amazing producer. Have you seen the prices that he's bringing to everyone? That's crazy. Do make sure you're checking these out, by the way. This is the largest of the strands that we're going to bring you. As you've said, you set a precedent now. Mm -hmm. So if you like your bigger stones, then go for this one. Um, Whereas we're going to go slightly smaller as we go along here. So, Um, Okay, he's moving on to the next auction. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah, I'm going out for a meal. Nice. Don't do it. Well, no, I do do it. But you know, when you just when you've got little children, you don't really uh, changes a lot, doesn't I it? I have to two under two. I've got. Three, oh my goodness! But when I had my second one, I thought, oh, I'm going to two under two. Yeah. So Can there's we like just give. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I know you probably think, oh no, you've forgotten about it. two under two. Is that's huge? It's physical because you've got one you're holding and one in the car seat, so it's quite physical. But my daughter-in-law goes, you because she's got obviously Clemmy, who's who's two. You deserve a medal. <laughs> Literally, but you do. no, I love. Oh, I loved it. It's great. And I love it, it when they're little. Oh, when it, oh. I do that. I want to eat my children. Mm. I do. Babies <laughs> and puppies and just general. I was I was um, demoing at the um, NEC and I was lucky enough to be asked. I was for JM and I'm demoing and a lady walked past with an assistance dog and that was the end of me. I went. Yeah. Someone was talking about a gemstone. You were like, one moment, just bear with me. <laughs> and Vix was with me and she went. That put you right off, didn't it? And then the lady, bless her, she came back after them and went, do you want to stroke her? Oh. <laughs> and I went, oh, thank you. Was it that obvious? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I, I do get distracted oh, by, I know by children and dogs, babies and, and puppies and little kittens and everything. My, I'm more, I, I, like, yeah, I'm more babies at the moment, but I've got, like, friends around me oh. with, like, little mini people. Baby and my, cuddles. And my friends, like, due in about six weeks' time. Oh. So I'm like, oh, gosh. Above so it begins. I'll have them all over at my See, house. See, something like this, I mm. think. You know when you give christening presents and you get like 15 photo frames and 20 music boxes, you know, that people give no, you. No, I know what but you mean. But to put this away, yeah. maybe have put this in a box or something like this. Special. That's, that would oh. be a wow christening present, wouldn't it? Uh, do you think? I to- uh, yes, I do. I, do. I, I really do. I think this is a really special gemstone. I know we talk about it quite a lot, all set and, and everything like that, but I think... Coming down to the fact that you get a gen- I think we forget so quickly that these are genuine source stones. The fact that, that people are, are finding these in rivers, there is time, it's moments, they're special, they're, mm. they're made from this planet that we live on and they're made over millions yeah. of years, some yeah. stones, and you just think, actually, I get to wear that. So this is a gift for someone, a creation. That It's not just that, it's the fact that you have the ability now, because I used to work on gems and it's a finished piece, finished product. Mm. But you're gifting something that is a creation of your own for somebody else. It's kind of creation, yes. as cheesy as that sounds. Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? it? Is there's lovely. thought and there's, there's, there's time that's gone into that. Look at this. And this is the classic jade. This is the, the classic colour that people, the textbook colour that people would associate your, your jade with, that, that um, imperial jade colour, isn't mm. it? And this is Kotan. So this is from a location where... You know, they're seeing prices skyrocket. You know that already. They are skyrocketing. But the reality is, I think this is this moment in time. We never used to have it on gems. He's saying that we're not going to get it again. It's that pocket of time where in years to come, you'll look back and go, I had that. I had that. Yeah, I'm in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And look, here it is. You don't even need to know what you're going to do with it necessarily. I have no, a, I like that. a draw with... I don't know that the, the gemstones that I kind of worship. That yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll do something eventually. You're saving it for a precious moment, something big. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we've gone down. Okay. We've gone down in price. Thing is, you've already set a precedent from the other previous auction mm-hmm. to go for. Um, if you don't, if you don't know genuinely what stone sizes that you go for, I think it's always that kind of safe option to go. Let's go for the middle. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, are these six mil? They look at Oh, they're eight mil. Eight mil? Oh, they're lovely. So the oh. other, the, the, this, this is the six mil, so it goes it goes smaller. So then you've got your, your eight mils on this strand. Aren't they lovely? Oh, lovely. Well, Susie's here. I think Susie's buying. Oh, wow. Look so at that, this. Su- Susie's amazing. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, <gasps> but Susie has a heritage. Um, is it a Chinese, her heritage, Neri Nu, Susie? I think her mum, and so she knows all about Jade, and she can talk, has, tells us all stories about Jade and from her childhood, and she makes the most beautiful jewellery, and she used this strand to make this. Look at this. She's made this? Yeah, this is Susie. So I look at that, and I think, you know those big books that you get? Mm-hmm. Um, 
that are your like your big big brands yes. and you open them up and there's no price it's not a selling yes, book for that. No. It's, it's to promote what they create yes. i look at this and the color palette that she has used here i think i don't know if you i think you'd agree with me is i'd see this in one of those books oh yeah susie's actually gone to gems and and, and has done a collection there because oh. she and we call it the susie tassel because she loves a tassel but look at what you can do like we tend to look wow. at the strand and think oh yeah but look at what you can do by adding in and she loves jade susie and she's really knowledgeable about it um, and she will um she's just bought this strand <laughs> Um, ah. I've outed her. Sorry, Susie. Um, <laughs> Su but Su Susie, who makes it? Yeah, support yeah, me. Susie. I think that's Susie, isn't it? Susie oh, wow. Wiltshire. Yeah. So you know, just look what you can do with things. I like love this. the fact that Susie, who made this, is a guest here and is buying it from here. We're all the same. We're all the same. <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant. We're going down even lower. Susie, you're going to be so happy. So we're makers from Swansea. You've um, bought two there as well. Maker from Greater London. Uh, One, four, nine. Susie's going to go, let's buy two. <laughs> yeah, watch. Go for two. <laughs> I'll have a couple of those. Suzanne, uh, uh, Suzanne, sorry, Susan as well from Essex, make of in Cumbria. Congratulations to you. Uh, buying from Essex as well, fund me from Essex. Good luck with yours as well. We don't have big quantities. Can I just say though, what you've just shown me there, mm. so I see this strand and I think that oh, it's beautiful, but the scope and the potential mm. takes it to a whole nother level. Like I've yeah. just seen that and I'm like, wow, that's gone from something quite simple to going into something so kind of antiquitous and and stunning it is stunning and i think that's why i often say to people take them off the strand because the strand puts you off yeah you look at the strand and you can't get beyond the strand sometimes no, you can't i think that's where my head was at just a moment ago because it's just as beautiful knotted just as beautiful understated but look you know if you look at something like Susie works with Jade all the time Jade and pearls it's kind of Susie's thing mm -hmm. um, and when you see what comes out of Susie's head with things like that and you're just like wow and that's the beauty of um, ah, happy dancing love to you all it is Susie <laughs> it's the best green nephrite isn't it beautiful I'm isn't just singing it? your praises lovely girl oh <laughs> yeah she is she is how did you read that on there Oh, on there you're reading it. But there. I've got my glasses on. Uh, <laughs> if I, I didn't, like, that would be a blur. I never used to wear my glasses, but in the studio, can't see a thing. You can't see, no. And it's the lights as well. But yeah, what she does with... with oh, she's do, Susie, good. what you do, you're a magician. See, I, 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 you know, look, I, I'm blown away. Honestly, I, I genuinely, I take my hat off to you, is the fact that I... I would never put those colours with the green as well. That that's totally inspired me to. If you have anything similar at home, if you've got your pearls, if you've got, are they morganites on there? Would you say or I don't I don't know what stone she's using. I don't know what did you use on there, Susie, on that necklace? Is it? It could be Sakura. It could be rose quartz. It could be. It depends on the photo. But I mean, if you at home have got anything close to to these, then the colors they just look so exquisite and so expensive i love this and i love them working with the with the pearls as well um congratulations everyone who's got those right okay you've got a special treat for us we like a special treat you've got a project as well we haven't even talked about your project that's coming up that's okay can we have that's a little look little can we just little before we go on to this singing. next auction oh is yeah there i read it out yeah look at this um, that's my little hummingbird, hummingbird. I love a hummingbird. I know all the messages that people have sent me about hummingbirds today. Little bundles of joy. They're the only bird that can fly backwards. They are. How do they even do that? Joyful. I think you know because they almost buzz. Yeah. Like their okay. wings are almost yeah. like they remind me of bees. That they, their wings move so so quickly. So they almost mm. hover. Whereas other birds fly, they kind of they can hover. Right. Yeah. Um, so, but they can fly backwards. But they, to me, they're a marvel. They're an absolute miracle of nature. So I've always loved them. And so when I got one in a kit, I was like, oh yeah. Yes. Yes, please. So in in the uh, project, you also get kunzite. Which when do you see kunzite? And when do no, you see kunzite in a project kit? No, you don't actually. That's coming up. Um, that's the last hour, is that correct? Yeah, 12. That, that's, that's the 12 o'clock hour. So there's loads. We've got loads to bring you this morning. It's really exciting. 
Um, okay, the last auction. So this is the um, the smallest uh, in terms of the size of, of uh, this beautiful jade. And the fact that Susie's written in um, as one of the designers and she's buying it, I think speaks volumes, if I'm honest. I just think that that just says everything. The fact that you can create something like that from something like this using these beautiful stones. It is your Kotan jade. It is that jade that is known at the moment. Um, jade is bringing it, he's bringing out shows um, at the moment, who knows how long that's going to last. Mm. Um, it's a very popular stone is Jade, isn't it? Y yeah, I think people collect it, don't yes. they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, are you really? Can I tell everyone that? Yeah. Can I tell everyone or not? Are you sure? Okay, he's doing it anyway. Right, okay. Tell him then he has to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happened yesterday's show. Like, I, I think um, I think Carol was shouting out some random prices and, and it wasn't the right one. They were like, well, we've got to do it now, Carol. But it was really funny. We'll have to try that. Yeah, 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 shall <laughs> we? I don't, it's my first day. Yeah, so okay, for a I'm while. I'm it down the, down the, uh, the path of... Yeah, mm, troublesomeness. Troublesome, yes. I like it. Um, we're going to double <laughs> figures on this. You're a bad influence on me. I am. Are you a bad influence or are you a good influence? Depends. Depends on the day. If we were drinking Prosecco, I'd probably be a bad influence. Who <laughs> <laughs> isn't when they have Prosecco? I've got myself into gin. Oh yeah, my husband's into gin. Yeah. Gin. Mm. Gin. Gin. <laughs> gin. Gin in the gym. <laughs> yeah, gin, yeah, yeah, not the gym. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Look at this, everyone. Of course, this is going to sell out. It's, oh, 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 there's only six left, only five left now. If you want these in your collection, it's your last chance to be able to secure them. It is a bargain, bargain deal. Um, is it? Susie, 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 we can see you. <laughs> Susie's getting a next project on the go, yes, isn't yes. she? She's getting a next. There's only one available. Yeah, Susie's got them in a kit. Yeah. And she's buying them again. That's how much she loves them. So I think that's great. That, that, that is the compliment, though. That is, that's what I said. I, it's amazing to see the designers buying everything back again because they, they know what they can create. This is huge. These, they're beautiful, beautiful stones, very valuable stones. And you get, I don't even know if there's any left. If there is, good luck in being able to look at, look at this. Sorry, that's on a delay, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this. So, congratulations, everybody. Sold out, we think. Really? <gasps> Where? Oh, yeah. Who put that there? Who put... Did you put that there? Because I've been... I didn't she, see it come No, either. did I? We I were didn't. too busy swooning over the gemstone. Oh, look at this in the four mil. They're gorgeous. That's long. How long is, is it? <laughs> we never even saw your photo there. <laughs> she was just like... <laughs> um, wow. Okay, so I don't... Have we got many? Okay. So how long is this, did you say? 55 centimetres. This is, right, are we gonna do one? Right, you're gonna love this. This wasn't planned for the show. We've been able to secure it because of how popular they are, how much is sold out already. This is going to be a steal of the day. You know when we stop just for a few moments and show you the sting, we're chatting. <laughs> Going, look at that one, look at that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Look at that one, look at that one. And I don't think we're just like that. And then sometimes we don't chat because we're like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes we forget we're on deli when it comes back. It's great, it's great. I love this, it's great. So what we've got is um, a piece of jewellery that wasn't meant to be on air. Um, we've got it. It's been a very popular hour. This is your beautiful Cotan jade, and I love the fact that you do get that essence of your mutton fat jade in there as well. So the mutton fat, of course, is your white in colour. You've got a, a huge strand. So the length, have you, do you normally do lengths like this long? Is this? Uh, not on jade, usually. I mean, yeah. we, ha we sometimes have a metre strands of things and half a metre, but this is essentially, well, this is 55 centimetres. So this is like over half a metre of Cotan jade. I mean, beautiful size. I mean, you know, you've got these, are they four mil, aren't they? You've got this um, four mil size, which is great. You know, um, I made a bracelet a while ago and it was just a netted bracelet, the Capriccio bracelet. 
and can you imagine a jade capriccio bracelet and it's like a netted bracelet and then you kind of put in your gemstones and usually you would use um you need about 250 of them so you wow, might use okay. glass beads or mm -hmm. something but can you imagine the worth of a oh, jade one me. That a coat and jade one oh or tassel susie tassel with this you know with the smaller gemstones you know some of the pictures that you got up, Tom, of showing some of the prices? Uh, uh, Tom, is there anything? Oh, he's chatting away, he's busy. Um, DJ Neary, there we go. So there you there go. go. <laughs> he, he listens and it's DJ Neary. So I go, Tom, Tom, have you got any pictures that are similar to like a bracelet that we were just talking about then, just like a bracelet of Jay, just to kind of, I don't know if you would or not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If there is something, because when you think about it, yeah. it's, um, I, I don't think there's, I don't know if there's anything similar, but you think like when you say it being netted and that, and, and that, that, that bounce the of I was talking about the Capriccio um, bracelet, uh, which, yeah, you know, the netted bracelet that I did with the tassel, um, something like that, because you've got, you've got the, um, the smaller size bead and you've got more on the strand. I don't know what these are going to, but I know that this wouldn't be like, you know, a 50 pound bracelet, but can you imagine what you'd have to pay to buy, buy. a bracelet like that? Because I'm thinking of making That's to wear, not making to sell. Yeah. Um, oh, Jade. Yeah. I don't know if you've got it up on here. It's, it's, this, is, this is just absolutely amazing to see the, the different colours. I think it's always fascinating when you get the, the shading of the different colours as well. We're just trying to find it on here for you, but be on you, my, yeah, you can see like on. as you go along the strands, you can see the different colours. So you've got like the, those greys. It's almost like a blue in inside the stone as well. And then you've got um, these wonderful kind of pockets of sunshine in there. And then it goes into that, that you know the, the mutton fat colour. And then these softer. Look at these. These like glowing. Uh, Sorry, sunshines. I'm just trying to find the picture. No, no, Ignore me. We keep going. It was, it was you. before oh gosh, this. You've got all these pieces of jewellery on your. Is this your Facebook page? Yeah, that's the necklace there that on that I was talking about. You couldn't afford to buy. You see, with the Baroque oh, pearl. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to find this picture for you. But that necklace on the far left, second row down, that was the one with the um, pearls, and that that I said to my son, I couldn't afford to buy it because he was like, "How much would you sell that for?" <laughs> Uh, you are oh, very talented. You. Is this everything that you've created? Yeah, it's my Facebook page. We're just looking for the Capriccio bracelet. I tried bracelet. to find your Facebook and I went, I think I must have gone to a different one. Guest designer, oh, I have got another one. That's um, what he, yeah, that's yeah, I've why. I've got another one from Vol yeah, Guest designer Debbie Kershaw is this one's on. So this is all JM stuff. But the Capriccio bracelet is on there. It was a while ago, it was like December. So, I, it, it's oh, there you go. There, see with her arm, that was it. Ah. It was on the calendar. Uh, oh, nice. So it's basically a netted bracelet. You know what I mean, guys, don't you? And there oh. it is. Oh, my. I made one for Elle. So I also made one um, that had a tassel, but it's a netted kind of cuff. And That's so cool. What you do is you sew the gemstones in. So imagine that, but in, in coat and chain. Yes, yes, I can. And I'm thinking for me, I, I only make to sell now when someone close to me asks me to, yeah. or I'll make the gifts, but I used to sell a lot. But I'm not talking about making to sell, I'm talking about to have, to That's, wear, yeah. because That's I couldn't classy. afford to buy it. Do you That's like it? That's classy. Do you like it? Yeah, I do, I really like that. Thank you. Because I said to you, I quite like simple. You do. Um, and yet, it depends on obviously outfit and stuff, but that for me, um, even though how it's not simple because the way you've made that and the intricacy, but it, it, in my head that f suits me. So, like the, the symmetry just works really nicely. Yeah, yeah. And you can imagine that. And you could work it like that's all one colour, but these, of course, you yes. can have it. So you've got different colours to have a whole bracelet. Like, look at this. I did a. <laughs> I did. I just saw myself speed it up. That wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> um, this on the fourteenth of December we have our <coughs> calendar demo 14th of december if you go into our youtube channel you will get an hour-long demo on how to make that bracelet that's amazing look there at I you am. there so that's Christmas. our calendar yeah I'm, I'm a bit glitzy i like the glitter there i am making it <laughs> see if she made it or not oh, okay. yeah, yeah, <laughs> or yeah. went home <laughs> <laughs> did you finish it did, did you finish it that, there it is <laughs> look look at that no no but look at what you're doing there look yeah at, so you've got all of the different colours around the outside, so you can use your, oh, 
jade and then say yeah. if you've got some pearls but you don't have to have all three you could you could change it you could definitely put that it with other gems beautiful. yeah yeah and i just oh. think to make something like that to to own to own to wear to say i've got my like that the, the cup a like a whole of, yeah I love it on here, it's great. <laughs> yeah, we get to look at pictures of jewellery, it's great. Yeah, it's great. But it's so inspiring. Like, I wouldn't, my mind isn't as, obviously you've done it for years, but my mind doesn't take it to that level, but it's, it inspires you to go, right, I could do that. Think outside the box. Yes, yes. And, okay, look at us, look at us, we're chatting away. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what it's about, though. I think I think anything. Um, I I create a lot of videos when I do my presenting, and I say, when people go, oh, how long do you want the video? Is it five minutes? And I mm. think the answer is, it's as long as it is engaging. Yeah. And that for me is exactly that's what JM true. is. It's true. It doesn't mm. matter. It's as long as it is engaging, and as long as you're being educated. That for me is everything. And that 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 that's this. That that's. And then you're doing it. You're doing it, you're making it, <coughs> hopefully, excuse me, providing some inspiration and then doing ridiculous prices when? like this. <laughs> What's that? That reminds me, who wants something like this? Like this. Oh, yeah. £149 for a 55 centimetre strap. 55 of centimetres. Cotan Jade. Cotan Jade. The, Jade. Uh, 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 Jake, I was going to say, David was meant to be here. He's not very well, uh, but thank you for this deal. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dave. <laughs> thanks, Dave. <laughs> From your bed, watching, having a snivel. I don't know what's wrong with him, so I'm hoping it's just a cold, but thank you very much for being able to buy these beautiful gemstones, for being able to allow us to bring them to screen, and for you then to be able to be very excited when you get this through your front door. <laughs> uh, maker from Kent, Teresa, maker from Lancaster, uh, Sandria from West Midlands, Deborah, Mary from Cumbria, Susie. Susie, uh, Susie we again. We know Susie. Uh, maker from Devon, you've bought two. Congratulations to you. Maker from London, Cumbria, uh, Wrexham, Teresa from Suffolk, maker from Kent. Congratulations on each of these. We do some very lovely multi-strand clasps okay. and some of them have had jade eye in before. So imagine having like a three strand yeah. bracelet, you know, just with the with the clasp, but nothing intricate. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's just held together with the clasp at one side. And you see but it's you like you've got three bracelets in one. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes do, like I that. do. It. Like a stacker. Yeah. Like a stacker. And you yeah. could, yeah, but it's actually joined together with your three. With the three. I mean, wouldn't that be pretty? Because I you've got, you're kind of showcasing all the different colours together. I'd keep yeah. it ombre. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. But obviously a lot. But, but they neater. sit together. So yes. when they have, when you have that clasp, and you can also get spaces that you put in as well that hold them so that yeah. they don't twist. I like them when they twist as well. But sometimes we've got the spaces that, so they sit you know mm. like they're supposed to like to attention to, almost like yes. together like soldiers yes but you, do know you know what, what i mean, mean. yes I so do. you can have that or you can have it so they intertwine which is fine i think i brought i like it i know what you're saying that way i don't know which one because i like touching my jewelry so do you i know? and i think you'd probably like it where you could, br I could bring them over the top of each yes. other yeah as long as i could then when i look down i can just i think i know what i would do i'd be smarting them when i look yeah, down you would but then and then you know what i mean yeah. we like messing with our gemstones though don't we that's what it's all about Congratulations, everybody. It's that's an amazing deal. That it, wasn't even supposed to be on, was it? It wasn't. Thank you, DJ Neary. Thanks, DJ Neary. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, You're welcome. <laughs> that's You're his welcome. DJ voice. It's a good DJ voice. Mm. I find it really weird, you know, when you don't know someone that well to like give them a nickname. I, everyone mm. I know has got a nickname. Like yeah. literally my kids have got nicknames and then Neary's got a nickname because he's just a DJ. Cause I, now I can see him through that, that big glass, like before you can see them. No. But I can see that, you know, he looks like yeah. a DJ, especially when he's, he's gonna do a really good deal. I know something good's coming cause he gets off his chair. Yeah, he does. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's happened today, it's great. <laughs> you know, he just spins a bit. I, if I spin ever since like I've got like become an adult or shall we say, <laughs> Don't you find if you spin? I can't spin. I can't go into anything spinning. Do you go dizzy? Yeah. 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 Like you got I can't spot. Go. Yeah. Oh, spinning. yeah. Are you an ex dancer? Yeah. Then? You got spot. I can't do that. Hey, what? What? What time is it? <gasps> really? Have we got? Con we haven't got that many of them, have we? Okay. Okay. Really? Forty-nine. Oh, okay. Forty. That uh, cool. That's a deal. Uh, Neri Nunu that's said. Cool. 
we've only got 49 of this kit and he's had so many requests that he's going to put it on pre-order and if they sell out we can have a longer demo i'm excited by that because i learn more when you're demoing <laughs> i'm thoroughly excited and it's not difficult to make that either i mean it's, it it's basically rosary linking and adding a tassel so but you say that that it's not difficult uh, after the demo you could do it really yeah i promise you make that necklace mm. I see that and I'm like, that is just a work of art from like, uh, I, I just, nah. and she's like, it's not, it's not difficult. It's fine. It's fine. It's not. Right. So that's coming up. So that's on pre-order. That's on pre-order now. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Okay. So we've had a ma message this morning. I was about to say we've had a massage this morning. Oh, I wish nice. we did. That'd be nice, yeah, it'd be it? very nice. So we did some space of beads earlier this morning and he's had a message and a massage um, <laughs> to bring some more. And his, your <laughs> wish is his command. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that Bruce who just went, I'm open to a massage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it you? Yeah, okay. I need one. Oh, he's got a bad neck. It's leaning over all the time and me, repetitive mm. stress. I think we should get one in the building. And uh, While I'm demoing, I'll have a little... Oh, I think that would be nice. Oh, I might go to sleep. They though. do that at the NEC, you know. Were there any at the show when you went the other day? Oh, I don't know. I, I walked around a couple of times, but I was... Ah. Oh, yeah. What, you mean they walk around and give you yeah, a message? No, so basically, a, a lot of shows now, um, they'll have a few stands dotted around. You have to pay for it, but they'll be, you know, those chairs that you sit forward on. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think they're called Angel something. I don't know. Um, the brand, and they go to the shows, and they'll have uh, masseuse. Uh, masseuses? No, is that Massage that? therapist. Massage therapist. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, and then, so you can just go and have half an hour because they're long days at the shows, aren't but, they? Do you know, I love that, a shopping massage therapist. Yeah. You've shopped yourself to death and then you just go and get a massage just and then you can nice. buy more. Yeah. But only if you're at like a craft fair. Yeah. <laughs> they had the rock choir at the other one and they were oh. amazing. They yes. were singing. My friend oh, is part of rock choir. We've sold two kits already, by the way. So if you've got your heart set on this little guy, you need to get cracking really because there's only 49, 47 now. Gorgeous. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Should we do those first then? Okay, so we did have a request for the spacers. Um, we have actually got all three colours, but the request was to have different colours. So let's, we'll do the rose gold first, shall we? So, oh, forgive me. So the designs are within. Okay, yes, yeah, okay, I'm there. So you're getting 100 pieces in total, and then with the spaces, they're, they're four different designs. So you can mix and match. So you've got like this frosted effect on one of them. And then, so you've got like a frosted effect, then you've got a clean design. Oh my good, that, that's they beautiful? Stardust, that kind of frosted one. Ooh, Stardust. Look at that. Well, I like the fasting here. So do I. Is it really? So you're getting over five grams. Okay, this is gonna be a big deal actually. So but the thing is, I, I see these as your staple items. Mm -hmm. So if you want to add color and you want to add that kind of different nuance within, you can change a look with a different color of a precious metal or, yeah, or, or, or a design, can't you? So I think if, if you want a different look, it's good to have these in your collection anyway. It's almost like you don't put value on these until you actually start making and then you go, actually, these are essential. Or you add some spacer beads amongst, say you had one of those beautiful um, ombre strands. You can still keep it ombre, yeah. but just put a spacer after every one or after every two. Creating a design though, isn't and it? And you can suddenly think, oh, that looks different. That, yeah. that, that adds something. Yes. I know what you mean. It's a finish, it's that perfection. It's, mm. a, it's, it's like you see the bigger picture and then it's actually those small touches that make it definitely spe special. So, um, yeah, so you're getting, how many is it in one? You're getting 100 pieces and you're getting four designs. I don't think, oh yes, I have. Why am I not finding the third design? What is it? I'm not, oh yes, I am. I've found it now. So I've got, so you've got like a faceted design and then you've got this kind of like wave within the design. Mm. I don't know what you, I don't know if there's a I name like that. for that. Um, and then you've got that stardust design, which I called frosted, sorry. And then you've got a clean design. So it's just a high polish finish. Um, and this is, again, it's your 95 solid sterling silver, but it's that rose gold over the top effect. And you're getting a hundred. Oh, that's a good deal. 
I need these. I just can't. I was searching for space of beads the day before yesterday. I literally was going to the bottom of the dregs of my drawers. Really? Yeah, because I've exhausted them because I love them and I, I, I use them much more than I think I do. I think, I think that's, <laughs> that's exactly what it is, is the fact that you are, I think they're so essential. Yeah, they are essential. That's a good word. But you are. kind of overlook it because yeah. you're thinking about all oh, the other pieces, but actually this is what creates the finish. This is what creates that desired effect of Definitely having that. a really stunning piece of jewellery. And you've got, so there is rose gold as well. Rose gold's a nice, I, I think sometimes it gives you that, it's refreshing rose gold. It is refreshing and it's just something different. Mm. It, it, it can really make, whatever gold you put in, and people have been mixing, I quite like mixing metals to switch yes, it up I a do. bit. Yeah. But again, the, all the bracelets that we spoke about earlier, um, you could make with this. So you wouldn't get thicker chain through it, but you could make the sort of elasticated bracelet. You yeah. know, these, these are okay on their own for jewelry as well, yes. you know, if you want to keep it on, yeah. so that you can have just these stacker bracelets that well, are made we of We were saying spaces, the kind of like thing that. like this, is the yeah. fact that, my my piece of jewellery that I've got here, there is something missing from it. But you can just simply have these and you've got the texture. Oh, so you cons. could actually... There's only one left. That's because the it? deal is epic. There's only one left. Gone. Gone. Okay, there's your rose gold design. But you, I, I quite like the fact that they're, the, the, the textures, so you can... Yeah. You can How create many? a design... How many? Oh, we're not going to have any left by the time we come. It's seven uh, hummingbird kits have gold. Exciting. Little hummingbird. Do you, are you proud of that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose though, sometimes I look at it and think, you don't have to really have much talent to work with certain kits because they're amazing. Mm. So I think even if it's your very first thing that you've ever made, you know, things that look difficult aren't always difficult. So as somebody yeah. who's made jewelry 15 years, I think, well, you know, but I suppose, and also you can put your own stamp on. That's very me. Like yeah. anyone who knows my work, I go, oh, that's so Deb. She's put flowers on it, la, la, la. Mm. But it could be completely different. You could just have silver spacer beads like this on yeah. the tail and make it more high end, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. not so colourful. Yeah. Um, and this is where our makers, as I was saying earlier, will take this kit and they'll do something completely different with it. Or some people will follow my instructions and I'll be mm. flattered. But, yeah. you know, that's the beauty of, of making jewellery. But with a kit like this, the kunzai, you know, the hummingbird, the components are stunning. They're stunning anyway. So yeah, you're before you do of, anything. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, you like it's. It, I'm not it, sure I had anything to do with it. It's yeah. kind of. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I, I think it's. I think it's really lovely, and you probably have this all the time, so you don't see it. But I'm new to this, um, in the fact that it's it's. You should be really proud because people oh, are copying. You. Do you know what I mean? Like yes, you yeah, created yeah, yeah. something and then they're copying, and that's a compliment. Oh, isn't when it? I see it on the Wall of Fame, they know that I'll go. I made yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. and I'm all excited because yeah, sometimes you forget that you know that you do that when you do it all the time. So yeah. I just think though, I'm, I'm so lucky to get to get a project like that. And the pearls mm. this morning, I just feel lucky. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so special, it really is. Sorry, I'm chatting away. I'm enjoying myself too much, I'm sorry. But that's what it's about, I guess. So um, here we go. So we've got the other designs as well. So again, we've got it, but in the gold here. Mm. You know, you just said about like that high-end look as well. Like mm. you can't be, got like gold is gold. You can't no. take it away from that. So these are obviously gold plated, 95 solid sterling silver spacer beads. You're getting 100 in the pack. There's a lot of you coming in for these. Gold, it's classic, isn't it? You, you mm. can't go wrong. With it's gone massive, hasn't it, gold? Yeah, I mean, the last one, I'd say five years, yeah. just gold, 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 gold. They're just everywhere. And most even of the, um, of the sort of higher end, kind of high street brands, or not even high street, but sort of a mid range designers, I want to say. So, you know, not your um, Van Cleef's, not your Tiffany's, but, you know, designers that are a little bit more affordable are plating because yes. it's too expensive to offer things in gold. So they are plating their sterling, and sometimes it's not even sterling silver plated, it's like plated on ah, brass and... On a base metal mm. or something, yes. Yeah, and that's these are true. on sterling silver. I just think when you put anything with gold, there's just that, I don't know, it's the look straight away. You just know, you just know. and I think fashions have changed somewhat mm. um, in terms of, I think, Quite a few years ago, it was very heavy on silver, it silver, was. silver, and then mm. it's, it's it, you're right, it's done that bit of a turnaround, that warmth that you get from gold it as is well. It's that opulence. I just, I think if you put gold spaces in amongst some beautiful pearls. Oh, don't. Don't start <laughs> getting me all excited. <laughs> but then, that's, yeah. I know what you mean. That's why you need them. Yeah. You think you, you know, I've got base metal ones, but it's my precious metal spacer beads that go. Yes. I can I can understand that, yeah. Because some like look at that nephrite that we just uh, not nephrite, cotan that we just oh, did. Yeah. 
I mean, it looked like nephrite, right, but uh, gold, oh, gold space of beads amongst those. In between yeah. each, each Ooh, yeah. That would be a lovely piece, mm. wouldn't it? And it's quite simple. I yeah. think, you know, when we said about thinking out the box, actually, that's nice because I, personally, I don't know if you're like me, but I would have, if I was to get the last, not the last one, but you know, the green, mm -hmm. the imperial green, I would have like the high polish or the faceted. Yes. I, I wouldn't, it, it, it's quite nice that you would, you choose which ones you want to go for. So that, you know, the faceted ones there, mm. which have got quite a nice finish, like a luster to it. Yes. That in between each one, Ooh. I think would complement it. But then again, if you do that kind of frosted bead, it would look different as well. Yeah, that's why, the, that's yeah. the beauty of making your own jewelry because someone would choose something different to somebody yeah. else. Yeah, it adds character. It does, it does, yeah. A hundred. Four designs. So. Susie, Susie, shopping again. <laughs> I love that. Should but we have a code name for Susie in case she's not supposed to be shopping? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when they say, oh, I guess designer Debbie, and I think, shh. Yes. I'm just saying that I'm uh, I'm shopping, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm just watching, I'm just letting you know I'm yeah. watching whilst I'm ordering at the same time. <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations, by the way, everyone who sourced those. They're, they're um, it's nice though, because it can inspire you. You know that that, that do, do you find that you'll put this order in and you'll be thinking about, before it's even arrived, what you're going to make with Yeah, it? definitely. And then sometimes I, I get, like, I've got to have something. Like, I, I need it. Yeah. Um, I'm just in love with it. Often that will be pearls or that will be, um, yeah. And, and then sometimes when I actually get it home, you know, I take it off the strand mm. first. That's the first thing you do. And then I think, what kind of jewelry do I want to make? Yeah. And then the kind of all the ideas come in. Do you find like your your look online as well? Because like Instagram and places that are quite inspiring, mm. can't they? Um, yeah. I mean, quite often it will be about what's the longevity. Is this going to be a piece of jewelry that I'm going to put on here and there? Is this a piece of jewelry oh, that okay. I'm going to want to stack and probably wear on a daily basis? And that will kind of command my choices of whether I'm using precious metal, whether I'm using more durable components. So the, mm. the kind of workings of it. Mm, yeah. so it's sort of like for you buying a car, am I gonna really put that car through the middle and drive long distances or am I just going to the kids' school and back every day? Yeah. That kind of thought. And There's then when I've got the practicalities out yeah. of the way, in the you design, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Let us know as well, like what are your thoughts? How do you see the jewelry? Um, it's, so, it's, so, it's new to me, it's so interesting. Um, I've got two pots here. Why have I got two pots? It's one, it just plain ones. Is that what it is? I don't know. Are they all the ah. same in there? Yes. See, so those ones... They, we look like we've got some plain ones and then the four yes. designs. So which one am I doing? At the same time? Mm. I got a little bit confused. Should we just pour them all out and then... Yesterday, um, when they oh, did the... Oh, it's okay. They've put them in two different parts. Is that what it is? it is? So someone has... Ah, okay. Is that what it is? Ah. Oh, this is slightly different. So you get 50 plain, and then you get um, 50 with the different designs on. In right. the image. So slightly different, so you get 50 right. in the plain, yeah. That but the plane, right. they look faceted. They look slightly faceted as well. Can you see? Am I going mad? Am I going bonkers? These ones, these ones are not just high polished. They've got, they've got like those, mm. like that wave yeah. design in it. So fifty of one design, which are the more plain ones, and yeah. then you've got a multitude, a multitude of, of designs right, with the there. other fifty. We're there. Be getting all of them for the same price. Oh, are you? Oh. Always going, okay, can we tell? I'm going to tell everyone that. Um, <laughs> I'm like, can we? No, can we my confidence it? is there already. We're going slightly lower on these uh, than what we've previously done than the other pieces. So if you want to get these, then you've got the trio if you've already ordered before. Um, but then you've got these, but we are going to a slightly lower price point after we've kind of deciphered and worked out <laughs> exactly what you're getting. But you are getting 100 of your 925 solid sterling silver spaces, which is just huge. And it is an essential item, I believe. Um, yeah, I agree. For, yeah. Absolutely agree. An essential item for um, oh. your... I've just heard the price, that's quite a bit cheaper. $17.99 for 100. Oh, I'd get a couple of those just yeah. because, you know, um, stretchy rings were in a little while ago. So basically you get these yes. 
and then you put them onto um, elastics so that you what's his face so that you <laughs> <laughs> if only you could hear what he's saying to me in my ear oh um, my goodness yeah so you put these on um, elastic and you have like elastic rings but they're precious metal <laughs> elastic rings because you've got you know like your bracelet imagine yes. if that was full yeah. of gemstones and an, uh, I'm sorry full of beads and on elastic yes. so you could bring it on and on yes, yes. so you can make rings like that as well oh, and nice. you can put little charms on or a, a nice charm would be nice I think that I think that a nice charm would be really nice so, uh, we've done charm rings where you have like a little little charm and then the rest is an elasticated ring which yeah, is another like way it's like of a stacky, stacky it's fashionable yeah, yeah it's quite fashionable but it's still um a precious metal yeah, but without having to do any soldering or anything yeah. like that. So we've done those for these would be great for that. These are <laughs> Is he still talking about Sue? <laughs> Sue sent said a message which we're all laughing at, but we can't say on air. So um, Sue, do you enter the Wall of Fame? Says says DJ Neary. He's trying to think if that's you. But th th lots of Sue's might enter the Wall of Fame, Neary Nunu. He enjoys your sense of humour, Sue. <laughs> yeah. It's, an in it's, a, it's a funny sense of humour. Right, congratulations, so many of you um, coming through. I haven't even said everyone's names, but... Okay, so... Right, okay, uh, so we're not going to... Oh, right, okay. Should we just blame Dave? <laughs> so we were meant to bring, <laughs> he's not here, blame the person that is not here. Um, we were meant to do these earrings, but they're going to put them on tomorrow's show. That, that's exciting for you tomorrow. Um, but because uh, of Dave not being here, it's just changed different things around. Um, but we have got lots to come. So um, later on, just so you know, we have got this beautiful project. I don't even know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock. Oh my goodness. No, it's... <laughs> Uh, is it this time already? Those are on pre-order and they're already going. What is the time? Because the clock's not there. I have no it's, idea. It's midday. It's 12 o'clock. No, it isn't. Yeah. You can come again. Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's my acceptance. That's right. gone so quickly. Isn't it? Fabulous. I'm looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to this next project. So many have gone already. I don't blame you. We're going to have a quick drink and we'll see you in just a few. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all doing well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is going to be this Sunday, the 24th of March, where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the amazing crew. And I want to tell you about my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we've got one of my favourite agates that we've been showcasing on the show recently, Fire Agate. And I know spring is finally here, but I still think we need that extra little bit of colour. And we've definitely got that on Sunday. Isn't that too beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, well, I've been truly spoiled. Do you remember back in October last year, I introduced to you four incredible abalone animals. We had an elephant, we had an owl, we had a butterfly and a fish. Well, this Sunday, I've got the second instalment on the range and I think we're getting better and better. So I'm going to show you the four creatures we're bringing to air. We've got the dragonfly, Look at the colours in those wings, beautiful. We've got the dragonfly. This is cute. We've got this incredible seahorse. <laughs> it's really good fun, isn't he? Then we've got a few turtle lovers out there. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. The workmanship is incredible. We've got the turtle. And I know we shouldn't have favourites, but here's my favourite. The incredible 
angelfish. Absolutely spectacular, aren't they? So that's this Sunday, Fire Agate at nine, incredible abalone animals at 12, plus all the fun and laughter. Hope you can join us. That's eight o'clock, Sunday, 24th of March. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back. Um, my name is Lindsay Vickers. If you've never met me before, I used to work on GEMS. I've had about three years away and yesterday I set foot in the building for the first time in three years. I bet it looked really different because I was changing it around, aren't they? I've never known a building have so many walls where walls weren't before True. and uh, entrances and all sorts. Like yeah, well, one day the green room's there, then it's not there, then the loo, they've moved there. And I mean, you, you're in for a job for life if you're a carpenter here, right? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> you, Definitely. You're doing all right. 
Um, so um, I've got Debbie here with me, who has made. I've got to say, and I've just said to her, thank you so much. You've just made my this so easy. As, oh, it's been as, lovely as, having you. It's, it's been so nice. We cut that show's gone so quick, hasn't it? We couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe the time. So. Yeah, wow. Well, we've had fun. We have, haven't we? Yeah. And we've bought some beautiful pearls this morning, some gorgeous jades. So you've made some great purchases. And um, we've got this huge project that um, she just it makes me laugh so much because this is all so <laughs> new to me coming from Gem. You're like, oh, we've got some beads here and we've just got this stone here. <laughs> and it's just laid out so perfectly. Um, so you've been working on this project. I Yeah, and, and it what i've done is i've given you the instruction what we started doing um, a couple of months ago was when the designers do a project they write up one thing that they've made from the project so that when the viewers um, project is dispatched yes they can go into the website and then there'll be a download and they download and they get these instructions so they get the instructions um, that they can either print off or save but what's really good is even experienced makers if you put this in a folder, and mm. someone was saying, if you put the date of the show and the time, then you can always refer back to the demo. Even if you know how to make that by looking at it, um, it might kickstart your mojo. A lot of people yeah. buy a lot of things from us, and they might think, I can't remember what so-and-so did with that, but I knew I wanted to make it. Um, now you can know, because there'll be a photograph of it, and then you've got um, your written instructions on both sides on how to do it. And sometimes the techniques are, are simple, like really this is simple. Like if you were beginning, you can make this. No, uh, she's looking at me like, no, I couldn't. <laughs> All right, you could. really, really? Um, because yeah. you're dealing with components that are epic. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> I think that's probably what it is because I'm seeing this and I'm like, oh wow, the complexity, the fact that you've got the spaces in between, the fact that you've got all your different links, the stones and everything. But I, I, I get it when you get into your flow and, you know, I, I'm totally in my infancy with all of this, whereas you've done this for lots and lots, lots and lots of years. Yeah, 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 yeah. You used to love it. Oh, I love it. Someone said to me the other day, um, do you get sick of making jewellery? And I, no. And I hadn't thought about that. And I really did think about it and thought, no. You know, I even made, like, I had a rare day off because I've, I've been quite busy over the last month. And I had a day off and I made myself a bracelet. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Because there was a pattern I wanted to try, a CB pattern that I hadn't made for a while. I had some new beads and I sat and did it. It's how I relax. It's habitual, isn't it? It's like, you're just like, right, okay. I no, need to do yeah. something with my hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? I've usually mm. got a dog on my lap or a cat on my shoulder or something. But, you know, I just, I need to be creating. It's what I like to do. <laughs> I can just do this. <laughs> yeah. The dog's, like, dog's head appears dog under there. there. Cat on shoulder. <laughs> just being like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's fun. I love it. It is fun. So what we usually do is we have a project in the 9am, so that was our pearls. Yes. And then we have usually the larger project um, called the, I don't know, is it still called the Masterclass? Or is it? I don't know if it's called the Masterclass. I don't see myself as a master of anything. We can, I, 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 I do, <laughs> looking at this, I do. Um, so yeah, then we have a project in the 12th and, and we demo, that's when we do our two demos and yeah. then all the goodies in between. So that, okay. So right. this is our 12th. This is our 12th. So you've got these beautiful pieces, the, the hummingbirds, so you've obviously seen the creation, but then you kind of break it down, don't we, mm -hmm. to what goes into it. So you've got this gorgeous hummingbird, which um, will be, your focal point sterling silver um, solid sterling silver and then you've got these uh, magnificent stones of, uh, of colors within in fact if i tilt this forward um there we go if i hold it like so no. you can see these gorgeous colors and you've got you've got a lot you've got a lot of um there's a lot of meaning meaning of the hummingbird um yeah the hummingbird um it's the only bird that can fly backwards um i've got um a hummingbird tattooed on my leg it's the first tattoo I ever had um, because it has meaning for me in I've had to fly backwards a few times in my life <laughs> yeah. if you think metaphorically speaking mm. um, and I've always come out the other side and there's always a new day and on the other side of those hard times is joy yeah. the Sun always comes out and they're also yeah. symbols of joy of um, color and I just think that on the other side of a negative experience you have mm -hmm. that positive experience. And to me, that hummingbird symbolizes all of that because it's a beautiful little creature. It it's is. colorful. It's almost like if you Petite put- and powerful. And powerful. <laughs> and if you put all the colors that you love of mother nature, because hummingbirds don't just come in one color. Hummingbirds come no. in the colors of the rainbow and they're almost like little miracles. Mm. They're like little the, miracles. Those photos that you showed us earlier, 
um, of the hummingbird that like, just blew me away and I thought actually it's done it justice very much um, with this creation because the colours that you see that the hummingbirds are are just like you couldn't get a better kind of creation here to depict what a hummingbird is Ex like and in you've got nature. all of your colors in there so if you wanted to be a bit more understated you might choose to put some precious metal spaces for the tail and just a couple of mm. essences of color yes um you know so that would be a more understated design but you're the designer you know what you want to do i had to add flowers because i can't think of a hummingbird without <laughs> them putting their long beaks into a flower oh, look. oh my goodness getting no. the nectar when i look at hummingbird pictures and i've actually got a whole um pinterest board on you got one on your head i've got one on my leg <laughs> is um i look at them and think that's photoshopped and then i have to go into it further See, and really? they are actual breeds that look like this i mean hummingbirds are miracles of nature they are even the shape of them is beautiful the yeah. long the long nose and that See the how elegance look? To them, doesn't it? and look at the colors and the iridescent some of them are so iridescent and I think that they're colourful and, and they're happy. They make me happy looking at Colour them. does though, doesn't it? Yes, I think, I think so. You know, you've just said something that would probably hit a nerve with most people, but it's colour. Colour makes you, it, it evokes something from you. You don't know what it is, but yeah. it, it, it takes you somewhere. It brings up a memory, you associate it. And when you've got so many colours, you've almost got, you see it and you just associate it with so many moments. You do, and, it, and it, sometimes you're drawn to colours at different times in your life. Absolutely. And hence like the chakras and things like mm, that. True. And I'll be drawn to gemstones I've never liked before and I'm like what's yeah. that about and when I look up the qual the qualities of a gemstone I think oh, I need that at the moment yeah. and I just think with this hummingbird I added the lucite flowers I've been doing a lot with lucite lately I love lucite before we ever bought it to JM because it's that flower depiction you don't have to flowers on there you can do like a, a tassel a regular tassel okay. uh, but you have got these holes it's essentially a connector so you've got all of these holes on the bottom that you can add whatever you like to and then you've got two anchor points actually on the bird itself which if you just wanted to add a chain you could do yeah you know you just if you've got a ready-made chain you can just cut it in half and add a jump ring either side um there's so much you can do with this but oh, i thought yeah. the icing on the cake for me was the kunzai well the thing is we haven't even spoken about <laughs> that <laughs> this is what i'm just like it, it, it's so it's a bicolor kunzai um i don't think um I, that's what i was thinking um tom should say because i've had some time off but um tom was just saying he's never ever seen a strand of bicolor kunzai me neither and it, the, the kunzai is that color of pink that we always describe that that people that don't like pink like yes i know what you're it's saying it's not rose quartz pink it's not going no, it's, it's not that baby baby pink it's like is a, it the, if you could see no, like neary can you show the picture of hummingbird in a minute after we see the close-up of this strand because if ever there was a hummingbird mm. in a strand it's this <laughs> strand yeah, yeah. Do you I know, know what, what you mean? whoever's put this together is genius because this strand look at that oh it's beautiful isn't it it's almost blossom. I've always liked kunzai. I love kunzai. It's something yeah. gentle about it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I like that. You know, when someone says gentle, like you say a word and it just fits with what you're seeing. It's kind of vintage pink. When you think of like the vintage, it's not an in your face pink. Everything that, about it is gentle. It's got a, that purpley undertone that's not yes. baby, baby pink. It's, it's veering across to the hues, like that, that purple hue, and then it's very soft as well. Um, and I like the fact that you're getting the mixture. The Ooh. mixture, because you also get hummingbird hawk moths, which are fascinating. They're smaller, but still move the same. Yeah, I saw one, I was on a retreat in the middle, somewhere in the middle of England, and I saw them and thought, what on earth is that? I knew it couldn't be a hummingbird because we don't have them in this country. Um, and it's a hummingbird moth, and they are fascinating. Mm. They, they move like a hummingbird. Yeah. Um, but I just think like I'm all about story behind your jewelry yeah. and, and the story behind the, the gemstones and this for me just is a, a kit. It doesn't matter what you do with this, it's going to be beautiful. Yes, absolutely. And you've got what I think is the colour of the humming. Even though we're giving you your colour in, in, in the stones here, but I think because you've got the colour in the hummingbird there, that's giving you choice to yeah. go what line of color what route do Definitely. i go down yes because you've got choice because sometimes if you say if this was like all red say for example you've got a route of right do i go all red do i add black do i add yes. you know whatever color you want to but this is giving you the option of choice and i think that's really kind of favorable when you're talking about 
you know, having this on Jewelry Maker and having it where you can create something yourself. Oh, uh, Janet says, oh. Hiya, gorgeous girls and JM team. I've been lucky enough to see hummingbirds in the wild and they are the most joyous little creatures. I'm so jealous. I will see one. I where hope you, to see one. Where, where do you find them? Then? America, they have them, don't they? In tropical countries. And um, my friend in America, I think she's in Michigan. She has them in her garden. Wow. I want them in my garden. I see robins in my garden. So do I. Mm. I love robins. So I we're like at 499. Um, I mean, how unusual is this? It's not like a project that we've seen before. It's no. just. Yeah. Yeah, would you say that? Yeah, Tom's just said this is one of the most unique masterclasses that he's ever seen. I, I, I think you've got a strand of stones that, as Tom says, um, never ever seen before. Never seen before. Do what? Sorry, sorry. What did you say? The you, hummingbird. Oh, sorry. Yes, that we've um, never seen. Yeah, before. the hummingbird that we've never seen before. Um, this is brand new, and the fact that you've got this in so many different colours, I just think you can't like. It's just the perfect, perfect design um, for a creation of your choice because I think what we're giving you is that element of design and choice with this. I, I absolutely agree with that because of the different coloured stones. I mean, you can keep it very yeah, kind of kunzite colours, you know, very kind of soft. Whereas I added some real pops. I took some of the pinks and, mm. and I added, um, we've got some other strands that we're bringing you. And I added some of that kind of bright pink because of the time of year that we are, I'm, I'm craving for the flowers and the... And the I love spring, and I, yes. the flowers are yes. coming up, and I'm craving some colour. Oh, so I'm I craving some sunshine, sunshine and colour. Yeah, yeah. Bit, a bit of sunshine. So we're not anywhere done. Says we're Marie not. New. You, you, you will love this. You genuinely will absolutely love what we're going to go down to. It, uh, uh, honestly. Look at that price. A lot of designers. Um, oh, what's the one that I follow? It will come to me. Julia Roberts is the spokesperson. Um, I follow the designer, the lady who's the designer, and they do a lot of this sort of thing a, a, the, now at the moment. A lot of nature, a lot of sparkly stones in mm. there, lots of different colours, very designer, and it's thousands and thousands of pounds for that look. This is what I mean. This is what I was saying that, you know the big books, and I said this earlier, so sorry if I'm, if I'm repeating myself and you heard me say it, but you know when you see those big books and you've got designers work in there, it's not about selling on there, no. they're just promoting their capabilities. I look at this and I think this is incredibly complex. This for me is, is so beautiful and high end. Like That idea of the simplicity has gone because you've got those bursts of colour and yes. everything that you've got going on here, but then that then takes it to another level. Yeah. And that's where I think it looks really, really special. I really do. And like you say, nature, anything with Mother Nature, we all have a connection with a particular animal. Yeah, or definitely. Bird. We all do. We all do. Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah, let's get the details up then for you. Um, so you're getting eight grams of solid sterling. Eight grams. That's a lot. That's a lot. And you've got your CZ colours, so your cubic zirconias and all the different colours. Can I just say as well, um, I know it's CZ, but there's a colour going down the centre that's tanzanite. a very tan... Oh, yeah, I yeah. thought that. I thought it was tanzanite. Yeah. Do you know the benefit of having cubic zirconias? You can fire cubic zirconias when you're sand casting. They're that hardy. So, yeah, I, wouldn't that be a beautiful brooch? I Wouldn't thought it? of that. I yes. thought of that as a brooch, you know. But obviously, I had the strand as well. So you most certainly can make a brooch and use your um, your strand for something else. You yeah, don't you have could. to use it. To, or you know, on a beret. Or yes, that would be nice. A, I wear a lot of scarves. Like you'll always see me in a scarf. I don't wear on the studio because it gets in the way of the mic. But I'll put one straight on when I leave. Yeah. I just like it. Um, so a plain scarf with with a brooch is gorgeous. Yes. Yes, it would be a gorgeous brooch. Sorry, so what I was saying before was yeah. that the cubic zirconias are very hardy. Yes. So if you are wanting to wear it on a brooch or on a coat that kind of gets moved around and might end mm. up on the floor or whatever, then you have got the um, strength of these o stones. Of the stones. Mm. And you've got some larger, I just want to just make note, you have got some like larger stones going down like the body, so it pulls out that tanzanite colour. So if you did want that as part of you know the thread or a yes. theme then that looks quite nice and the well. eye is a citrine i think yes yes i thought that as mm. well the eye is a citrine oh okay so that's not your price no is it not oh no okay well, i don't know what this is going to have no oh, i don't <gasps> i just heard <laughs> i didn't hear okay 
Let it be a surprise. You know, like we talk about sometimes, <laughs> you have to kind of check, like cherry pick what you can hear, and oh, sometimes yeah. I have to block it out when I'm talking. So I didn't. I'm sorry, Tom. I didn't hear what you said. I genuinely have to. I want you. you to be surprised. Okay, then I won't say anything. I'm quite surprised now. <laughs> Don't tell us. We've got the kunzite, <laughs> and we've got this beautiful bird, and we're going to see a beautiful creation that you can create, and you can create that creation with pieces that you've got from home as well. And in 30 seconds, he's going to drop that price tag down. And there's so many of you buying it already. Some people are multi. <laughs> oh, more than one person is multi buying. Yeah. Um, Angela from Devon, you've secured this. Catherine from Greater Manchester and Catherine, not from, we don't know where Catherine's from. Uh, Suzanne from North Yorkshire, you've secured two. Congratulations, Pamela um, from Stains upon, Stains upon Thames. Yes, yeah, Stains. Um, Maker from London, Maker from Swansea, the rain, Greater London, Maker from Devon, you've just bought, bought two. Sean from Northamptonshire, Denise, and there's a whole list of you. Just so you know as well. <laughs> <laughs> you just think, oh, we might bring off a little bit or something like that. No, you can get this. Yeah, yeah, he's excited. He's doing his DJ thing <laughs> in there, getting very, very happy. It, say that again? <laughs> well, you, <laughs> okay. I won't say that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's very excited. As are you purchasing this. It, it is. It's it, For me, instantly, if the hummingbird captures you, that's the thing is, yeah. a piece of jewellery has to capture you. It's like certain stones, they choose you. That's always a saying, True. the stone chooses True. you. And if this captures you, if you can have those moments where you go, right, that that is me. I love a bird because I love that animal or whatever mm. works. It's got to fit with you. Mm. And if you see that beauty in it, instantly you go, oh, that, that's mine. That's mine. I'm going to get this. And then you can start your, like you've got your base already that's perfect. So then you can just add to it. And I like the fact personalized. that in these kits, sometimes we do add things from our stash and it's always has to be JM. So our viewers might already have these things or similar things on the website, but they don't put a lot of very particular things in that might not be some people's cup of tea, which brings the price up. Yes, I know. Do you know what I mean? So that then you are completely open to put whatever you want, or if you want to copy what the designer's done, there'll always be something similar that you've got in your stash or on, on the online mm. that um, on our website that you can use rather than popping something in. Like we could put lucite flowers in here, but there'll be a load of people that don't want to use lucite. Flowers. I don't know lucite. It's hello. <gasps> Are you really? Okay, so. Uh, Neri says <laughs> he needs really okay he needs 20 more people and if he sees 20 more people with it in their basket he's going down he's not going down a little bit either uh, okay there can't be many left now how many did we start off with not many was it 50 see you won't there's not many left with no okay oh, wow. if you want it yeah you, uh, there's somebody there with, oh, and I think they've just checked out four in their basket. You need to check that out. You're not going to get them. I don't want you to miss out. No, I know. It's the sort of thing that you know, you're going to see again, are you, for ages if you do, even ever. That, that's exactly what I mean. Once that home and once you kind of connect and you go, I like that, I want that, this is that piece that, you know, when you if you haven't got it, you look back and you go, we should have got that. Mm. So if it fits with you now and you think, no, that is something for me, that's that moment of going, yeah, actually, I need to get that now. Whereas sometimes, sometimes you see things, you're like, no, 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 not this. This is something that's so unique that it, you, wo you won't forget it. Is it is unique. You're not going to see it anywhere. Oh, Neri says he needs four more people four and then he'll people, go down. And then he's going to drop that price. In your baskets. <laughs> and you're getting your bicolour comes out as well. I feel like this hummingbird is like really upstaging <laughs> yeah. everything else though, isn't it? It's like... Okay, okay, he's crashing. Got, he's yeah, he's it. crashing down. You'll love this. You'll absolutely love it. Congratulations to everybody who's come through. I've got a funny feeling that we will not have any of these left, especially when they see what you're about to create. Oh, as well. I just look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Is there spit pay on this? Yeah. Oh, there is. Oh, oh, look at the colour of that lilac. Oh, yeah. oh I love that. So, I like the colour combination, I do. I've so never really I. thought to put that together, but that's the kind of inspiring side of all of this as well, isn't it? So you've got split pay over three months. So you can have this <laughs> and you're only paying like 33 something, 33, 33, whatever. And then you can have this, that, no wonder so many of you are getting this. So you can order and buy it outright today. 
oh, then you can split pay it, so you've got a choice. So it just makes it easier if you're going to split pay it. Three have just gone in. Angela from Devon, congratulations. You can still do it, but they're going quick. Yeah, they are. Uh, missed out on the peacock, so I'm going for the hummingbird. Beautiful, unique design. Oh, yeah. thank you, Deborah. Nice yeah. name. <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'm De 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 like Deborah it. as well. De Deborah or Deb Deffy. I missed um, out on the peacock as well. Well, that's that's what I meant about this as in being the humber it's a piece that doesn't come around very often so when you do it and it connects with you you go ah that's it because otherwise yeah. you remember it we don't often repeat things like this like we'll do yeah. something else because uh, it takes time it can take months mm. um yeah i missed out on the peacock i had no chance it was gone i, I really? wasn't working i was i don't think i worked that show i saw it and by the time i saw it it'd gone always wish list something if you oh that's a good idea i got my own i'm always banging on about this but i do love my peacock angelite strand and oh. i couldn't get it because i was on the show mm. and wayne can't get any more and um i got it on wish list someone you know sometimes people's orders don't go through or change your mind change your mind so might order whatever multiple um it's nothing to do with it, but can we show that picture of that hummingbird near me now? <laughs> can we see it? Look at him! Look at him, I just want to give him a little squish. Look at him, look at him, little squish. Oh, look at him though. How did mate, nature make that little baby? Look Very at cute, isn't it? And just the thought of having him in jewellery makes me happy. Uh, it's just, it's mother nature, isn't it? We often say mother nature, mother nature, and that design. I like the intricacy of the design as well. Like the fact that I, I always, I've always liked animals um, in jewellery and Me precious too. metals. I think it, it, it's, I don't know. I just really, really like the texture and the way that, that the wings have been designed using the gemstones. And yes. Just really, really pretty. And I think the fact that you can elevate it yourself personally, I think I've come from a gems background, so I see jewelry in a different way. But here mm. is the fact that it's almost like I'm seeing you've got your base there. It's now up to you yes. to choose what you want to do exactly with it. Exactly that. Mm. So that, as we were saying earlier, different designers would do different things. Some people might go straight in and think, yeah, I'm using the Kunzai. Someone else, like the lovely viewer who just messaged in, will go and make a brooch. You won't use yeah. any of it, you know, and put, use the Kunzai for something else. So mm. um, I need to borrow this for the demo, the hummingbird, oh. if that's all right. I'll give him back at the end. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm not that mean. <laughs> uh, the great thing about um, the anchor points on this is um, depending on what you do, uh, let me just try and, I'm a bit squirt, can I just move the jewelry? Let me get, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. There we are. Um, the good thing about the anchor points on this is that depending on how you anchor him, he can sit sort of more straight, oh, or yes. if you did asymmetrical um, or a bit longer on one side, he can sit that way, oh, yes. and you can actually have your tail feathers coming down here um, that's completely up to you so you can really have fun with it now what I did first of all was I made his tail what I used was wire for the tail uh, you can you get using different elements will give you different results so for the tail I used the wire which gave me more of a structural finish to his tail so when you put him on your tail to a certain extent is going to stay where it is. If you want a really soft kind of tassel -y effect, then I would sew them on with a soft flex or a fire line or some kind of beading thread. Uh, if you want that kind of material soft flow to the feathers, then do that. It's not so structured then, is it's it? It's not so structured. But today, and in the instructions, and also this is quite an easy way to do it, maybe for people who aren't um, as confident with the jewelry making, is to use wire. Now on the actual piece and this is going to make me sound absolutely bonkers i used a rose gold wire because it told me to <laughs> you know when you do a painting and as the painting evolves if you paint sometimes you feel like the painting is telling you what color to use next well i felt like that with the hummingbird so i kind of felt like i needed to have a different color wire because that's the look that it, it kind of felt right but today i'm going to use some silver okay so what you need to do and it's useful to have a beading board or a beading mat when you're starting out and i do go through and it was a bit painstaking um the exact and i mean exact um 
order that I've put on every single tassel. So what I've done, I used to write for magazines a lot. Um, I've done how I used to do magazines. I've labelled every bead. I've told you what the bead is and how many numbers. So instead of going, put on two size A lilac, two size other, uh, I've, I've labelled A, B and C, two B, uh, and you've got the key to those beads in your instructions. So it's a little bit easier. But if you are going to um, recreate my design, I would say just zoom in on that photograph. It's going to be a lot easier to just look at the photograph and see what I've done. It's like a puzzle. It's like a bit rather than Isn't try it? and work out the two A's, three B's, but you can yeah. certainly do it like that if you want to. So you want to start with the longest strand. And what you'll notice about this, usually your longest stem is in the middle and you've got an equal number of loops on both sides. But because this is structured, because he's almost in flight moving, mm. you've got four on this side and three on this side. So what I did was I started with a certain number of beads and then I decreased them as I went up. But you'll find you'll have one extra one on this side, but that's okay because of the way it sits, it, it, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I used a Lucite flower on the bottom. You don't have to do that, that's completely up to you. So I take a length of wire and I in the instructions, I go into all the lengths and the gauges and everything that I've used. So you'll see that in the instructions. And I'm going to make a loop on the end. Now it can either be a basic loop if you're um, not at the point of doing wrap loops yet. But if you are a, a do a wrap loop, then a wrap loop I would recommend just because it gives you that um, security in your jewelry. Um, Neri, you're gonna have to tell me on t when I'm running out of time because I can't see a clock. Uh, 12.34. Okay, thank you. Okay, so as you go down your pliers, and a lot of you will be going, I know this, Deb, what you're talking about, but there will be people who don't know this. Um, if like you me. go, <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. Um, so on your pliers, you've got the small, and then it, it graduates up to a large. So this is the loops. I want a little loop because it's a functional loop, and I don't really want to see it. So I'm going right to the tip, tip of my pliers, and I'm just going to take this wire over the top. And then when I'm nearly down to the bottom, I just move my pliers around so that I can go all the way. And then I'm just gonna have a look at that and make sure that it's the size that I want it to be. And that's quite little, so I'm quite happy with that. And then what I'm gonna do is hold on to that little loop with my pliers. And what you do is you take your tail and you wind it around. And I'm gonna do that with my pliers as well. So just winding that tail oh, yeah. around. Can you see? So yeah. I've made a loop. And all this loop is for is for the center of my flower. And we're not really gonna see it. So if your loop is a bit messy or you're a bit new to jewelry making, don't worry about that. We don't worry about things like that. And then I'm just going to snip off my tail. So what I did, you could put some beads inside this lucite flower so that you've got like a stamen coming out, or you could even um, add some, uh, hang something from that, but I just kept it sort of a bit more simple. So I've got my lucite flower. I'm just going to move my necklace to face me so that I can see. You know what, what I, I keep wanting to say? Can I have? A, can I hold the necklace? Because you can. You can see. Um, you know when you said about the uh, the rose gold. You can see all the differences. Can, can you see the? I don't yeah. know why I did that. <laughs> yeah. It kind of said no. It needs to be rose gold. Just yeah. I don't know to add to the craziness. Yeah, <laughs> the crazy colour. Mm -hmm. So I put on a selection, and we are, we're going to bring these. This is um, some upsell strands, and they're amazing, and they're in really bright colours. So I chose just to take the pink out of the strands. We'll bring them in a minute uh, because I wanted that kind of pop, and there is a really bright pink in the wing. So I wanted to bring. <laughs> that uh that right so we're going to pop on we've only got, how many have we got left nine of the kit of the kit um so we've got only got nine left so if you are wanting this um there's somebody like it, um on the phone line there's two people on the phone lines that want three so if you think those two that there's only four left so right so i've put a big bead and a small bead and I've got the exact beads that I've used in the instructions, so you'll see. And this is where things like spacer beads come into their own. So I actually used some 15 O's because I ran out of spacer beads. Um, if you wanted to use sterling silver, that would be great, but I used some 15 O's just to kind of break it up. So I've got a larger one of these fuchsia pink colored beads and then a smaller one, because you get three different sizes. And then I'm gonna pop on a spacer bead him on there and then I'm going to put on another one of these little I how do you remember all of this 
Um, just I'm used to it. <laughs> Experience. <laughs> Sometimes I have to look like now. I have to look at see what I'm doing. Right. So that's the bottom of my central drop and then i'm going to use these are 80 seed beads just because i absolutely love the colors but you can use anything you can use your micro faceted gemstones if you want to keep it all gemstone but anything at all that you have in your stash you can use and what i did was i put two of these on <coughs> excuse me with spacer beads in between so one and two okay so and you can be you know popping it up against your little bird as you're going to see how long you want that central drop to be because this is going to be your longest drop and then everything's going to graduate up from here so this kind of gauges how far down your tassel is going to be so maybe if you're having it to sit on your decolletage maybe you don't want that dropping too far down you might just want to put like one bead there how pretty would that be and then you've got a shorter more understated look so I have two of the blue yeah. and then I had one two three four five seven of the lilac color and these are all eight O's they're all JM seed beads um, you can choose any color you want so I used seven of these with spacers in between one two come here three whoops Four, come here little spacers, five. I know you do this all the time, but is, it, is this a good Sunday afternoon? Is this a good project for a Sunday yeah, afternoon? Yeah, because you can finish it in a day. I'm a bit impatient. I've been, I'm that maker who works into the night to get something done, even on Sunday. Oh, I'm that. that, I'm in that. I'm in pay, I, I, if I'm gonna start it, I, I know oh, what you You wanna finish it, or you feel like you may yeah. never come back to it if you don't finish it. <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't for work. Your heart's in it for the moment. Yeah, yeah and yeah, then I know you're like, you're oh, saying. I can't bothered. Yeah. So, where we go from here is this part stays the same. Okay, this part but we're just going to decrease the number. So we've got seven here, and then we'll have five, and then four, sorry, six, five, and four, and then you'll have a three here just because you've got an extra yes. loop. And that gives you that lovely sort of um, graduated effect. We've got, sorry? 10 minutes left yeah, on that's the demo, fine. yeah. Because you mentioned about the uh, uh, the tourmaline colour stones, didn't you? Yeah, well, okay. we need to bring those, I think, as uh, well. Yeah. Because we, um, if, if then I it's like the whole look. Exactly. Then. Yeah. If I attach this one, and then should we bring those? Yeah. So all, the, all I did, oh, okay. All I did was attach this with another wrap loop. So exactly the sort of wrap loop as we did before. And this kind of gauges everything. Um, look, I mean, look, can I just show you that on the back? Look at the amount of sterling silver that it's is lot, isn't in it? that gorgeous thing. How many grams was it? Forgive me, I've just, I feel like, was it nine, nine grams of solid sterling silver? Is it nine grams? It's just a lot. It's heavy, you can feel it. I'm not, yeah. not too heavy to wear, but yeah, nine grams. I mean. Oh, 8.02. So what I've done there is I've um, wrap loop, looped it on. And that gauges how long uh, that's going to be. So you've just cut that there. That's not sharp, is it, the way it's you... It's not sharp. And if no. you did have anything um, sort of sticking out, I usually run my fingers over my finished yes. piece. Yeah. You can then take your pliers and just squish that in ah, so you can't okay, see yes, it yeah, at yeah. all. Yeah. So we've got that. And then it, we just continue with that... Um, in a different configuration of beads. Can I borrow yeah, that? Oh, thank you, you. I like the fact that you've done different colours as well on the bottom because you could alternate those colours. Absolutely. Really I did um, alternate them and then I decided on one one colour. I kind of fell in love with the lilac. So these are from oh, uh, yeah. the Lucite flower boxes we did not long ago with the AB coating. We've done loads, but any Lucite flower, any gemstone flower, or it, maybe you'd like to put a drop on the end, yeah. you know, like a briolette. Oh, yeah. Be pretty, wouldn't it? Very nice. So I've done exactly. It's just exactly the same as I just showed you. But all I've done is change the beads so that they go up. Yeah. And so that one is one, two, three, four, seven. So then I've gone six, five, and four. And the same. I've mirrored it on the other side. And the only one with three of the pink fuchsia beads is the central one. Yeah. The rest are the same. They've just got graduated two. them, haven't they? Yeah. Been? So that's graduated. So that's all it is for the technique. For the tail and then all i've done um, for the neck part is 
rosary link, but I've kind of changed up the rosary links a bit. I've done three of your kunzites with the spacer beads, and that's on one rosary link, they're not separate. And then to sort of put that full stop there and, and marry it to the hummingbird, I've done a link with um, the green kunzite and those bead caps that we were talking about earlier. So Lovely. they're like little flowers. It kind of ties in with the whole theme. And then I've got the four millimeter fuchsia beads on those. And that just carries on. That just carries on, carries on, carries on. When I got near the top, I was telling you I ran out of bead caps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So I didn't put them on, but maybe you don't want them to go all the way up no. uh, your neck, your neckline. It and differentiates just, down lower. Down, down. lower. Yeah, so yeah. it draws your eye down. Yeah. And then all I did was popped my clasp on to to the top there. Now you could put an extender chain and probably, you know, if I was gonna wear this, I did it for the bus so that you could see it. Um, I'd probably have this really long. I'd have this sort of hanging down at, at, at kind of na at navel line. So all, the only techniques involved in making this necklace are wrap loops. It's one technique. So it's putting whatever you want onto your wire. You either wrap loop on one, end which I've just shown you twice to put it to the hummingbird to attach it or you wrap loop it on both ends to link the links together yeah. that was one technique that's one jewelry making technique so I know you get an intricate piece of jewelry but can yeah. you see how when I said yeah, it wasn't difficult it was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you could sit there for 10 minutes and practice doing loops and then you'd yeah, be able to yeah. make it I think that's what fascinated me is about the, the fact that you've just got a wrap loop and that's what's holding this this um, together, together. Yeah. and so I think the thing is like we say that a wrap loop is um, a cold connection we say that in silversmithing because usually you'd solder something on um, and that would be so that it didn't fall off but with beads and things like you can't solder because you can't add heat to these and it'd be just no. too much of a faff to, to, to protect them so what a wrap loop is is because there's nothing to fall out once you've wrapped it that that can't come out can't there's no anywhere. literally it's not a jump ring you can't open and close it so it's what we call a really secure cold connection um, but if you are um, new and you only know how to do um, a basic loop which essentially is taking your wire and deciding on the size of the loop taking the wire away from you is different ways of doing this so that you can see that loop there and then I, I kind of refine it a bit because you want it to be that question mark shape hmm. so then you would attach that let me show you you yeah. would attach that to your hummingbird and then you would just make sure that the loop was closed all the way but as you can see with that loop if it got sort of it got pulled on or snagged on something this can open and it yeah. can fall out Whereas when you're winding it around, there's nowhere for it to fall out. No, of, of course there isn't. It's more of a secure. Like I know what you're saying. It's, it's so a secure fastening, much more yeah. secure. Um, so the only thing that I did with this was my wrap loops. It's all in the instructions of the uh, exactly the beads that I've put on and how I've done it. But the only technique is a wrap loop, which I've just shown you twice. And the only thing that I've added in are the bead caps, which you had the opportunity to get this morning. I don't know if yeah. there's any left. And these, which I think we're going to bring you now can we can we can we bring the other beads so these so. are um the it's it's interesting because aren't they like tourmaline color yeah they're tourmaline colored yeah and i think they're i've lost my talk back now so i don't know if anyone's talking to me. Uh, that's fine. they are having a little <laughs> chat they oh, okay. um, so basically they're tourmaline colored but they're a quartz am i correct yes yes so you've got three different sizes um yeah yeah let's do them um there are massive benefits to having three different sizes in the same bead. Yes. Yes. Well, you can see that with your um, demonstration that you've done there because that central drop from the hummingbird here, this one here, you've got it's a little bit of yeah, yeah. graduation. Again, you don't see that. And I know uh, I, I'm new, obviously, to jewellery maker, so I, it's all kind of kind of mind-blowing a little bit for me but you guys might already know this the fact that you'll see this multicolored, but actually you might only pull one color from this for yes. one piece yeah I, do you know what I did I took them off the strands and then I separated them into colors oh is that what you do because yeah. it was blowing my mind a bit because I yes. couldn't decide because they're all so lovely and then I held the different colors against the work that I'd already done and I decided so I started off with some of the um, almost like teals yes yeah so there's some teals on there I started off with some of the teals that's nice that could work here as well. which would work I think in on yeah. this one but then I decided that I wanted that pop of vibrance of yeah. pink that you often see on the hummingbird's chest and it's iridescent and sometimes it, it changes to orangey mm. so I think these joyous strands are just fabulous for 
you could pick any of those colours yeah, or all of them. But that, I think that's the blessing of having that design in a hummingbird is the fact that you've got so many colours of the stones in, already there. So actually you've got the pick of the bunch when you're going for these. Th these are just going to enhance what you've already got. So what you've got here, I just want to go over this, it's multicolour quartz from Brazil, um, but there is, you might see like a, a, tour, a tourmaline, is that in it's the name? Tour, it's a dyed tourmaline colour. Yes. So they've gone for the feel of tourmaline, but if tourmaline was in this, it would be a lot more expensive, wouldn't it? A lot <laughs> more <laughs> expensive. So, and, and, and these are like the iconic colours of tourmaline, yeah. you know, when you, when you go, okay, that's a tourmaline, that's what they've gone for. So I don't, just to get any confusion out of the way, <laughs> is that kind of, imagine iconic tourmaline colours, but in your courts, that's basically what these is. Um, you have, you need to have a make along and have a go, you'll be hooked. Honestly, Oh, we were saying that they talk about it all the time. For me, though, I think you'd have this like one, you know, when you do like one creation and then this one over here, I'd be like, what? what? But I think if it's just me and you and there wasn't a camera on you for your first time, if I yeah. said to you, like, you can make like that stretchy bracelet, it's easy. Yeah. Like lots of people start with a stretchy bracelet or an earring. If it was just you and me, you just do it and you wouldn't feel self-conscious. But a lot of the presenters do make jewellery, but yeah. they just think... There's a timer on it. Yeah. And, and you know, I've got a designer there. Oh. Yeah, yeah we're totally... Set. Yeah, yeah, we're just chatting away. We've only got 10 minutes remaining and we want to be able to bring you these. So, um, you've got a 30-second clock. There you go. Um, you've got 170 carats. Are you going again? Oh, you're going to like this. My first show on Jewelry Maker. We've got three auctions to bring you. Come along and join us. Annie's dropping the price point even more. So if you want these, I don't even know, and this is really poor of me, I do apologize, but I don't know how to describe this color palette because it's not pastel. Mm. It's not got that luminosity, but it's got something else going Call on. Call it a heart hummingbird coming, color palette. Uh, uh, well, it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the blah, 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 blah. But do you, do you, yeah, let's have a little look. So um, we, we're going for the larger set at the moment. Oh my gosh, I, I think this is a great a great add on to add that pop of colour. And, and and I think the fact that you can, if you just want the yellows or if you just yeah. want the blues, you've got you've got a really nice palette of colour, and you can separate them or together they work nicely. You see what we mean by the the way they've they've coloured it that tourmaline because they're, they're those iconic deep colours of your tourmaline break them up as well so you can use you've got so what you've got on your design is all the reds haven't you yeah i've taken all of the kind of fuchsia pinky reds yes but obviously in the hummingbird itself you've got greens you've got blues you've got lilacs you've got baby blues you've got oranges so you, any of those colors or you could add all of them you can add to this design or even mm. festival jewelry holiday jewelry yes. and cool and cool jewelry you know anklets that you, you know for this price it doesn't matter too much if you're going to see in it or you lose them or yeah you, do you know you no, put I them know in your you case mean. you know yeah. you're not worrying that you've lost your precious precious pre yes i know what you're saying um so i think these are great if you're doing your school fates your charity makes yeah because if you spend too much on the project then you don't want to charge too much when it comes to to actually if you're doing school fairs yeah. and things like that. so this is great this is that. good just for creativity and again it was nice what you just said it is really important if you are going to get the graduation of sizes because you can graduate then in your designs yet yeah, i'm showing you a smaller one which will be the next auction but just so you know you've got that we've got the three sizes as well so if you do decide to do what debbie's done in her design you can break it up and design design but with the same colours. Yes, you see what I, mean? I used the medium, so the strand that's coming up now, and the smallest ones in the hummingbird's tail, just up above the flowers. Um, having the yeah. graduation in the same colour was really useful. Yes, because it's the same colour. Yeah. Um, have you moved on to the next deal? Oh, goodness me. Okay, okay, okay. I've only got like a few minutes. So we've gone for the, the middle size as well of the, the three. So, and this is the size, like you've just said, that you've used. Again, we're going to drop that price tag to a fantastic deal for you. It, sorry, it says four mil on the screen. <laughs> Are we doing the four mil? Oh, we've chosen the wrong one. This is the smallest one. This is the smallest one. But I've used the most of these in the design. Oh, there we go. We didn't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Well, we're going for the smaller one. So, you know, that this is my first show back and it's just like, let's just throw her into it. <laughs> I didn't notice. You were the one who noticed. Well, so she knows her beads. Debbie knows her beads. I'm like, hold on, they're not full now. <laughs> so this is the smaller size. So we, you won't... Um, 
it, the medium one's just coming up. So this is the smaller of the sizes, but as Debbie said, she used the most of these. These in this are in design. the rosary link chain. These are in the tail. Oh, you've gone a little bit lower. Six ninety nine. We've just swapped it round, but that's okay. And again, I think these work really, really nicely with that graduation. That's the point I'm trying to make. Is these they, they work beautifully together, and you've got the same colour palette. So six ninety nine. Oh, so many of you coming in here. Olivia, Karen, Helen, Denise, Maker from Renfrewshire. I always struggle saying that. Ren yeah, I'm not going to say. It. <laughs> <laughs> I have to kind of go up. Renfrewshire. <laughs> Um, Lorraine, make from Wiltshire, make from Fife. Uh, uh, Barbara from Sussex, Andrea from West Midlands, make from Northamptonshire. It's been so lovely to be with you um, over the last few hours. It's some of the quickest hours I've spent in this studio. Isn't it? it was, it's been a lovely show today. Hasn't it? It's just really delightful. Congratulations on all of your pieces. We've got one more strand to bring you. I don't, I still don't know. Can you tell me, or quickly write in if you can, what colour palette you would describe these yeah. as? That, I, I think you'll know more than I will with it, so. Uh, oh, thank you. Well, well, we'll see, we'll see. I'd love to, I would love to. It was literally, I'll tell you briefly, I know we're in an auction, but I messaged Scott at the beginning of the week. I think it was something like Wednesday. And he, he gave my number to Wayne, or Wayno, as you might know him. And um, Wayne texted me and said, fancy going on air on Saturday. You've never met me before. I just said like I'd obviously oh. been on Gems or something. It was yeah, meant yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, it was meant, it was to, meant be. to be. And I was just like, you know what? Let's do it, let's do it. So it's really good to be back. So of course in the future, I would love to do more. So, um, yeah, so this is the slightly, so this is the medium. We would normally go large, medium or small, but um, we're not. We're mixing it up. <laughs> we're, so not. we're not. We're not. not. And yeah. this is six mil and you need this and just buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. Can anyone know the colour of it? Yeah, because, we don't care. Uh, we just yeah. love it. The colour palette. Yeah, we love it. And it's, it's a staple item for your pieces. And I just think, like you say, I love your technique of what you say. Take the stones off the strand, divide them up, separate them, yeah. get those colours. If you want to create, of course, this beautiful hummingbird piece, then, of course, we've chosen, we've got... Um, got loads of the choices. Fuchsia. The fuchsia I've chosen, the green was great, the blue, everything worked. It was literally, yeah. I was spoilt for choice. Oh, absolutely. Oh, um, from Lynn, what a lovely show. Hope to see you on JM again Aww. soon, Lindsay. I mean, it's a different vibe, isn't it, to JM yeah. on here? Oh, what? Brights from Caroline. Yeah, the brights. <gasps> Tropical. Ooh. Okay, favourite description of Neri. Tutti fruity. Oh, yeah, I like tutti fruity. We've got some bright, tropical, tutti fruity tourmaline quartz. That's much better descriptions than I could ever come up with. Yeah. That used to be my worst thing when I was writing for magazines is thinking of a name. I used to think, oh, what can I what, call what? it? Yeah. You know, people used to come up with all these great names and I was like, Pearl just, necklace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were stopped. You were like, perfectly mm. pearl necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the alliteration <laughs> yeah. is that perfectly pearl, punchy pearl. So necklace. they were yeah, very yeah. good recommendations. Oh, I like that. I like tutti frutti. I do. And tropical. I like the tropical. And That's bright. the thing, though. Sometimes, you know, you'll sit here and you see it and words escape you and actually you're feeling it when you're watching at that's home that's very true and you just think actually can I help me here help me here words so, escape me most of the time yeah. anyway yeah I'm like uh, 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 what's that word oh yeah bracelet <laughs> <laughs> perfectly produced <laughs> absolutely brilliant right oh, oh okay. okay no no that's fine um okay so there is about there's about four to five, four or five, he doesn't know, <laughs> chances, it's like that, um, on the kit remaining. So you can see, I can see, I can't see them now, that a message come up, but Lindsay, congratulations on the first day, and um, we hope it will be a long and happy collaboration with Jane. Oh, thank you, Sue, from Edinburgh. I like where you live as well, Sue. Um, look, all, all of the names here, you can see uh, Gigi from Calais. Oh, hello, Gigi. Um, Denise from Wrexham, uh, Tracy from Norfolk, uh, Corinne, Jolanta, uh, Jolanta, uh, Valerie, June, Deborah, Shandy. What's cool now? I love some of these names. I know, names. some of these names are so lovely. Aren't they? But you know, that you've got, there's so many in baskets and there's only maybe four left. Yeah, so with these baskets, these haven't gone yeah, through, have no. they? Ah. That's the so basic in baskets. Ah. 
Right, okay, that, that would make a lot of sense. So Brian as well. Um, yeah, glad you like the tropical. Can we go somewhere tropical? Right? Yeah, let's go now. I'm actually, I can't deny I'm going on holiday next week. Oh, so I can't, I can't. lovely. Yeah, I yeah, so I need it. Mardi Gras. Yeah, I love that Ooh, too. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, see, this is very what I mean. clever. Do check out on the website, by the way, because there's, there's literally, I don't know, would you say like 25 people there? Yeah, and that's and they're going off the screen, so there'll be more than that. So there's four left and probably about 30, 40 people with it in baskets. Yeah. So basically, Ooh. if you want them, get them because you missed out on, was it the peacock that you I said? missed out on the yeah. I did, I had no hope. So they often, and then people will watch later who aren't watching now, and they'll be yeah, gone. And they will be gone. Okay, so thank you so much uh, for today. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, thank you. It's been so lovely working That's with been you. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, just, it's just nice to watch you do your thing and oh. everything. Thank you so much. And hopefully, I will be seeing you very, very soon here on Jewelry Maker again.